Hey, bitch so bad with the snake skin. Hey, foreign duty dash, you know I'm racing. All my rights the fucking same, yeah, they're adjacent. Huh. All the motherfuckers is blue faces. Made a lot of fucking millions off the pavement. And it took a lot of patience and waiting, anxious, hey, for a suicide, 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 for a suicide, for a suicide, don't commit no suicide, say no to suicide, 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 what, what, these niggas gon' kill themselves, they see me stunt, these niggas gon' kill themselves, they see me making money. Then we slime on my whoop <laughs> Shine and I grind Throw the dime like a hoop Ay. Ay. Bad bitch in the ass is a toast But that stomach is a cute uh, Nigga what it do uh, Big red count in blue <laughs> Whip like one time soup With your bitch like two Tweety birds in a coop oh, hey. Bitch so bad in the stay skin Ay. Foreign do the dash You know I'm racing Ay. All my racks the same Yeah they adjacent all the motherfuckers in some blue faces Hey, all my racks I made it out the pavement Patience waiting for a suicide 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 Don't commit no suicide Say no to suicide Suicide, suicide Suicide, what? what? <laughs> These niggas gon' kill themselves They see me stunt <laughs> These niggas gon' kill themselves They see me making money Man, this 445 posts. Bro, New York is brick. New York is colder than a motherfucker right now, bro. It was just hot like three days ago. Now I got I had to pop out the puffer. How's everybody in chat doing today? How are you guys doing today? You said that's them winter storms? Dude, I am cold. You said Spider-Man. It's in two hours? 
Spider-Man trailer in two hours? Yo, how's everybody in the chat doing? What's up, Cammy? What's up, Gonzalo? Nuka Doomsday? Feels lag, man. I don't see no lag on my side. That's you. That's that's you. I don't see no lag on my side. That's you 100%. All right. How's everybody doing? Oh, that alert is a little too long now. Oh Ayo shit. 2.5 years already of supporting my man Stroahego, Stroahego. I forgot. I had to change my shit. Oh my goodness. You said Battlefield is lit? You know what's crazy? I still have to wait some time before I can play Battlefield because I got the standard edition. I didn't get the deluxe. I just copped the regular. So I have two days. Out of the way. I have to wait two days. Of Dr. Stoner at the end of the stream. Maybe. Maybe. If, if I have enough energy, I'll definitely watch Dr. Stone. <sighs> you said new Dragon Ball game? I'm going to keep it a stack. I'm going to keep it a fat stack. Hold on. Let, let me log into this shit so I can lower the duration of this alert because it's kind of long. Um, What's the fuck this shit called again? Streamlabs? Dr. Stoner. Yeah. Let me lower because cause I put the duration really long. What's good? What's up, I'm going beach? through an anime up. Oh, what, why did it cut him off? <laughs> why did it cut him off? He said, I was going through an anime arc. Changed my name even on Twitter. Have a good day. I don't even know who the fuck you are now. Because I see a name, Kuro Galileo. I, I, I don't know, man. I don't know who the fuck you are. I, I see him. He, he got to give me his last name because cause now I'm just completely confused. All right, hold on, hold on. Give me one second. Let me just change the alert. Not change the alert, but change the duration of the alert because it's really long now. Um, subs. Uh, nah, that shit is supposed to be like seven seconds. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, alert delay. Should be like about eight, seven seconds per se. Okay. That should be fixed. Let me double save. Okay. That should be better. Um, Leorio alert? Nah, it's going to be too long. <laughs> it's going to be way too long. Is my food getting here too? I used to be a Kuro. Oh. So you're not a Kuro anymore? You lucky you told me, bro, because I would have unmodded your ass. I would have been like, who the fuck is this Galileo guy? <laughs> I would have been like, how the fuck he became mod? You said I had to go into the electronics back room and I saw like 15 PS5s lined up and it was pretty cool. Oh, that's good. You said if I saw... Bro, there was so much content today, man. I saw that Technicals uploaded like a 50-minute video talking about the whole Zero situation, then Zero uploading. And look, I, all I saw was the description that he put on Twitter about Zero saying that he gonna upload. Motherfucker was straight up. He said, yo, I ain't using Twitter no more. Starting tomorrow, 10 a.m., I'm uploading. If you don't like it, kick rocks. I was like, "I right, say less, homie. Say less. Say less. Do you? That's what I've been saying since like day one. I'm like zero. Yo, cancel culture is fake. If you submit to the mob, then that's how you lose. That's why I'm saying if I'm ever in a situation where people trying to cancel me over some dumb shit, I'm literally my response. I'm not even going to apologize. I'm gonna be like, yo, suck my dick. I'm not apologizing for shit, especially if you're trying to get me from shit from like 2008. Oh, retro in 2008. My space has some fucked up shit. You, you, you want your apology? Suck my dick. You retro, how you been, bro? It's been a hot min SMT5 is just a copy of Persona 5. Exactly! I knew it! Shin Megami Tensei 5 is just a copy of Persona 5. I knew it. I knew it the whole time, bro. That's why I didn't get it. Hey there, retro. Like your hat. I bought this in like. I don't even know. But I bought it. But I bought it. Um, let me see. 
What the hell was I gonna do again? Well, I'm waiting for my food. I ordered fast food, dude. I was so hungry. I went to work this morning. And then I just came back and I took a strong nap. I was really tired. If it's a copy of Persona 5 played, then since you're the number one Persona fan. You're right. I gotta play it now because I'm the number one Persona fan. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's see what the fuck everything that's happening so far. There's, there, there was over 400 fucking responses. I know majority of them is memes. I might be gliding over the memes for now. But I want to see news. Game of the year nominees. Oh, you guys got to send me the shit so we can do this together. Don't show me the shit. Where is the game of the year shit? The, the, the nominations. The game, the game awards website. I didn't even look at this. Um, give me a second. Unless somebody sent it to me. Let me see. Game uh, awards. Okay. Let me see. Where's the thingy? Where's the game award shits? Go vote. Let's vote. You said the game award noms are some misses? All right, let's start voting. Fuck this shit. Let's start voting. Chat said, um... You said, chat said I got better drip. You probably do. Oh, it just starts off with game of the year? Game of the year. Deathloop? The game that was delayed all the way up until the end of time? Deathloop? Ah... I'm a I'm a Sony head and I'm still like eh on Deathloop. I'm I'm uh, it takes two. Bro, this game was talked about for like two days. It takes two. It got talked about for two days because ain't nobody talking about that shit. Dread, a sixty dollar two dimensional game. Hollow Knight's a million times better and has much more content. Then this game and it's only twenty dollars. That Metroid Dread, Dread, Game of the Year. Ah, ah. Look, I already played Dread. I beat Dread in like seven hours and thirty minutes on the dot. Game is not Game of the Year. Dread is not Game of the Year, bro. All right, this guy's bringing me my food. Thank goodness. I'm eating Burger King, Chad. I'm sorry. <sighs> I just want to eat my food and relax and, and just stream. Psychonauts two. Ain't nobody on my timeline talk about this. Dread is not game of the year. Ratchet and Clank rift apart or or okay. Okay. Yes, what's up, Kemi? Dominican. What's up? Hope her day was well and good and same with chat. You're looking dripped out on a Tuesday evening. Yes, Wonderful. I do. Yo, I had I just had a I just had a rock the puffer. Yo, when I show up to work and my job, it's retail and they sell like their own merchandise in, in terms of clothing. When I show up to my job, I'm gonna be Hyplin up. And all the nominees pretty solid because The Last of Us 2 isn't nominated to steal all the W's again. Pepe laughing. Yeah, you right. You right. Last of Us 2 is not out here trying to steal our shit. Yo, who finally am here at the start of the stream. Uh, damn. Let's go. I just got off work. Was popping Jimbo. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing good, man. Thank you, Fernando, for the dollar. I appreciate it. Axer, thank you for the resub. Nuka Doomsday, thank you for the hundred biddos. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, You know what's crazy, chat? You notice how I have these emotes animated, right? Unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to take them out as actual emotes. Because I have them as, like, doubled, you know? I have one as, like, the regular standard emote, and then I have them animated. Also, shout out to now. Nah, hold up, I, I I gotta give her the proper shout out. I can never I can never say her name properly. Give me one second. What's her name? I I, I gotta shout out her so, on her socials because I think she did an excellent job with the emotes. I literally was just like, yo, can you can you do this for me? Like, obviously I know that she can do it, and I'll be like, I'll commission you or whatever. She did an excellent job. Where's Mario Party at Fugati? You said Mario Party? Where the hell? She she ain't got no socials? She does have a social. Where's her socials? Give me one second. You said remove her VIP? Who started as Bay? I probably will. 
I probably will. Sardis Bay and me, we have like so much beef. Let me see. Um, there you go. There she is. Shout outs to her. She's the one who made the emotes animated. Excellent job. I, I already told her if I need something else animated, I'm going back to her. I already told her. I was like, yo, shout out to her Twitter. Go show her some love. If you guys, you say, oh, new person. No, she's been in the chat a couple times. Show her some love. Um, if anything, bro, like I feel like her pricing is fucking amazing for what she does. These emotes look great animated. She's fucking awesome. If you ever go to her, be like, oh, Retro told me about you. Show her some love. Excellent job. Excellent work. Would we'll do it again. 10 out of 10. Wait, I think my food is almost here. But, yo, she she did such a fucking good job, man. Like, like when she showed them to me, I was just like, perfect. Like, I had no complaints. Like, it's people like her and Stacy. Like, when they make me my stuff and, and I see how good it is, and I'm just like, I got nothing to say. Perfect. It's beautiful. It's exactly the way I wanted it. Great. To Kat, thank you again. No Guilty Gear Strive on the best soundtrack. Hold on, I gotta see. Um, So Ratchet and Clank, right? Wait, did it be my food? I think so. Um, This is... Oh, my fucking ears, dude. Okay. So here's my thing, right? I feel like Ratchet and Clank and Resident Evil. It's it's so hard to vote because these are two very separate genres of gaming. It's so separate. Like this is first person horror and then this one is third person shooter. They're so fucking different. So it's really hard for me to choose I loved Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, and I really liked Resident Evil Village. Like, I really like both these games. Mm. Th th that's a hard one. Hold on, let me check. I think the guy's here. I'm not even that cold, luckily, because I got my heater right next to me. Alright, give me one second. Roll Ratchet and Clank. Let me get my food. When motherfuckers, I hate when motherfuckers deliver my shit and they and they stay lingering around the, the just deliver my shit. Take the picture with Uber Eats and dip. Why are you lingering? This guy was just there lingering and, and, and like I'm waiting on the app for him to leave. And I'm like, motherfuckers say that it was delivered. <laughs> and then I go outside and I see him like standing next to my food. I'm like, why are you still here? Deliver my shit and fucking leave. You said lingering will. Hell yeah, bro. I'm like, come on. Like, cause here's my thing, right? On Uber, I always tip people, but I don't tip them physically. I tip them through the app. So I feel like maybe they linger there thinking like I'm gonna give them an actual like handed tip. I'm like, no, bro, I'm gonna tip you on the app. Don't worry. You say he's just a fan. Nah, that would be scary as fuck. Cause then he know my address. And motherfucker would probably like just camp around my area waiting for me to Uber eat. Yo, thank you. I'm torn between re village and dread. I love both games, but I'm leaning towards Metroid Dread. I don't care if I paid $60 for the game because if you have fun with the game, then that's already a W. No, that's you true. You can suck on my freshly trimmed scrotum. No, that that's true because it, it, it depends. If you enjoy Dread more than Village, then that's fine. I mean, no one's going to stop you from voting, you know? Bro, this shit feels light. Don't tell me they fucked up my order. 
Bro, they fucked up my order last time. Don't tell me they fucked my order up again this time, bro. Bro. Oh, they didn't fuck it up. Oh, my God, bro. I was scared. Last time, look, because I ordered a Whopper, right? Last time, they gave me a Whopper Jr. with a large fries. Like, that's the most obscure-ass order. Whopper Jr. with a large fries. Like, why am I ordering a bitch sandwich and then a large fries? Like, I just don't know. No, they, they put everything in here. Man's about to eat bunger on stream monkers. Bunger, 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 hell yeah. Oh my god. So yeah, this one's a really hard one. I still have to think on this. I have to think on Ratchet and Clank or Resident Evil Village. So so where's the next one? Next category. I'm not gonna I, you know what? I'm not gonna vote yet. I'm just gonna see what the fuck is happening. Um Deathloop, best game direction. Deathloop. Bro, I heard so much mixed things about Deathloop. That's the craziest thing. Like when the game officially came out. It didn't receive the amount of buzz that I thought the game was going to receive. Like, it was very, it was very, like, mixed. Like, some people were like, the AI of the game is fucking garbage. All types of shit. Sleeper loop. Returnal lost to the backlog. Returnal? No. Bro, I went so far into Returnal. Did I finish the game? I beat this giant ass monster, though. There was this giant monster. My favorite game of the year is Among Us. Bum 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 bum. Bum bum bum. Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. I hate this motherfucker, I swear. You say you never beat Cthulhu? Bruh. Hey Retro and everyone in chat. Best game direction. Yo, thank you for the subs. Thank you for the gifties. I appreciate y'all. Best game direction? Returnal, I really liked it. Ratchet and Clank was very linear. It's like any other fucking game. Um, It takes two. Story-wise, I felt like it was cute. I don't know too much about it, but I felt like... I don't know, dude. This is really hard. Like, let's see the next category. Best narrative. Bro, I don't know. Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. Didn't this just come out? Like, like didn't this just come out? Bro. You said, well, it was a month ago. What? Hold on. Next category. Best art direction. Where the fuck's Persona? I know you guys are going to say it came out 2017, 2016. I don't give a fuck. Persona's supposed to be on this list because all these art directions is kind of ass. You said Kenna easy. Kenna. Let's not ignore the fact that Persona 5 Strikers wasn't nominated this year. Thank God. So Thank God. I'm going to keep it a stack. Persona 5 Strikers was the least liked. What well, was the Persona game I liked the least? I'm going I'm to keep it. I'm going to keep it a stack. I ain't even going to lie to y'all. You know what? You know why? I also don't like Persona 5 Strikers. I'm going to keep it another another stack with you. Because everyone in my friend circle was sponsored. They were sponsored. Everybody else in my friend circle was sponsored. Oh, sponsored by Atlas. Persona 5 Strikers got the game two days early. Bitch, I am the Persona guy. And you didn't give me and let me have a sponsored Stop portion, you bitch. Oh, Stardust Bay. Uh, 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 uh. Yes. Mm. But yeah. 
Next. Okay, maybe Kino, but I haven't played the game. Best score and music. <laughs> Cyberpunk? You gonna put Cyberpunk on this list after the controversy that they went to? Cyberpunk? I don't give a fuck how good the soundtrack is. This game was an abomination when it came out. I didn't even play Near Replicant, but I know it probably has that bitch in the background talking about some. <laughs> I'm sorry. I almost inhaled an onion. <clears throat> okay. But Near Replicant. Near Replicant. <clears throat> Best audio design. Resident Evil. You know what? Even Nocturnal has some good audio. But Resident Evil's audio is always so fucking good, man. Like, playing the first person Resident Evil and the, and even the third person Resident Evil, like, the ambient noise always fucking had me uneasy and always had me turning around thinking something was behind me. So, you know what? I'm 100% giving that to, to Resident Evil. Yo. I'm going to keep it a stack. I'm kind of biased. I'm watching. Yo, I, I'm very biased right now. I'm watching Breaking Bad, and I'm at the last season. My motherfucker Giancarlo, I don't give a fuck what he did, but I'm voting. For Gian, motherfucking Gus, Los Poyos, Locos, Carlos. Yo, that motherfucker's a beast in that show. I loved his character. I'm voting for him. Isn't he in Far Cry? Oh, Far Cry. Yo, I'm voting for him. I fucking love this character in Breaking Bad. I don't care. I don't even know who the fuck these people are, but I'm voting for his ass. Maggie is Lady D. You said Maggie? Who the fuck is Maggie? Lady Demescu? Maggie? Oh, she's the one that says, <gasps> Ethan Winters! <laughs> Ethan Winters! Who the fuck? Yo, where's the voice actor from Resident Evil Village? The one that sounded like a bootlegged All Might? He's like, hey, Ethan, let's go talk about some things. I got a glizzy down my throat. Like, what the fuck? Who the fuck was this? I thought he was joking when, when that voice came up, but I was actually... His voice. Ethan. Damn. Lady Demiscu or Giancarlo? I gotta, yo, I'm telling you, I, I, cause I'm watching Breaking Bad right now. I have a really big bias right now over Gian. If Gian wasn't on this list, 100%, it would've gone to her. But yo, come on, man. Come on, man. Giancarlo. You said, but, bro, he's a meme. No, nah, nah, stop paying on Giancarlo. Let me see, games for impact. <laughs> Life is colors? Life is, yo, first of all, if I was Splatoon, I would sue the fuck out of Life is Strange, bro. Because Splatoon is the only game that's allowed color. This game trying to be Splatoon. Where's Genshin? Games for Impact, Genshin Impact. What the fuck, Genshin? Terrible. Best ongoing games. Where's Apex? I'm voting for Apex without even looking. Without even looking, I'm voting for Apex. Wait, aren't there like new skins in Apex? I think I missed out. I think I missed out on the new skins, didn't I? Is the, is the, is the market skins still there? Oh my god, I don't think I got it. I haven't even booted the game up. I haven't even... Yo, hold on. Hold on. I just gotta see if the skins are still in the game, bro. I'm not even gonna play it. I just wanna see if the skins are still in. I haven't booted the game up since the shit started. Wait. Nah, don't worry. It's not an Apex stream. I just want to see the skins. Yo, Ash, bro. That robot is going to get tuned up. Let's just say I, I got some motor oil for that robot. 
Xif deserves this award fucking X. The game has gotten so much love recently. Oh, okay, we still got six days. What the hell is this Gibby skin? Why he got a fanny pack? DJ Gib? What the fuck? This skin right here is clean, bro. I don't even play Mirage that much, and I'm going to cop this skin. Damn, this is almost $30? This is a cute skin, too. I hate this skin so much. I'm sorry. What's with the cowboy hat? I'm going to take my horse down the Old Town Road. I don't even play Wraith, and I want this skin. I don't play Wraith, and I want this skin, bro. You say, yo, is that Lil Nas? I don't know, man. But anyway, going back to this. Uh... Best ongoing games, I'm going to say Apex, but I know Genshin Impact is most likely going to win. It's going to be either Genshin Impact or Fortnite because they just put these Naruto characters in the game. So I feel like Genshin and, and Fortnite are going to be the ones going at it back and forth. You said Final Fantasy? Maybe Final Fantasy too. I don't know. That This is a hard list. <clears throat> I wish Apex could win this, but I know Apex is not going to win this because those are some really big hitters. We want Fortnite. Best indie. <clears throat> Kina. Kina might win that one. Best mobile game. Thank God I don't see Fire Emblem Heroes. Oh my gosh. Genshin Impact. League of Legends. Marvel Future Revolution or Pokemon Unite? Damn. Best community support. Yo, come on, Apex. Y'all motherfuckers had audio issues for like three seasons. Retro rides Atlas like Sakura does with Sasuke and just gets ignored. Mm -hmm. Like Sakura. Retro is Sakura. No Man's Sky. <clears throat> no Man's Sky? Why is this game still in, in nominations? Sir? You said let it slide. This game getting nominated every year. Innovation in accessibility. I don't know, man. Best VR. Hitman 3. Resident Evil 4. I heard the Resident Evil 4 shit was actually pretty good. I never played any of the other stuff. Best action game. Definitely isn't back for blood. Built like a whole PS1 game. Returnal. Returnal. Best action adventure. Action adventure. Damn, it's a tie. Ah. Uh... Metroid Dread, Rift Apart, and Resident Evil Village. This one is so hard. Because they're all... Because all three of these games are action-adventure. Best role-playing game. <laughs> Dream and Drive. We got to finish Scarlet Nexus. The backlog came up. Not the backlog. The backlog is like, yo, what's up? Not Cyberpunk. Get this shit off the list. Monster Hunter Rise, though. Scarlet Nexus. Oh, we got Shin Megami Tensei. 
Yo, how was the game so far, chat? For anybody who's actually playing, like, no memes. All fa all factual. How was the game? You said it just came out, like, what, two days ago, right? It's fun as fuck. This guy says kind of mid. Is it? I don't know. He said not better than Persona 5, though. Nothing's better than Persona 5. Best fighting game? They put this Nickelodeon bullshit in there? Guilty Gear Strive? I'll vote for Strive just because I don't want to get countered. Countered. Um, best family game. Damn, Nintendo just took over everything. Why is Bar um, Super Mario 3D World Bowser's Fury? That's not a family game, bro. Mario Party Superstars. Easy. Mario Party Superstars. Best simulation strategy? I don't know anything. Next. Best sports simulator. Fuck it. Hot Wheels Unleashed. I'm just going to give it a Hot Wheels. Didn't even play the game. I don't want a human game winning. Hot Wheels Unleashed. Um, Next category. Hmm. Nah! Wait, where the fuck am I? Somebody told me I was the one in the middle. Y'all lied to me, bro. I was I was I was excited to, to vote for myself. Fuck. Yo, ain't no way they just put a fucking JPEG of this. There's no way. Um. I'm a vote for Dream because I have no idea who the fuck anybody else is in this shit. I have I don't know who the fuck these people are. Best debut indie, Kina. Most anticipated game. I'm going to keep it a stack. It might be Horizon or God of War. Elden Ring 2, I heard it was good. I saw some people playing Elden Ring. That shit looked crazy. Also, I'm going to keep it a stack with you. You know why I'm not that ex excited for Legend of Zelda? Breath of the Wild? Because, because we saw how the game... The game going to be the same thing. I'm going to keep it a stack. High probability game going to be the same thing. Because here's the thing, right? If the Switch had more processing power, I would have been more excited for this sequel. But I'm not that excited for this sequel because I know the Switch runs like a hunk of shit.
pop on the VC with Dom again, and insult on Fortnite. Fortnite? I ain't playing no damn Fortnite. You said put the Switch around Breath of the Wild well. Uh, with that, I agree, but then here's the thing. That game being stacked up next to all these big hitters, like Zelda. You saw how much open nothingness was in Zelda, though, compared to for Horizon Forbidden West, God of War Ragnarok, Elden Ring. You gonna have a bunch of empty open world with Zelda and probably a couple of those stupid drones that, like, walk around like spiders and shit. But this thing is like a whole immersive world. You said they didn't show anything yet? They don't have to show us anything yet. You know why? Because we already have 90% of the game, which is Breath of the Wild. They don't have to show us anything. That's why they never have to show us anything, because they know we're going to be pissed on Twitter. <laughs> they know the second they show us content of the game, they're going to be like, everyone on Twitter is going to be like, it looks like part one. Watch. You say you can't say shit because you didn't play the game. What? Zelda? I beat the game. What are you talking about? I beat the game. You said if I'm still going to buy the game? Probably not. My barbecue. I'm not going. If it wasn't a sequel, it would be more hype. Mmm. You emulate it and I'll call the police. Damn. You said that's actual cap that what? We do we even have a release date? You said 2022? We don't even have a release date for the game. And here's the thing. I don't even have um Shin Megami Tensei 5 yet. Like you act like I'm gonna get the game day one. I'm not. Even Diamond and Pearl, the remakes, you know what's crazy? I'm not even going to cop them shits day one. I'm going to wait a while. I know the prices are not going to go down for the games, but I'm not rushing to play them. But they have to show us some gameplay. But out of this list right here, I'd rather pick Elden Ring, God of War, and Horizon Forbidden West. You said I thought it was a day one cop. Um, I have too much games on my plate. Battlefield. I have Battlefield on my plate. Best esports. Uh, what League of Legends, Valorant, uh Best Esports Athlete. No, this is not even fair. I can't even say this word on Twitch. I can't even say this word on Twitch, and that's his name. Like, like they're setting me up at this point. They want me to get banned. You said, how's that a name? I don't know. Next. Uh, Atlanta phase Sentinels I don't know anybody here A lot of these categories was kind of mid. I'm not even going to lie to you. It was very mid. Very mid.
Where's Crab Game? Facts. Everything you serve. Your life is everything you serve. All purpose. You should treat yourself now. <laughs> Yo. Yo. Why does this sound like somebody in the chat dubbed over it? This sounds like somebody's voice in the chat dubbed over this. And give yourself a piece of that oxygen in the ozone layer that's covered up so that you can breathe in this blue trap bubble. Because you know what I'm here for. To worship you. Love yourself. I mean that with 100% with 1,000%. What the fuck is this? Man, I didn't. I never saw. I never saw this video. It's a parody. You know, I, I love. I love. I love people joshing me. You know. He did a parody of him. I, I'll take it. Let's 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 take it. Let's give it a watch, man. Let's see. Trailer is finally dropped. Oh I God, oh my! This I nigga. Swear to God, I have not watched it yet. This is a live. I ain't watched reaction. nothing. <laughs> oh my fucking God! Super Smash Brothers Ultimate is here. Nintendo Switch. Let's go, baby. Let's ship this shit out. Is it normally like that? Oh, shit, this show's I'm hype. Oh shit! Here we fucking go. Battle. Here we fucking go. He even got the flat top. A pipe. Mario. Oh, he's saying that thing for Mario. He's got the cape. Oh shit, Samus. It's funny. It's like it's like I'm trying to. Okay. Somebody said he's an Etika Echo Fighter. That's crazy. Etika Echo Fighter. It's not flat. He got to get it flat. Yo. Okay. I watched my reaction to when that first Smash Brothers trailer came out. Yo, legit. As soon as Mario came out of the pipe, I was like, this game looks crazy. But, bro, it was like. Right away, you could see like there was a visual difference between the two, but that was just me. I was losing it as soon as Mario come out the pipe. How I say this game looks insane, right, so I, I get where he's. It's it's the hype. It's it's the hype. Ain't flatter than Etika. What? Yo, shit. Hold on, my PlayStation's fucking on. Etika Echo Fighter named Etika. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wait, analog horror be like. What the fuck? Real trap shit. <clears throat> I'm over here stroking my dick. I got lotion on my dick when I'm stroking my dick. Sussy baka. There's no way. Somebody got Hank? To say the word sussy baka from Breaking Bad? Who the fuck got Hank to say sussy baka? <clears throat> Hello, I'd like to see Hank. 죄송하지만, oh, okay. Hold on, wait, then who are you? <laughs> the awards have always been trash anyways. It's the game reveals I'm interested in more. What the fuck, dude? What the fuck? The awards have always been trash anyway. It's the game reveals I'm interested in more. Yeah. Because that's true. The game awards, I mean... And yo, thank God, no more Smash Brothers. Thank God, thank God, bro. Cause you know the chat would have been so annoying. Oh, where's the new fighter? The new fighter. It's finally over. It's finally fucking over. Life and realize there's nothing left. Cause I've been blasting and laughing so long that even my mama thinks that my mind is gone. But I ain't never crossed a man that didn't deserve it. Me be treated like a punk, you know that's unheard of. You better watch how you're talking and where you're walking. Or you and your homies might be lying and chalk. I really hate the trip, but I gotta low. As 
they cope, I see myself in the pistol smoke. Fool, I'm the kind of need a little homie's gonna be like on my knees in the night, saying prayers in the street light. What is this dumb shit? What game is this? List of P. Official Alpha trailer. Lies of P. New Souls game. What is that? Lies of P. -P? What the fuck is this? That's cool. This looks great. Lies of penis. <clears throat> That's a big boy. Wow. It looks very cool. Very cool looking game. <clears throat> what are you doing? Collecting my bounty! Bounty? What are you talking about, cracker? Fuck you, Come on, man. Come on, man. Relax and take notes while I take totes of the marijuana smoke. Throw you in the choke, gun smoke, gun smoke. Biggie smoke the mayor, the rock slayer, the hooker layer. Motherfucker, say your prayers. Hail Mary, full of grace. Smack the bitch in the face, take her Gucci bag and a North Face off her back. Jack her if she act. Funny with the money, oh, you got me mistaken, honey. I don't want to rape ya, I just want the paper. The visa, capicia, I'm out like the vapors. Who's the one you call, Mr. Macho? The head honcho. Swift this like Kumacho. I got so much that I should be down with the stylistic. Make up to break up, niggas need to wake Relax and take notes. Tabulary, 2021 edition. <clears throat> El Bozo, Ratio, Counter Ratio, Simp, Future W, Future L, Valid, Buggin', Tweakin', YB Better, L App, W App, L Comment, W Comment, Down Bad, Sus, Fatherless Behavior, 4K, AO. <laughs> That's how you know this guy's not a New Yorker. That's how you know this guy's not a New Yorker. We've been saying A.O. since forever. Since forever we've been saying A.O. That's been a New York thing forever. Now he's like A.O. is 2021 Men's Vocabulary Edition? Come on, buddy. Ten years of what? Of Resident Evil? I said Resident Evil. Assassin's Creed. 
Ancio still has the best um, Assassin's Creed protagonist. Hopefully, you have played this. I'm going to keep it a stack. I only play um, Assassin's Creed 2. Have you seen the Dragon Ball game? No, I didn't even know there was a Dragon Ball game. Ass Creed. Oh, was this the arc when Cell was just like stabbing people with his dick on his back and then just sucking them up? Dumbass game is this? Is it like Dead by Daylight but Dragon Ball Z? That's literally what it is. Bro wasn't even standing on the stairs properly. Look! Look! I'm done, bro. I, I, I don't got to see this shit. That, that shit's going to be a flop. That shit going to be a flop, dude. I, I, I've seen enough. It's trash. It's going to be trash. At least it isn't another anime arena fighter for the 10th billion time True. Sleeper. True, I agree with yeah. that. I would turn into a convertible. Let's go. BF 2042. I've been playing it quite a bit. What do you it's mean? It's a ton of fun, but is also very unfinished. What do you mean I, like I, I became accidentally it's also famous? not optimized very well. What the fuck I've been it? playing it through EA Play instead of giving them $60 because of that. Here's a clip. A clip of what? Oh, the battlefield clip? Wait, how the fuck are you flying like that? Wait, what? You can just pop that suit? This game, I gotta cop this. I mean, I already copped it. I gotta wait two more days, unfortunately. That's bullshit. I gotta wait two more days to play this just because I got the regular edition? That's bullshit. That is actual doodle butter. You said I accidentally became famous? What do you mean, bro? What's this? Come and learn. Oh, please. This shit, this shit better not have more than 10K views. What's this? 222k what oh man i can imagine all the people talking shit in the comments look at this fucking dominican bro look at this guy i can't stand him Virus and threat protection, bitch. Oh my goodness. Damn, you uploaded this shit November 4th? What in the actual fuck? You said stop subscribing to me. Nah, man. <laughs> Get that back. Remember us when you're famous. I ain't famous! Oh my god. I can't watch myself again. Did you... 
Did, did you cut it down in segments? Good shit. Good shit. That's that's some good shit right there. I applaud it. God damn. Don't forget me when you hit the big leagues. The big leagues. Sad, stro, sad. Wait, what the fuck? Yo, I appreciate it, man. Thank you for uploading that. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. But that show is fire, the the Pibby. I wish it was an actual show. I have to see this though. What really happened to Zero? Fuck. I accidentally highlighted everything. Relax and take notes. The courage to speak out. I watched a little bit of it. Full length director's cut of Bocano Pico. Hold on. Stunning and quite the frankly, to speak out. Brave. Oof. Bruh. God forbid a woman. I watched a little bit of it. I watched like five minutes. Then once I realized I was five minutes in, I was like, nah, I gotta watch the entirety of this with the stream. So you know what? Let's watch it now. I know some people go get your snacks. Go get your snacks. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit too. So we're not gonna watch it in actual speed. It's gonna be like 1.75. <clears throat> you said cause he got some points. Bro, before this shit starts, I'm gonna say it again. Fuck Jisoo. Our homies don't fuck with Jisoo. Her fake ass. She fake as fuck. Fuck Jisoo. But let, let's continue. I've been saying that since day one. The second the whole controversy was happening in the summer and I saw Holloway. The second I saw Jisoo say, my work here is done. I was like, fuck Jisoo. That bitch has an ulterior motive. And then everybody on the internet was like, uh. Girl. Girl said this. Let's follow girl. Let's follow girl. I was like, nah. Nah. Fuck that bitch. I was like, get, get, get her bitch ass out of here. Leffen too, yo. Leffen kind of sus. After being shown a full-length director's cut of Boku no Pico. Stunning, and quite frankly, brave. Oof. God forbid a woman be uncomfortable. I'm sure we can all agree that harassing someone is bad, but making a 500 plus word essay on an unsubstantiated claim that you have nothing to do with, I would argue, would make anyone uncomfortable. Because you clearly have way too much time on your hands. I guess you Facts. can the attention since you're not getting it from ESPN. Facts! Leffen still felt like he hadn't proved his friendship to Zero, so he shared yet another false story that accidentally damaged his reputation. Damn, Leffen really can't catch a break, huh? The goal of the longer was to show that Zero frequently exchanged hentai with his audience, which, much like the Apex story, would make Jisoo seem far more believable. The context to these screenshots is that Zero would have constant disputes in his Discord over who could join his mafia lobbies, so he half-jokingly decided whoever sent him the- I can't even lie to you, bro. I miss Zero streams. I miss- I miss his Discord. I miss chilling with that dude, like, hella fucking hard. And I felt like- the way he got demonized was so fucked up and so unfair. And then, like, I, I, I felt bad at, like, how he submitted to the mob, too. Because in my head, like, I was like, bruh. And then remember the day, like, he almost tried to take his life? Like, I put a, I put a voice message on Twitter saying, like, yo, people on the internet got to give people a chance. And, like, okay, what he did was all right. It, it wasn't good. Right? But at the end of the day... There's a point where, where, where you got to get the fuck over it, right? Cause, but that's the thing with the internet. The internet... They, there's sometimes people that just don't want to get over shit. And then I'm just like, get the fuck over it, bro. Like, we live one life. The best hentai would get a spot. One of the only times that Zero has sent hentai to his audience directly is when he made an animation for a stream that triggered after a large donation, which had a hidden NSFW ending. But viewers demanded to see the full version, so Zero decided if they tier 3 sub and confirmed they were 18 or older, he would send them the full animation. However, one of Zero's mods who did receive it after asking him went on Twitter and framed it as if Zero was wholly irresponsible with ages. Even though his trusted mod. See, you can't trust nobody. You can't trust nobody. He literally said, if you're 18 plus, I'll send you the file. Some underage pussy. With an anime profile picture, said he was 18, got the footage, then tried to falsify it on the Twitter claims and said, yeah, he sent me, he sent me hentai files and I'm a minor. Bro, if I could have the force to just like grab. <coughs> you little fake shit. All right, let's continue. Moderator, the one person whose age he didn't check was a legal adult anyways. They have since publicly apologized for their tweets and confirmed that Zero did in fact check for ages. Don't ask why Leffen was trying this hard to prove Jisoo right. You're going to break the simulation. Fuck you, Tekken Kells. You are Roach of Cock. You are scum of Smash. And you make alert dramas like Camstar. Go cry about it on Reddit again, pussy. In a one in a trillion odds, Jisoo managed to- Bro, I remember that too. They try to say Zero's girl was like five or six years younger than him. I was like, huh? 
and people were running with that story and i'm like bro they're like a year apart dude and then everybody in the internet was running with that shit to not only forget the very first line you said time. vanessa that much younger no you're gonna see right here how much younger she is but also was unable to fit a five-minute Google search of their ages into her already busy schedule. This resulted in hordes of followers demanding Vanessa's birth certificate after she accused her of being 15 while dating Zero. And when she spoke on this experience, she even goes as far as to say that it gave her post-traumatic stress disorder. But wait, there's more! In the same breath, Jisoo also insinuated that Zero beats women, citing rumors as her source. The magnitude of this fuck-up is actually so impressive, I think we should just- It's so fucked up. Like, seriously. You first claim she she's underage and it was like a big gap. And then afterwards, you try to- you, you try to- Sprinkle in there. Oh, by the way, he also beats women. Come on, dude. Just let it slide. I mean, she clearly can't help it at this point. And as an educator, I take punching down on learning disabilities very seriously. Recap over. Congratulations, you're officially caught up. Now it's time to introduce the final three stories we've yet to address. And hopefully by the end, we can this, reach a verdict. This is going to be a long Jesus video chat. How fun. This is going to be a long video chat. So I, I really wanted to watch the entirety of this. So get some popcorn. What I didn't expect was another victim to speak up about Zero having asked her to do the same things while she was underage and talk about possibly flying over and meeting her at a hotel in person. This other victim that Jisoo is referring to is Laura. In the screenshots that follow her explanation, Laura details how Zero was likely gaslighting her into believing that she had lied about her age, saying, quote, I would have never in my life said I was 20. Like, this is 100% damage control. There's no way he didn't know I was underage. And I had text logs last year when I tried contacting him on Discord and was really thinking of posting it online back then, but no one would have believed me, and I just gave up on it, I guess. But I've reset my PC since then, so the Skype chat logs are gone. Unquote. Damn. Reset your PC so you lost the screenshots, huh? That's unfortunate. The issue isn't that she doesn't have the conversations, it's that they don't support her case in the slightest. The Skype messages still exist, but that's not the point. And he thought I was older. He did nothing wrong. I wouldn't share those Skype messages with anyone, though, at least not things that make him look bad, unless I trust that person to not share it with anyone. I'd never want to damage Zero's reputation. Cap! He didn't even know I was a minor. I'm not a bad person. I'm. Cap! Yo, when bitches be saying that shit. Cap. I'm really sorry. Like, like, why would you keep messages from that long ago, though? Like, messages I have from yesterday with with, with random ass people, they gone. But if you keep in messages from four or five years ago, you you have an ulterior motive, sir. Well, it doesn't get any more obvious than that, does it? I'm in genuine shock I get paid to do this. This puts our current lie tally from Jisoo at a solid 3.5. Vanessa being 15, Zero beating women, flying out a minor, and half a point for the hentai and Craigslist story. Because while it's extremely unlikely, it can't be disproven either. But truthfully, who gives a shit? I debated adding this part because it honestly feels like a waste of time, so if you want to skip it, just know that it boils down to an anti-situation. The first woman, who is now 27 years old, is upset because she feels as if Zero tried to use her to add to his collection by asking her for news. She paints the picture that Zero talked of women as if they were achievements, while boasting his easily obtained Infinity Gauntlet of pictures. Keep in mind that there is no evidence to literally anything I'm saying right now, which is why I wanted to skip it in the first place, but since Jisoo thought it was important enough to document, I don't really have a choice now, do I? She feels as if Zero was her friend, yet blocked and- Nah, true. Whatever, whatever mention story that she claims, you got to put that shit in the light because it's kind of like, <clears throat> it's like, look, here's the thing, right? Th this is what I don't like. She made all these claims and now wh what repercussion is she going to suffer? Nothing. She's not going to suffer anything. She's literally going to walk away scot-free, literally um, tarnishing a person's, tarnishing a person's career Fucking up their views and nothing's gonna happen to her. You said Zero is suing her though? Make that bitch homeless. Make sure she's living in a box like fucking Squidward. Spare coochie. Like, he better sue the fuck out of her, bruh. Cut her off when he started going steady with Vanessa. According because that's gonna make people think twice about spreading false bullshit. You can't just be out here tarnishing people's names. Facts. To Zero, he was never really close friends with her in the first place. And he was already cutting off people from his hometown because he never planned on going back. There is testimony from others that witnessed them hanging out and her general attitude of Zero, even though she stated that she had a boyfriend and that was one of the things she was upset about. Uh, but then that devolves into a he said, she said, and I don't have time for that shit. The rest of her Twitlonger appears to contribute a decent amount of her self-esteem issues to Zero, which I don't think is very fair considering their minimal amount of interactions. I'm not gonna lie, it honestly reads as projection. The big takeaway here is that Zero now has a confirmed history of sexually exploiting women. What? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Jisoo must have seen something I didn't because that is a loaded statement. You confirmed it? How'd you confirm that one? Oh, you listened to a couple stories? 
Here, take it. Just take it. No, seriously, you deserve it. Please, just take it. Another person also came to me recently to also validate that Zero regularly exhibited these behaviors while she was not underage at the time. A little odd that four of these cases involve fully grown women who are trying to prove he's a pedophile, but okay. When it was clear that she only wanted to maintain a friendly relationship and not sexual, Zero stopped talking to her. This is when I first spoke to him in Smashboard's PMs, October 2014. So yes, same exact time. Who the fuck keeps screenshots of shit from 2014? Bro! Smashboards? Time period is key. <clears throat> Guys, a woman was ghosted in 2015. Call the police. Oh my. Literally, that's all he did. He ghosted her, and then and then she made this false narrative. Oh. Bruh. God, who fucking cares? Look, I know it seems like I'm being insensitive, but both this and the woman I just spoke of isn't even a relevant issue anymore. This happened when? Six, seven years ago? He's been with Vanessa for five, and they're now married. You're bringing this up why? Oh, yeah, promiscuous behavior. Promiscuous. Having or involving many sexual partners. As is characteristic of most smashers, we all know that Zero was drowning in a substantial amount of pussy. Most times, you couldn't tell if there was a banana in his pocket or if he was just happy to play Diddy. Someone should really tell Nelly Furtado over <laughs> That fucking image of Zero, of dude. Pussy. Most times, you couldn't tell if there was a banana- I fucking hate that image. In his pocket, or if he was just happy to play Diddy. Someone should really tell Nelly Furtado over here the difference between flirting online and getting your own reality TV show for being Mormon. Promiscuous girl, I own a car. Wherever you are, bitch better not be far. This, in my opinion, is probably the only serious and legitimate problem that people have with Zero. Everything else is either fabricated, as we've seen, or yeah. extremely... So this is the story where, where, where they were talking about the, the messages, right? This is... The one that I was like, okay, I understand. But everything else was just like sprinkled in bullshit that's not even legitimate. And there's like no facts of, no text, nothing. It's just he said, she said bullshit. And I mean extremely over-exaggerated, which is yes. obviously a test. We're going to watch the other one. Zero's record um, is if they have to lie video. this much. Katie reached out to Jisoo after her initial tweet and began recounting her experience with Zero in 2014. After sending several screenshots of their Skype conversations, the two quickly exchanged numbers and began planning out the twit longer. At the time of the messages, Zero was 19 and Katie was allegedly 14. I only say allegedly because there's no way I can confirm her age on account of her being anonymous. I genuinely tried to get in contact with her, but every lead either had me blocked or refused to say anything. So, can't say I didn't. Nah. Nah. He tried to he tried to get into contact with the girl, and then that that's another thing because you can't take what people say on the internet at face value. They could be like, "Hey, I'm ten. I could tell you right now, I'm ten years old. How do you know if I'm lying or not?" Chat, I'm ten. Fuck, I gotta shave my beard. I'm ten, but I'm reverse aging. Dear Zero, my name is Katie. I used to be in the Smash community. I was 14 years old during our conversations on Skype from September 2014 to January 2015. We met online when you were streaming on Twitch and I messaged you over chat. You seemed to take an interest in me and gave me your Skype username. I, Starstruck, made a Skype just for this and began chatting with you. I was a young girl enraptured with the idea of being friends with someone I looked up to and admired. You used me in the state to flirt, manipulate, and ask for sexual favors from me. The worst offense, she claimed, was that he asked her to masturbate with ice and take pictures. Sadly, according to Katie, there is no evidence. This is the part where you angrily type in the comments. But technicals, he confessed. You don't need evidence, you victim blaming piece of shit wow just learn a new phrase nice very good very good calm the fuck down we're gonna read it right now jesus hey i can't sleep and i just can't take this back and forth i don't think it makes sense to keep this going i just want this all to stop and for me to at least atone i also want people to stop defending me i don't deserve it katie the screenshot you guys were wondering about the ice cube thing it's true the claims that katie makes are true in general there are no graphic pictures or anything of the sort but it's unforgivable regardless if you're an observant reader you may have noticed the stark contrast of tone from his previous responses that's because zero wholeheartedly intended for this to be his suicide note and had it not been for vanessa that may have well been the case If it's not too personal, what stopped you from committing suicide after posting your final twit longer? I was laying down. I think Vanessa was like, like holding me, right? I think at some point I looked at her and I was like, dead. Because at that point in time, when, when all that stuff was, was coming out, I remember I couldn't sleep for maybe like two and a half days or something. And I remember I, I just looked at her and she was trying to stay up because she, she couldn't sleep, you know, but she was kind of like, she wanted to sleep. And that's another type of to stay up. I'm not going to lie. I was so scared of him going to the bathroom alone, him just being alone, because those moments for him. I can't lie to you, bro. Vanessa kind of... I'm going to stop, bro. Let's just keep watching the show, chat. We're really difficult, and I cannot imagine how he felt as he was the one going through all of this. <laughs> I, just felt so bad. I, feel like <laughs> I didn't I say anything, bro. I looked at her and I just said, let me just go and, and, and end this. She was like, no, 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 please. No. I, remember, I remember she begged me not, not to do anything. I felt like the world was crashing on us. And at that point, death felt nicer than, you know, what was going on. I had to witness. Hey, I just said she looked nice. That's it. I wrote up the thing, and I was just sitting there for like 20 minutes just looking Come, at Yo, chat, chat. 
You guys acting like I said some crazy shit. I just said she looked nice. Damn, bro. Stop calling me that word. Monitor. So the plan was that I was gonna upload it. Yo, this video's still going. We got a hot minute, bro. We got like, like 30 minutes left. Oh my God, hold up. Let's keep it going. And then I was just going to just cut myself, like, you know, with a, with a knife that I had around. The main method I've always used has always been cutting. So yeah, that, that's just what I was thinking. I didn't have access to, to anything else at the time. I don't know Damn, what it was. Damn, Zero was cutting? Damn. Was, but Vanessa kind of kind of came into the room and I remember she came to the office and she gave me like this very long hug She was just telling me everything will be fine I remember feeling like this this warm because I felt really cold She went downstairs. She made me my favorite food, which was like steak with mashed potatoes It's always it's a classic for me She sat there and she was just like cutting the piece herself and just feeding me because I don't know it's just I was like a, like a potato at that point I don't know it, it made me feel like the sense of, of peace that I, that I didn't have at that point I, I really do think that I, for some reason she wasn't in my life or maybe she went to the store or something I, I definitely would have died. I mean I can't really explain it to you But I don't, I don't really want to go through that ever again What changed between then and March of this year that prompted the sudden relapse because we saw a bunch of articles come out And obviously Vanessa posted on Twitter that you were in the hospital after another suicide attempt there was like a month in january where i was like i think i can fix this i think this is this is workable i have hope we can do this you know and then in february i feel like realist and sick and then i was just like you know it's over you know there's nothing you can do what i basically convinced myself was that i started slowly shifting my thoughts to well if i can't fix it in this life maybe i can be gonzalo too i can die and then be reborn and then i can try again you know honestly looking back i feel like i live bro that's that's a scary thought process to be in this man said, fuck, let me just, let me just start the game again. This man said he wanted to just new game. He said, let me end this life and I'll just be reborn in another life. That's a scary ass thought process, dude. Legitimately went insane. Now that I'm explaining it to you, it's 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 embarrassing. It just sounds so stupid. I mean, I've always been kind of that's like scary, dude. The way I look at myself is very very bad. Compounded with what happened, compounded with having pretty much no one at that point in my life, it just felt like just felt like I went crazy. And then you know, I turned to the the worst possible option. That's scary. Nobody in this situation can know for certain besides Zero and Katie. So let's look at what we do know, and I'll come back to this in a second. In the messages we are provided, it's very clear that Zero is being flirtatious, and according to the dates, he knew her age at the time. I'm not going to read them, but these messages on screen are 100% unacceptable, and he'll be the first to tell you that. A lot of concerned individuals on social media have been saying things like, Zero should be in jail, or, my guy, he was getting pics from underage girls, he's a pedo. Well, if that's the case, then why hasn't he been Drake belled yet? <laughs> What the fuck? Zero will never see a second of jail time or even court over this. There's a few reasons why. First off, Katie is anonymous, and for legal action, you have to obviously file charges. Since there's no actual documentation or sexually explicit images exchanged- Exactly. There was no images exchanged. The most that it was was just flirtatious texting. Obviously, I'm not saying it was, it was the right thing to do or like it's passable, but still nothing was exchanged. The person is anonymous and doesn't want to give any information about themselves. So why the fuck? Like, you know, this isn't a place where the federal government would get involved either. Even Zero's <clears throat> confession wouldn't hold up in court because it was made under extreme stress and outside pressure. If that's what you were expecting, I'm sorry to break it to you, but realistically, it's not going to happen. Now, the million dollar question is, is Zero a pedophile? Now, I know that this is a very emotionally charged subject, and some of you have probably already made up your minds. But when it comes to a label that would suggest past, present, future, and potential harm of children, I think it's important to make sure that the shoe fits nice and snug. For instance, let's take someone who more than likely could be categorized as a pedophile, EDP445. EDP had messaged multiple underage girls, and despite almost getting caught one Yo. time, still ends up in a sting up with a 13 year old you've been exposed for this before Correct. you do you fantasize about females under the age of 16 yes or no sometimes yes. okay people who are pedophiles like children we've seen the same thing happen on to catch a predator it's nothing new you know you look familiar to me Oops. Okay. That's right. Oops, he's done it again. Repeat offenders literally cannot help themselves. It's classified in the DSM-5 as a paraphilic disorder, which means that they have persistent sexual urges or fantasies about children and act on them, or it causes them extreme distress or difficulty in their interpersonal relationships. Jisoo didn't, didn't have third third party witness or evidence, yet had she not come forward, Zero would still be manipulating children in our community. Let's ignore the fact that the early- Leffen said that? Yo, Leffen kind of fucked up. If I was zero, I would get buff. And if I catch, and if I catch Leffen in the streets, I would deck the fuck out of him, bro. <laughs> Yo, I will fuck this man up. And you know, damn well, Leffen can't fight. Leffen probably punches like a fucking Care Bear, bro. Or Zero would I will fuck this man up. <laughs> children in our community. Let's ignore the fact that the earliest evidence for this by Leffen is seven years ago, during the same time frame that Zero was involved with three grown women and one lying that they were. Even after gaining significantly more money and more access to minors, there's been no new cases. Before he was canceled, he even ran an entire team of children. This would be the perfect case study if I've ever seen one. So I reached out to some of Team Zero to see what they had to say on the matter. 
Oh, the team. I remember he was going to, he started his own team. And he has some people in his roster. Bro. Yo, I remember that shit. Who was it? Larry Lur? Yeah, I, I was think? part of a lot of videos he made regarding the young members. As far as I remember, there were no issues or inconveniences during the time he ran the group. Overall, he was a really nice person and always treated all of us with so much respect. It was really awesome to see how someone who I looked up to supported both me and the other younger members so much. He honestly has helped me a lot in many areas. I'm sure it's the same for anyone else he has helped, and I will always be grateful for that. So, Kirash, when did you start your time on Team Zero? Well, I actually started as a member um, when I was 15 years old. Right now, I'm 17. When I was 15 years old, so March of 2020, okay? So as I'm about to turn 16, that's when Zero reached out to me. We did a video together. We played. And then he said that he um, is going to invite me to Team Zero. And that's when it happened, March 13th of 2020. It's my understanding that you guys had like a group chat too. Did you ever get any weird vibes from Zero? Did he ever ask you guys to do something you probably weren't comfortable with? Absolutely not, of course not. We had a project group chat and like we had Zero um, in it as well. He wasn't very active, but like when he was active, he would just ask us to um to film a video with him. He did an Amiibo video. He did a video where he would fight each of us. It was just mostly us projects interacting with each other, but no, he's done absolutely nothing weird in the group chat. Like he's only spoken a few times and when he would, it was just for uh, getting us to film a video with him. Oh, okay. So it was more like purely business. Yeah. Knowing that there was a private group chat and this went on for four months, I just want to reach out to some of you guys in Team Zero to see if there was any red flags or if you ever felt like Zero was using you as a way to kind of get some gratification. No, no, never. We've never, I've never felt anything like that. I felt like this was just like, like I was just like happy and I felt proud of myself. Like, I don't think, I don't think that's the case. Well, thank you for your time, Kirash. I really appreciate it. Um, If you guys want to check out his YouTube channel, he does some Smash news there, a few recaps, and he's also an incredible Luigi player. So if you guys want to check that out, I'll link that in the description. Um, But yeah, thank you for your time, man. Yeah, no problem. Let me get this straight. He had the Disneyland equivalent of a pedophile's paradise and didn't ride Space Mountain once. Damn, Zero's really dropping the ball here. So what? His whole team was full of dudes. That only proves he isn't a gay Smash pedophile technicals. Who cares? Yeah, to which I, I respond, I guess that means you cross off the Honestly, Lefen is a fucking scumbag. I think technicals did a vid on him. I'm not sure, but nonetheless, the stuff Lefen said and done in the community is just terrible. No, it, it, it's true. It's true. Like, cause... Like, like I want to know what, what was Leffen's ulterior motive. Because it's like, I feel like Leffen, I thought Leffen and Zero were like at least on cool terms. But it's just scary to see how like people would just turn on you like that, you know? Like he probably was like, all right, this shit ain't going to happen. And then motherfuckers just straight up 180 and then just be like, oh, I, I never liked this motherfucker. You know? You'd think he'd diversify his profile a little bit. Let's just recap. It would be impossible for Zero to go to jail over this. He never exchanged any images. Every other story involves an adult, and he hasn't had a slip up in seven years. He must be the Dexter of pedophiles or the most patient barber I've ever seen. Because this isn't cutting it. Do I condone the conversations that took place? This no, motherfucker, and I hope I've made dude. that very clear. What I'm trying to say is that I don't believe this to be the result of a specific or malicious preference, as is the case with repeat offenders such as pedophiles and Discord mods. What I think we're looking at is a culmination of You know what's crazy? Remember back in the day when there was like a bunch of heated beef between Leffen and Hungry Box? And I thought back in the day Hungry Box was the bad guy. And now the whole time, it's not even Hungry Box. It was Leffen's bitch ass that was the bad guy the whole time. I was always like, man, Hungry Box is a mean person. Then now I find out, man, I'm like, yo, it's not even Hungry Box. No wonder he he didn't like Leffen so much of a fucked up childhood and trauma, resulting in emotional immaturity and a lack of genuine and fulfilling relationships. When Zero first publicly shared a story of how he grew up in Chile, we discovered how his father exposed him to sex at the age of five and brutally beat him and his mother. After the age of 11 to 12, he hardly received a proper education. And when he finally went to middle school, he was molested by an older boy and began to think and act as if he were gay to cope with the trauma. Just one look at Chile's extraordinarily progressive age of consent laws should give you an idea of how that worked out for him. I'm not just saying this so you'll pity him. I'm just saying his circumstances were pretty fucked and it's not unreasonable to assume that a traumatized, depressed shut-in would have a lack of meaningful and genuine relationship experience. But I don't know Zero enough to make that conclusion. So I found someone who would. So Vex, what is your relationship to Zero? Well, he was a part of VVV with Chia, and that was like his first connection. And Chia brought him over to my place to stay. He was like, hey, I got a friend that can house you. And then he left, and then he came back around the end of 2012. So he would be going in between like Chile and then back with you? Yes. In 2014, that's when he really like stayed with me, and that's when we did like the big stream. You know, he was living with me for a majority of that year. And then around like the end of 2014, that's when he moved out to California. What was he like? What was Gonzalo like in 2011 to like 2014? He was a confused teenager. You know, he was hyperactive, young, confused teenager. What do you mean by confused? My like, God. Examples? He didn't even know his- Like I saw the pictures and i thought of myself i used to look just like similarly to that shit back in the day except my hair was curly 
sexual preference at the time. When he was 17, he actually got in a relationship with somebody that was older than him. It was two years older. I think the person was 19. I, I tried my best to help him, you know, put him in the right direction as his oldest friend, but... Was this a same-sex relationship with someone older than him? Yes, it was. I mean, when I was 17, I was still trying to figure out if I was gay or not. I didn't feel normal around girls. I just didn't feel like I was appropriate for girls, and I, I tried being gay for like... Damn, I didn't know Zero was... Damn, I, this is news to me. All right, Zero. God damn. Like a year. Felt like I was forcing myself to do something that I didn't want to do because it felt like I, the other option was worse. So I was a mess, you know? And then, and then after that, I was just kind of like, I don't want to do anything with anybody at all. Did you ever notice anything off about him? Like, was there anything weird when he was staying with you? I want to start off by saying he was annoying and like really hyperactive. Didn't really understand, you know, what was okay to say and what wasn't okay to say. He didn't even know what mold looked like on waffles. He didn't what? He, he didn't know what mold looked like on waffles because he ate moldy waffles. He ate mold... <laughs> This motherfucker ate moldy waffles? Oh my god, that's the most Spanish shit I've ever heard. So so he just saw the waffles being blue and he was like, damn, this shit probably got a blueberry in it. Oh, come on, Zero. Moldy waffles. Yes. It's embarrassing to say, but I didn't know a lot of very simple things. You know, like I, I didn't know why, for example, World War II happened straight up until I was like 19. I didn't really learn about it in school. I just know this guy with a mustache, really horrible human being. You know, that's kind of what I do. I didn't know any more than that, you know what I mean? <clears throat> TBH, I feel bad for technicals. The hate he's getting is like what Zero went through back in Smash 4 when he had that tourney win streak. Turn. MFS hating on tech just because other people are telling them to hate him so they won't accept No, I, I like technicals a lot. Look, here's the thing with technicals. I remember when a community of people were hating on him. Like, and that was like months, months, months back. But then once I started watching his YouTube videos and I see that he actually looks for evidence and he's not like just a person that's just spewing shit out of his mouth. He actually has content to back him up. That's when I subscribed to him like months back. And that's when I started liking him. And whenever I see people on the internet like hating on him, I'll be like, bro, you probably don't even watch his content because he, he does his research. He ain't just saying dumb shit. He's actually doing work. And the, the format of his videos is great. I saw the video that he did on ESAM. I, look, I don't have no personal vendetta against ESAM. The only thing I hate about ESAM is that motherfucker keeps saying Pikachu's the best character and he still loses like every tournament. But that's besides the point. He made a video on ESAM, the Captain Zack shit. Fuck Captain Zack. I, I can't stand him. Motherfucker. <laughs> him and FTK were literally like in a Walmart hiding. You know, playing hide and seek. Hey, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Hide and seek. Okay, do it. <laughs> Where is it? Put the camera away, man. We're in a store. Come on, it's, it's fine. nice to have out. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> what? Put the camera away. Okay. We're in a store it's, in America. It's fine. It's not nice to do. It's not nice? No. What? There's other people around. If they see them in your camera, they might get upset. Really? Yes. No one got upset. It's, it's fine. not courteous. Okay, just give me one minute. No. Did he tell you anything about his past childhood? Damn. His well, his parents split up when he was very young, you know, between like four or five years old. And he had a lot of issues in school. Particularly, he was getting bullied a lot. So he didn't go to school because of that. And then afterwards, he decided to go back. And then he completed middle school and high school within like a three year period. Just a lot of really bad things not only just the you know me you know getting um molested but also just the fact that i got into a lot of fights at school a lot of you know maybe like in six or seven really bad fights i actually got expelled for one of them but i remember my mom went to like 10 different schools no one will take me and for the next two or three years i was homeschooled being homeschooled man i did nothing i just didn't go to school maybe 12 to 13 to like almost 16 here i just kind of just sat home and, and played video games i didn't do anything i felt like i had no purpose in life i took this this test that kind of catches you up on, on, on a few grades and i remember it was very embarrassing because when i took the test the woman who was doing the test it was this old lady she felt bad for me so she actually cheated on the test for me she straight up just told me you're the youngest person who's taking this test in a long time i don't want to fail you so she kind of just let me pass and I'm pretty sure she inflated my grade too. So it's not like I did anything, you know? And then uh, my mom begged me to go to high school. So I went to this special high school. It was not a normal high school. It's a special high school where other kids that have issues go to that high school and it's like easier. The kids are older. So some of the kids that I went to high school with were actually 20. Some people were like 25. It was not a normal high school with teenagers. I went with some adults. I don't think I would have passed a normal high school. I don't think so. Damn. When you look at Zero's development over the years, even as recent as his marriage to Vanessa, you'd be hard pressed to establish any kind of significant behavioral trend, considering how the single instance in 2014 is the only existing point of contention. Now, if that's enough for you to still be against Zero and think that he's an irredeemable person, I kind of understand where you're coming from, but if what Leffen and Jisoo said is true, you wouldn't need to lie this much to prove it. A pedophile will usually do that themselves. This may be a little personal, but I like Zero, and if he decides to continue making content, I can't think of a single reason not to. If you just thought to yourself, wow, that's a pretty risky and controversial opinion technicals, then I'd argue that this opinion is 1000 times less controversial than what a majority of the Smash community already openly accepts. Remember when I said at the beginning, I'll show you how two of the biggest cases in Smash have never been solved? Well, the other one is Nairo. Mmm. Mmm. After I made the curious case of Captain Zack, I made a public apology and removed Nairo's mention from my ESAM video. Not because I thought he was innocent, 
but because I couldn't prove he was guilty. In hindsight, I missed a few glaring holes that I probably could have discussed in the video. What I didn't anticipate <clears throat> was the influx of cancelled players DMing me, but after noticing how positively Nairo's return was received, I got an idea. I could use this newfound wave of acceptance and critical thought to get even the worst of my skeptics to believe that there were others like Nairo. If you can start a hashtag after fucking over Nairo and then give him thousands of dollars, the least you could do is write a tweet. Hashtag apologize to Scott. Well, I do see the disconnect logically to say that Anti being lied to, she's still a child predator, but Nairo being lied to, ah, he's a hero. Like, it's also because Nairo's a love player and I always been a hated player for my whole career. So it's like, there's definitely a bias to it. However, that card has far outplayed its use. So it's time I tell you what I really think. Nairo's case, in its current state, is objectively worse than anything that Zero has ever done. Yet he was officially unbanned from 2GG and Collision, removed from the Global Ban database, has a hashtag that trends every other month, and still has a significant audience over on YouTube. What do I mean by in its current state? Mm. Well, exactly what I've been saying. You can't exactly prove that Nairo is innocent or guilty of sexual misconduct with a 15-year-old in 2017. And while Zack might not have been entirely truthful, that doesn't mean Nairo is. I cannot offer any more details, but should Zack or any other party continue to escalate this, my attorney will be dealing with this legally while I continue therapy. What do you mean if Zack continues to escalate this? You said that you were planning to take legal action, and the reason you couldn't share your 30-page document was because of legalities and you were saving it for court. So why is this addressed as a cease and desist if you're taking action regardless? Correct me if I'm mistaken, but your attorney said that you've had no criminal charges filed against you. So wouldn't any legalities be a direct result of you and your attorney's decisions? There's a very, very, very slim chance that an 18-year-old like Captain Zack did anything beyond a consultation before essentially agreeing to the terms of your settlement. Even if it were the case that your settlement required you to not release the details of your innocence, why on God's green earth would you ever agree to that? Call it a detective's intuition, but something doesn't feel right here. On the same day that this was posted, three other tweets would come out within 22 minutes in support of Nairo. I'm gonna read all three, and you tell me if you notice a pattern. I have seen the 30-page document and the evidence spoken of here. I won't be saying much else about the situation, as I legally can't. I'd appreciate it if you guys could at least give this a read. I believe Nairo and support his voice. I've read the 30-page document, seen the evidence, and can confirm that they exist. I am legally bound from saying anything more, but I believe Nairo. I believe Nairo and I support his voice. Please read it fully. I have read through the 30-page document and seen the evidence, so I can- They all say the same thing! Copy and pasted! confirm that it does exist. I am legally bound from saying anything more, but I believe Nairo. I am here to support his voice, so if you will, please just read through it. These tweets all display three common traits. They've seen the documented evidence, thus confirming it exists. They're legally bound to avoid questioning, and they request others to read Nairo's statement while expressing their own support. If we put Cosmos and Paradin's tweet side by side, they almost look identical, don't they? Isn't it odd that nine minutes after Paradin's tweet, almost the exact same message is posted by Cosmos? Huh. Unless Cosmos was just plagiarizing for the fun of it, I think it's very possible that there was a group chat where they were all sent a template, or it was sent individually by either Nairo or someone involved with the case. Now, why is this a bad thing? Ask yourself, why would Nairo only get his closest friends to review his evidence just to post later on social media that it exists? Why would his attorney suggest increasing the legal liability of his client by having his friends read his defense only to then sign NDAs? Why did every organization that unbanned him refuse to elaborate and then state that their investigation was ongoing? Even Nairo's attorney stated that he was so confident in the defense that should this go to court, he would quote, ultimately exonerate him in a court of law. If this defense that no one has seen is so strong, then why isn't it an open and shut case? So many questions, and yet no answers. Damn. Alpharad, along with the original three from October, would once again post to show their support for Nairo by fueling the unbanned Nairo trend, which hoped to get his Twitch account unbanned. What reason do I, your average Joe, have to believe any of you? Seeing is believing, and unless Nairo starts delivering annual presents through my fireplace, I'm gonna need to see that 30-page document. I'd be more inclined to believe that this was skewed in Nairo's favor had they not been flirting publicly two weeks before the incident took place. So excuse me <clears throat> if I have my reservations. Like, what the fuck is this? This tweet alluding to. We all know that Captain Zack. The fuck? What the fuck? Hey, yo. <laughs> Zack and Ally had a relationship, and with the context of Felicio a few weeks later, I can't help but get a bad taste in my mouth. No matter which way you slice it, Nairo had confirmned physical contact with a 15-year-old when he was 20, and in spite of that, and your average community member not knowing for sure if he's innocent, he's in the clear. At least I know for sure what Zero did and didn't do. Can't say the same for Nairo. Despite my position, I reached out to see if they fill me in on the case before making this video. The first person responded exactly how I expected, and Nairo's brother simply ignored me. So much for transparency, huh? Oh, this defense? This defense right here? I don't want to be that guy, but I can't even start to explain how effective this hypothetical defense would be, <coughs> so I won't. Allegedly, some people think you fucked a kid. What other inspiration would you need to plaster this to every corner of the internet? I'm just saying, if I was a Smash figurehead, which I am, I would just keep someone banned if they don't want to publicly prove they're innocent. This is a gaming community. This is not a behind closed doors legal issue. This is a would parents look at this and approve issue. Fucking idiots, it's not complicated. However, this isn't the only place where the people in charge have made more than questionable decisions. 
Mm. As early as August 16th, the Code of Conduct was used to elaborate Hax's indefinite ban from the melee community. The two infractions cited were the level two offense of directed and malicious intimidation, harassment, or bullying of any participant, whether by language or conduct, and the level three offense, most likely citing malicious gossip with the intent of manipulating the victim's social circle and defamation of character. Using this as their reasoning, a majority of prevalent TOs stood behind the decision by signing at the bottom. If that's the case, then it stands to reason that the same rules should apply to members of the same community right? Well, that certainly would be the case if this weren't the kangaroo court we call Smash. According to the rules in this document, Jisoo has committed two level three infractions. One for physical assault, witnessed by her own apology for said physical assault, and another one for defamation of character, where there's a literally legal action being taken against her for the sheer volume- Rest in peace, bozo! ...of lies I've gone over in full detail over two videos. Add on a level two offense for harassment if we're going by the precedent set in the hacks case, and also enabling underage shrinking, cause fuck it, why not, throw it in. Those are all infractions of rules set out in the code of conduct, and yet after a trending hashtag and a video with over 300,000 views, Absolutely nothing has been done. There's been no statement from the Melee community at all. If you want to know why, just ask your boy Slime. Everyone knew that this was happening about this fucking technicals video. Everyone knew about it, and Jisoo asked people to, if, you know, to, to like, not give it, um... Because she, she was like, hey, this video's gonna come out, and it's gonna fucking be really annoying, and it sucks, and I'm like, damn, that fucking sucks. And she was like, can you, like, not engage with it, because attention is, is like, the engine that feeds people like this, like this Keemstar fellow, Keemstar fellow, and, uh, I was like, yeah, sure. That's right, Jisoo just asked a bunch of high-ranking Melee figures to not view the evidence that would come out against her, and they just complied without question. Isn't that convenient? Hey, uh, there's gonna be... Hi. What's up, baby? Thank you for the sub. I appreciate you, man. That's crazy. So she told all the big heads to not watch the video. If she would have told me that, I would have been like, nah, bitch, I'm going to watch the video. I want to see why the fuck you telling me not to watch the video. To not view the evidence that would come out against her. And they just complied without question. Isn't that convenient? Hey, um, there's going to be this video coming out. It's going to be, like, really fucking annoying. And, um... His fucking girl voice is so good. Every time Technicals does that shit, he could trick me if he's on the phone. Uh, hey, Retro. I'd be like, hey, hey what was bobbing? I have to deal with it. Uh, can you guys just, like, fucking ignore it, please? Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You want me to do what? Ignore it? Yes, ma'am. I want you to go and jump off a bridge, please. Thank you. It's gonna be really <laughs> annoying for me, but just, like, can you go do that? Yes, ma'am. Understood. These motherfuckers are like, what? Like, That's what I said! That's what I said! They were all like, oh, girl, 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 tell me what to do. I, I will follow girl. That, that was basically everybody on, twi on Twitter. See, si, senor. Y yes, girl, girl, G girl, yes. 30, 40? This is like some high school shit. They're sitting at the cool kids table. Where's my invite? Where's my extra pudding cup? What the fuck, man? Bearing in mind that Levin is also guilty of defamation of character and harassment, by the rules that they laid out, he should also be banned. Actually, technical, if you actually read the Code of Conduct, in Article 4, there's a statute of limitations for reporting, so, <laughs> sorry, buddy. Let's just say I whip my dick out in front of a couple of children while playing friendlies. Now, hey, yo! I would be put on a registry for the rest of my life. But Smash is actually quite unique, because as long as I threaten those children to not report it long enough, I'm in the clear, baby. Thanks to whatever geniuses masterfully crafted this document, my actions are put on the same playing field as malicious gossip and physical assault. Stalking is in level 4, but doxing is in level 3. Who the fuck? What? What the fuck? Who proofread this? Salem? This standard of proof in all cases shall be determined on a sliding scale from, at a minimum, a mere balance of probability for the least serious punishments, up to close to, but not as high as, proof beyond a reasonable doubt for the most serious punishments. <laughs> not only do they not need to prove anything beyond a reasonable doubt, but they can actually just ban you off a mere balance of probability. God bless America. Panelists may draw an inference adverse to the accused who is asserted to have committed an offense under the code of conduct based on their refusal, without compelling justification after a request made in a reasonable time in advance of the hearing to appear at the hearing and or to answer any relevant questions. Get this, if you refuse to go to a hearing, the panelists are allowed to think poorly of you. And considering that in some cases, all they need is a mere balance of probability, that's all they fucking need. <laughs> Why do they need a compelling justification so you don't get interrogated, but they don't need a compelling justification to ban you? Do you see what I'm getting at here? Any new evidence which may bring to light the innocence of the accused has a statute of limitations of the duration of their initial suspension or ban? W what does this even mean? If they find out you're innocent after your ban expires, they just won't fucking do anything? Sorry, time ran up. Can't do anything. Case closed. <laughs> Regardless of who you are, this arbitrary set of rules was designed to fuck you over. And even though we know that Jisoo and Leffen are objectively in the wrong, they're just gonna continue to get away with it as long as we're quiet about it. Because if there's one thing these people actually care about, it's pretending to be a better person than you. When I first took on this case, I'll be honest, I had quite a few reservations about Zero. Some of you might even remember me saying things like, I can't do anything, I'm not a fucking miracle worker. But after thoroughly reviewing the case files, the motivations, the state bylaws, the contradictions, and the traffic violations, I came to where I am now. Zero's conversations with Katie were 100% irresponsible and wrong in my opinion. The issue for me is that this isn't something that was caught in the moment. This happened once, seven years ago, when he was 19, and then never happened again. The only inference I can reasonably- 
I literally said that. This is something that happened a long time ago. It happened once. And obviously, it's not like, like I'm saying, it was okay to do it. But the fact that people do this thing on the internet where they literally, they literally crucify you. If you fuck up once, like, like people aren't human. Unless you're doing some catastrophic shit like EDP 455, where you are constantly on the prowl. You are constantly on a daily basis trying to hook up with some little Jimmy on the gram, trying to meet up with them. The pull from that is that he either realized it was wrong and stopped it himself, or his mental maturity finally caught up with him after years of trauma and a lack of proper education. He's been with Vanessa for five years now, and they're happily married. I can't for the life of me point to anything that would correlate him being a current danger to children, like Levin would suggest. Zero never exchanged images with Katie, which is his worst perceived crime to this day. Yet Nairo had undeniable sexual activity with a 15-year-old and has still not provided his full defense. You said, if I like teeth, I love teeth for his innocence. His attorney says that he could ultimately exonerate him, so why hasn't he? He made it sound really easy. If Nairo feels like his audience isn't owed a detailed explanation, then according to the severity of the allegations, he isn't owed a platform either. And you can tell your attorney I said that, because I'm not an 18-year-old, and I can promise you it's gonna take a lot more than some half ass legal jargon to make me fold. Given the lack of confidence from those in charge, it's not surprising that Jisoo and Leffen have all- I'm surprised about that, about the Nairo situation. I thought he fully went through the court system. So, so from what we're seeing right now, Nairo didn't fully go through the court system. Because cause I would have sued this motherfucker till he was bald. Also avoided accountability for this long. That doesn't really matter though, because a Sigma waits for no one. And as I've stated before, legal action is being taken. Whether you decide to support Zero in the future is entirely up to you. But let's stop this arbitrary game of deciding who is and isn't a redeemable person based off who we want to believe more. I'm not asking for justice. I'm not even gonna ask you for an apology. You don't have to say anything. So I'll just say the only thing that's left to say. Welcome back, Zero. Read for yourself, ask the right questions, and who knows? Maybe you too can be a detective. But for now, this case is officially- You said, cause they settled it out of court? Fuck that, nah. What do you mean settled it out, out of court? Out of court? You fucked me in the ass. You fucked me in the ass out of court. Who's to say a year from now, Captain Zack doesn't have a bitch fit and try to throw him under the bus again. I would have settled that shit in court and I would have had like some documentation saying, hey, if you try any type of fuckery at all, your ass is under the fucking gym. I said the gym. Your ass is under the jail. You have to have some type of court document that says, yo, if you fuck with me again, I'm going to make sure you underground. Because you can't have like a word of mouth type of situation where you're like, hey, man, you kind of fucked me up this year. I know, man. I'm so sorry about that. Hey, um, so can you knock it off and not do it any again? Okay, yeah, I want to No, fuck that word of the mouth shit. I'm going to throw you under the goddamn jail, you piece of shit. Actually closed. Until next time. If you're listening. Oh my God. Th there he goes again with a sexy ass girl voice. Obviously you will listen to this, but I'm so proud of you, Gonzalo. And I love you. And you have friends. Oh, that's not his sexy voice. That's his girl. I'm dead, bro. That's his girl. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> I thought it was technicals. I was like, damn, technicals sound kind of good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, bro. I cannot, dude. I was like, damn, mm -hmm. technical sounds sexy. Bro, I haven't seen zero. <sighs> it's been a long time since I've talked to you guys on this channel. As you may have heard, I was involved in some big allegations as of last year. And since then, I have not uploaded to this channel. I have taken a break from social media and I pretty much just up and disappear. In this video, I want to clear the air about that and what the next steps are for this channel and me in general. To start off, you probably heard of all of this from Look, me. to start off, you got to do you. Zero, fuck what everybody else thinking. Get on your grind. Get your money. Stay on that gym grind like, like my ass has to stay on that gym grind. You, you stay on your gym grind. Satisfy your girl. I... And just do you, my guy. Fuck, fuck what Twitter got to say. Because guess what? Half these bitches on Twitter are living miserable lives. Bayzed. 
a document made by Jisoo, which was then later spread by multiple media outlets. This document contains a very large amount of lies, falsehoods, big exaggerations, and honestly, it is nothing more than a piece to assassinate my character and ruin my image to the general public. There is a lot to go over, but the easiest and best way to learn the truth is to watch these two videos made by Technicals, with one of them actually being released today. Technicals did extensive research for half a year to really dig the truth, interviewed many people, gather so much evidence, and honestly, he put two pieces together that could explain what really happened better than I could with my own words. You will absolutely want to watch both of these videos fully to really learn the truth, see how everything happened. Oh God, I want to go to Sky Williams' house. Because everybody described that shit like Hogwarts, dude. I want to go to his house, and I want to actually see that shit in person. Like, like somebody in the chat got to go with me. I'm taking NX Nero, Soul Menace, maybe Travent. And you know what? Axter. You know what? Even Ellie... Ellie Gamer Man, because I think we got to do a lucky trade. Even Ellie Gamer Man, I'll take his ass too. We got to go to Sky's house. Happen, who is involved, and really just see how it all came to be. I've added links to both of these videos down below. A common misconception is that I have been framed as a liar and that I lied in all of my Twitter statements. This is not true. You can see this evidence in more detail in Technicals video. The reason I seem to switch stances is simply because at the time I did not have proper evidence, witnesses that came forward later, and I just did not have the full picture in front of me. I also lost a lot of faith in if the public will actually believe my side of the story, seeing how vicious people were during that period of time. Since at the time I pretty much only had my word and memory to defend myself, I figure it will be a lot easier to just apologize than to fight it. Obviously now that I put it that way, I made a tremendous mistake. You have also probably heard of a so-called confession for my part. Simply put, this document is nothing more than a suicide letter that I wrote during a tremendous mental breakdown. I had fully planned to take my life right after posting that document because I pretty much lost all faith in that scenario, seeing so many of my close friends deciding to take the situation, to throw me under the bus for personal gain, seeing how people were reacting in general, and me just feeling like that's what I feel that that was really fucked up about the smash community thing is that like the whole community acts like they all care about each other. But then when this situation kind of happened, like when he just said here, people were just starting to throw people under the bus. Like they'd be like, oh, yeah, I never fucked with zero. I always knew zero was was, was an asshole and, and all this type of shit. And then, and then you like, bro, we were just playing smash two days ago. Like, what happened? Are you mad that? Now my character 3 owed you or something? Like, like where did all this animosity come from? Like, people was quick to just switch up on you during that situation. And that's how you know Smash community fake. They all fake. If I was MK Leo, you saw how MK Leo fucked up that, that, that one dude that was playing as Pyra and Mithra? Oh my god, he ripped his balls out. But anyway, if I was MK Leo, I would live in Mexico with my money and just stay chilling like I could not defend myself properly pretty much took the last bit of hope that I had left and I decided not just to give up but to sabotage myself on purpose you said Spargo yo Spargo fumbled that bag so 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 hard how the fuck you let Leo 3 oh you didn't Leo have one stock left and he had like two or three lives left you said leave Spargo alone nah bro he took that L he took that L. Definition of out of court for your dumbass kick. Nah, bro. You said definition of out of court for your dumbass. What is that? What is that? Out of court, an agreement reached between the parties in a pending lawsuit that resolves to a dispute in their mutual satisfaction and occurs without judicial intervention, supervision, or approval. An out of court settlement provides that the parties relinquish their rights to pursue judicial remedies why did you send me this bro he's 17 and he's right behind leo nah bro leo put him in his place you know you know when he goes up against leo again he gonna think about that down air spargo sleeps and he thinks of that down air he'd be like ah, ah, down air Byleth Dare. Ah! Bro, I I would not be able to sleep after that set. The way he dared him, 
He had that big has. He had that monster axe hammer, bro. He 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 took him. He took him, bro. If you have been watching my content for years now, it should be no surprise that I have been. You said Spider Man trailer is out. Give me a second. After this, we're gonna watch it together. All right. Other open about my mental struggles and depression in general. This is not my first fight with suicide, and for a long time, I have been really struggling with that line. But after taking time to reflect and think properly and review all of the evidence that came forward later on, I realized this was a big plot to assassinate my character and just, just destroy my life. Since then, I have retained legal counsel to take the necessary steps to deal with this scenario, and I'm also in the middle of a lawsuit with some of the involved parties in this case. This case is also more complicated than other cases because there's a lot of people involved. Some of the parties are completely anonymous and this all makes taking the right steps extremely difficult. Nah, bro. You you only got two people. Kill Jisoo and get Leffen, bitch ass too. Because Leffen, you want to talk all that talk? All right, let's go to court, buddy. That's what you got to do. Leffen, Jisoo. That's it. Take him to court. I am doing my best, but it is not easy. Now, I need to make this very clear to everybody watching this video. I have never received explicit images from any underage individual. I have never sent explicit images to any underage individual. I have never made travel arrangements with ulterior motives with any underage individual. I have never been touched or touched in any shape or form any underage individual. And I have never had conversations with only the intention to groom an underage individual or take advantage of them. Anything you may have heard or seen that suggests otherwise. You say you can't go to court over a tweet? Yes, you can. If you got money. If you got money, yes, you can. Get the fuck out of here. Joshy Washi be like, Retro got a baby dick. You going to court. I see you in a week. Bring your suit. You better not wear a suit with Jordans, motherfucker. You better have your dress shoes on, motherfucker. We going to court in a week. <laughs> in a week. Okay. Is a lie. Moving forward, I will not. Now, have you ever gone to court and see a motherfucker dressed up in a complete suit and motherfucker got Jordans on? You know you lost when you show up like that. I've actually seen motherfuckers go to a courtroom in J's. How you gonna dress up all black? And then got some J's on or some Air Forces. If I was a lawyer and, 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 and I'm like, I'm about to defend this motherfucker. And I see him with some J's and a suit on or a Air Forces and a suit on. I, I'll be like, your honor, he's guilty. <laughs> he's guilty, your honor. <laughs> He'll be looking at me like, sir. I'll be like, nah, he's guilty. He, he didn't even bother to buy dress shoes. Like, not come on. be addressing this topic publicly anymore, and I will let my legal team address anything that may surface from this topic. I am not putting myself out there for the game of social media allegations anymore. If you hear or see anything that may come up about this case in general, it is safe to assume that my team is taking care of it, but behind the scenes, not publicly. In terms of the future of this channel, I will be returning to make content. Let's go. This will be in the form of Smash Bros videos, or variety content as I was making before. I do not represent a danger or harm to anybody, and I do have the right to utilize my platforms and make the content that I want to make. Of course, because it's your platform, and you do whatever the fuck you want to do. You says, how, how, he says, how you a man and don't got dress shoes? Nah, you'd be surprised, man. Obviously, some It's like, if you don't got dress shoes, at least have some loafers, you know? Have some, have some nice loafers. Nah, there, there be motherfuckers out here with no dress shoes. Some things will be different as some things cannot be repaired from this scenario but my passion has always been to make quality content and to entertain people and make videos in general and i feel like i can do all of that while staying in my lane and living my life people have the choice not the obligation to watch or support my content if they wish to do so but i do hope that those of you guys that are interested in watching my content again give it a chance i understand very well i am not fault free here and i've made mistakes but those mistakes do not represent the person I am today or the person I want to be moving forward. He said, I hope everything goes well for Zero. If I was Zero, any, I, I, I'd make sure I have like a moderation team. Because here's one thing that I don't understand about the internet. If, if a person hates you, right, on the internet, they will literally follow you just to continue hating on you. So I know for a fact, you can see from the reception of this video, it got 1.8K dislikes. These people are going to follow him 
and then the next upload, they gonna just follow him just to hit the down vote button, and then just talk shit in the comments. But guess what? YouTube is deleting the dislike button. Remember Mai from Jujutsu Kaisen? You motherfuckers downvote spammed me for Mai and Jujutsu Kaisen? <laughs> that bitch still trash! Fuck Mai! Fuck her stupid ass ability! Garbage ass character! Stay with me at the bottom! Bitch ass motherfucker! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Nah, Mai's a bitch still. Okay. Ancient reflection already happened many years ago. And I am a completely different person than when I was when I was 19 years of age. Today, I'm married. I'm about to be 27. I want to start a family. I want to support the people that have been good to me that are close. Oh, shit. My man shooting up. He said, I want to start a family. Baby Zero. Yo, Zero, chill. Not yet, man. St still keep making money. Close to me. I want to entertain people. I want to chase my passion <clears throat> of creating content and making people laugh. And I just want to live my life. And that's pretty much all I have to say for this video. Content will resume tomorrow as of 10 a.m. EST as it was before. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys around. Thank you. Bye-bye. Damn. My man probably got a shit ton of videos lined up. I can't even lie. I imagine being on a hiatus for this long. I would have videos like scheduled on cue, like just ready to just upload. And guess what? If I was him, I would put so much unskippable ads on that bitch just to be a bitch. So I can have all these haters try to like downvote, spam me, get hit with ads, and I still get the revenue from that shit. I'd be like, yo, thank you from the thank you for the view, you dusty ass motherfucker. But yep, that's what you gotta do, man. That's crazy. That that was a long watch. I felt good to watch it though. He posted small clips of his upcoming YouTube videos on his Insta. I got to check that out. Wait, what was the thing of this video? Also in GTA 3, I also heard that the trilogy of GTA was terrible. That's unfortunate. If you wiggle your car, it gets bigger for some reason. <laughs> Yo, it's getting wider. What the fuck's wrong with the wheels? <laughs> what the hell is this? Cyberpunk? Cyberpunk? You said I, I, um, it's Ash's best skin. I think I, I think I missed out on this skin, to be honest. I wanted to get this skin for her, but I, I definitely missed out. Like, I didn't have... Yo, like, I don't have the funds to ball out on Apex. The only skin I might buy right now that I saw on the Apex thing is the, um, what was that skin? The Mirage skin and maybe the other one. Uh, Katie, this anonymous girl went to the Twitter, but didn't have to balls to, to go to the police to convict him. The victim is an idiot in my opinion as well. And if Zero gets clapped for his pass, Jisoo and Leffen need to be held accountable as well. But you know damn well that's not going to happen, though. You know it's not going to happen. Because the weirdest part about the internet is that they only hold people... They only try to put people on a pedestal and hold them accountable for the people they want. Like, for example, in Smash Brothers or whatever... If everybody likes you or some like I don't know like it makes no sense like like they will literally fuck you up and if you do some fucked up shit they won't say anything to you because they like you or something I don't know Happy 20 years for Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty great game This list is garbage Call of Duty tier list Black Ops 3 Infinite Warfare I know who made this Jack Courage How the hell you got Modern Warfare 2 out of 7?
Modern Warfare 2 should be like top 5 next to Black Ops 2. That's a weird list. That's a weird list. Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare 2, and Black Ops 2 should be like top 5. Easy. Easy. Bro, what it why y'all sending me all these videos that I can't watch? You ever been in a situation where you're hanging out with your friends and the conversation somehow shifts to you commenting on another man's looks? Whether that man be someone your friend. Bro, I do that shit all the time in my job. If I if I'm in my job and one of my coworkers come in on their shift and they look good, I'll let them know they look good. I'll be like, hey man, I peeped the coat. You looking good in that coat? And he'd be like, yo, thanks, my guy. Bro. You a pussy if you have that mentality of like, oh, no, people going to think I'm gay. Bro, I don't care. If you look good, I'll let you know that you look good. You said retro be like, nice cock on oh, God. Hey, man, nice cock. I don't care. I'm surprising. There are niggas on Twitter who are being willfully ignorant and not even bothering to watch the video. Of course, they didn't watch the, the video. The community is basically brainwashed into listening to what technicals says. Not to mention that a low T of people already hated Zero long before allegations no, just of course. because he was the best Smash player. No, of course. Cheer 100. That's always going to happen. You you know what's a perfect example of this shit? I know it's going to be like a random ass segue topic, but remember the Travis Scott tragedy? The, the, the shit that happened on, unfortunately, I think like the numbers went up and now 10 people passed away. During the Travis Scott um, um, World concert, right? How the fuck everybody on Twitter now out the wazoo was a Travis Scott hater? I never liked this music. Bitch, I saw you twerking on a dick to fucking sicko mode. Like, now you saying you don't like Travis Scott? <laughs> everybody now like, oh, I, I, I always hated Travis Scott. Ever since the Astroworld, I knew Travis Scott was a fucking asshole. Like, y'all weren't saying that shit before. Now the second Travis Scott goes through some tra um um controversy, and I mean like I'm not saying that he doesn't deserve to go through the controversy, cause goddamn, ten people died out of his fucking concert. But it's like now all these people came out the wazoo talk about I've always hated Travis Scott, man. Never liked him. <laughs> Never liked him since day one. Be like, bitch, shut the fuck up. Shut up. You just trying to bandwagon. Not saying that he doesn't deserve a hate bandwagon, because like I said. It was kind of fucked up, well, like, the situation that happened. Also, another hot take that comes to the Travis Scott situation. Ooh, ooh, today's a hot take day. Today's a hot take kind of day. Hot take of the Travis Scott situation, right? Hot take, right? Here's my thing. Why is everybody on Twitter trying to 100% put the, the whole blame on Travis Scott? When he has a whole management team, there's, there were multiple... Police officers out there and shit. Why are they why are they saying it's only Travis Scott's fault? Everybody else should be getting rep. The the people who the 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 producers, the the police officers that apparently that place was supposed to be full of police officers. Apparently I heard that place had a shit ton of cops over there. Okay. The paramedics. What the fuck's with the paramedics? Apparently they had a bunch of paramedics over there that weren't even trained. Weren't even trained in CPR. Like, it was motherfuckers' first day. It was motherfuckers' first day going to a Travis Scott concert and motherfuckers didn't even know how to do CPR. What? <clears throat> Another hot take. Nobody's blaming the Rangers. Nobody's ho ho holding these stupid fans accountable too because they were bugging out. I agree with mostly all replies. You said it takes a team to create a concert. And that's another thing. Also, people think that everybody keeps saying when it comes to the Travis Scott thing that, that he had an earpiece and he knew what was happening. Bro, those are noise cancellation headphones and, and that's so he could keep track to the song of like what's happening. He has no type of relay with what the fuck is going on outside in the fucking crowds. You said Travis is at fault? No shit Travis is at fault. What I'm trying to say is everybody on the internet is saying Travis is solely at fault. 
Everybody on the internet is trying to just crucify only him. When I'm like, no, everybody in that whole vicinity should be crucified. Not just him. Everybody. The ragers, the fans, the idiots that were dancing on top of the paramedics. The paramedics themselves. The fucking crewmen that were holding the camera. Everybody that was in the walkie-talkies. Everybody got to be held accountable. Not just him. That's Pepega mind. Nah, that's a Pepega mentality. Oh, it's only Travis Scott fault, man. And then everybody was saying that apparently Travis Scott was hearing the crowd saying "stop the show." Do you know the amount of noise that's happening in in the concert, and you can't hear that shit when when you're in the front and, and you're in a concert. All you hear is ambient screams, just of just. You can't hear shit when you're in the front. You cannot hear shit. But people uh, on Instagram and, and on Twitter was swearing on their life. He heard it. He heard it word for word, bar for bar, clear as day. No. I'm bugging the fuck out. But anyway, I'm speaking facts, though. People just don't like to, to hear when I speak facts. Doing pretty well, Austin. I don't take no breaks. He said Lil Uzi uh, Vert addressed the crowd at Day in Vegas after some people tried to get him to stop the show because some people in the crowd fainted. I don't take no breaks. If it gets bad, leave. If you ain't gonna leave, stay. If it gets bad, leave. If you ain't gonna leave, stay. Oh. Okay then, so I'm doing pretty well for myself. I mean, hey. Wait a minute. Is this a new one? Wait a minute. More victims. Okay, we ain't watching that right now. You said fake subs in the chat? True. Who the fuck a fake sub? You got ads? You a fake sub. You a motherfucking fake sub. What the fuck is this, bro? You a fake sub? Um, when was this? <clears throat> Stop the show. <laughs> concerts will never be the same again. People been passing out at concerts for years. F Look, yo, yo. I don't know what it is, bro. But when i went to rolling loud this was normal like people passing out and shit it was normal what you have to do in those concerts though is that you have to have proper etiquette and if you're in a situation where you see somebody pass out you have to lift them the fuck out and throw them out remember the story that i told you where i had that tall white guy get in front of me and obscure my vision of travis scott before he came on and right before he came on motherfucker literally just slumped motherfucker the way he the way he passed out was like crab game. You know when you fall off the bridge in crab game and you're trying to land on the glass plane and when you fall all the way down, motherfucker lands like this. <laughs> That's how the white guy passed out in front of me. He was like... <laughs> motherfucker fell down like squid game. Motherfucker said... <laughs> you said, yo, I don't care, bro. Yo... You said people being considerate. That's crazy. You got to be quick, though. But it's like, if you're in a situation where you're in a mosh pit, you got to fight for your life, bro. I've turned into a convertible. Retro, stop trying to hold everybody else accountable. It's only Travis Scott's fault. No one else. You dominate. How is it only Travis's fault? The situation from a wide scope. Stop trying to reasonable. Nah. You can't have an opinion against the cancel couch. You can't have an opinion against the cancel couch? Nah. More everybody got to be held accountable. You you can't people are just looking for Travis Scott and just be like, "Nah, it's only his fault." It takes it takes a team to make a concert. It's not just one person. You said that's bait. So wait, when was this concert? I got way too many videos of people passing out, girls crying, um, people trying to get carried out. When was this? Oh, this is Day in Vegas, November 15th.
Hot take. Hot take. Hot take. Another hot take. Nobody likes my hot takes, but another hot take coming in, bro. It's a hot take day. Hot take. If you a bitch, don't go to a concert. If you built like a twig, if you look like if you look like a fucking um a Tumblr character and shit, lanky as fuck, just don't go to these concerts. I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty with you. Stay all the way in the back. You could probably see Lil Uzi a little bit. See what I did there? <laughs> Cause he's Lil Uzi. But stay the fuck back. All the way back there. Don't go in the front. Don't go in the front. If you built like a twig, if you can't fight your way out way out of a mosh pit, just get the fuck out. Just if get out. You're blaming people, I blame Retro for not washing his hands since 1942. He gave me radiation poisoning and I lost my whole dick because of it. The whole dick? Does that mean I touch a dick? Okay. Thank you, Fernando. Um. Anyway. Hey, yo. <laughs> yo, 10 minutes till Spider-Man trailer. I thought you said the trailer came out like 20 minutes ago, you motherfucker. Set your ass up, Bob the Builder, built ass. Hey, man, at least I can build things. At least I can build things. But yes, this is my thing. This whole thing, if, if you're not built and, and, and you can't survive, just don't go to the front. Because this is where majority of the people pass out and majority of these crazy waves and mosh pits happen. If you go to the front, you have to be built. You have to be ready to hold your own. It's at 830. You can't be like some lanky ass little kid. That's another thing because I was thinking the other time, I was like, how the fuck all these kids was in this Travis Scott concert? Because realistically speaking, when I was at Rolling Loud, everybody was doing drugs. Everybody was smoking. Everybody was drinking. Everybody was doing all types of shit. Molly, ecstasy, all types of shit was going crazy. So in my head, I was like, how in the fuck in Astro World was there fucking 10 year olds in that shit? But then I thought about it because I was talking to a coworker at work. They were like, you know why? Because Travis Scott, he caters towards a children demographic as well. And I'm like, why? Because he was in Fortnite. He was in Fortnite, bro. Travis Scott's in Fortnite. Also, there was a Travis Scott Happy Meal. Here's a video about this so you can get more mad lol. I turn into a convertible. Cancel Travis Scott. Nah, let's cancel Retro for not washing his hands. Good job, Fern, for telling your story. Screw you, Retro. Okay. I'm tall and big and I can survive, but I must stay my ass in the back. Trying to not get in Retro's short ass way. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I agree with that. This motherfucker said I must stay in the back so Retro can see. Thank you. You you, you take consideration. You, you care about me. You want me to see the show too. When tall ass motherfuckers be going there, that be getting me tight. Nah, but if... Yo, especially the cute ass Spanish girls, don't be going to the front because you're going to die. You know what? You right. So Travis Scott and Fortnite should be held accountable. Facts! Just sue Fortnite and Travis. <clears throat> Yo, what's up, man? Subbing for emotes once again, smile. I'm a be a VOD frog again. BTW, did you vote already for the Game Awards? If so, in stream? Um, the Game Awards, we looked at it much earlier. I didn't get to necessarily vote, but I got to say my opinions on what was nominated. This year, it was kind of mid. Compared to 2020, I feel like 2020 had more bangers, but 2021 was kind of eh. Like, we had some games this year, but I'm not going to say anything that was life-changing. We ain't have no Personas. Shit like that, right? When Persona 6 comes out, pff, game could be straight 1 out of 10 from IGN. I'm still going to give it an, an, an like an 11 out of 20 or some shit. I don't know. Wait, that's a bad score. 11 out of 10. True. Yo, thank you. Pelo, pelo. I will turn into a convertible. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you for the words of encouragement, Xav. I had to come out and tell the world I lost my whole penis because of Retro <laughs> not washing his hands. 
today counts 975 days without me beating my Schmeet. Schmeet? Fuck you, retro. He said my Schmeet. He said it with a S-H. He said my Schmeet. God damn, man. That's unfortunate. Uzi on a whole different level. Uzi ass. Whole ass adults begging Uzi to stop the show. and Fortnite are on the PlayStation, then we gotta blame Sony too. Sony always lose. True. Z Sony does always lose. Or do they? Anyway! <sighs> nah, bro. In New York, in New York, we didn't have nobody saying this shit. You know what happened in New York? When the Travis Scott shit happened, people got out, but we were aggressive. We were like, nah, move, bro. Your Gucci fern. TBH, you should really sue Retro for having your dick fall off. Can't even fap to anime girls anymore. Damn. Weird champ. So what do you do to stimulate? Motherfucker rubs his nipples. He be like. Anyway. Nah, bro. If you're not built for a show, if you're not buff, if you don't go to the gym, don't go to this shit. Especially if you short as fuck like me. Somehow my short ass managed to survive this shit. But I'm just telling you, man. You, you're going to have to fight for your life. Like, like, fight for your life like how R. Kelly said it. I'm fighting for my fucking life. You're killing me with this. You got to fight for your life when you win this shit. But look at him. Stop. Stop. Bro, just go to the back. Just leave at this point. Stop. <laughs> Stop! What the fuck? I blame Retro for not washing his hands since 1942. He gave me radiation poisoning and I lost my whole dick because of it. The whole dick? Does that mean I touch a dick? Just if get out. Bro, y'all have clips of me like so quick, dude. What the fuck? My track record so clean, they can't wait to bash me. I must be getting too flashy. Y'all shouldn't have let the world pass me. It's too late because I'm here to stay. And these girls know that I'm nasty. I sent it back to a boyfriend with my handprint on her ass cheek. City talking, we taking notes. Tell him how to keep making posts. Wish he could, but he can't get close. OG so proud of me that he choking up while he making toast. I'm the type that you can't control. Sound wood, then I made it so. I don't clear up rumors. Where's y'all sense of humor? I hate that shit, dude. It's so dumb. Like, who the fuck makes these? Why he why he caressed his hand down his chest to his groin and started punching his dick? Pokemon Unite has been nominated. Man, I don't give a fuck. Yo, that's what I was looking for. I was nominated. I would have voted. Yo, vote place. Yo, I, I appreciate you, Tony. Thank you for voting for me. Ah, damn. <laughs> the true game awards. Man, okay, we just saw this. Yo, oh, nah, not Sasuke on a unicorn. Wow. Damn, they've really put my boy Sasuke in there. Who else did they put in? Did they put in Sakura? Please tell me that they put in, um, what's her name? The big titty Hokage? They got Sakura in there too, just Team 7? They be even putting Kakashi? Oh, yeah, 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 I saw from the clip he was dancing. They put Kakashi, just Team 7? Damn, bro. They should have... Yes, that's her name, Tsunade. They should have had her ass in there with full jiggle physics, bro. Don't be scared. Put Make that shit jiggle. Come on, bro. I just want to rolly, rolly, rolly with a dabber wrench. Ratchet and Clank is the most nominations out of everyone. Let's go. Really? <clears throat> I'm, I might just vote for Ratchet and Clank a bunch of times. Because you know what? That's going to give Insomniac Games the, 
the mentality of like, yo, let's make another Ratchet and Clank game, bro. Like soon. Imagine if they win a bunch of awards. We, we might get another Ratchet and Clank game quick. Yo, the evolution. I grew up with this Ratchet and Clank. Look at how goofy he looked like in the first one. Motherfucker was like, big eyes, eyes and shit. He looked crazy in PS2 compared to now. Yo, he looked stoned as a motherfucker. Smoked a whole blunt by himself. He was not passing that shit. Happy birthday to Ratchet and Clank. Oh, that's so loud. That's so loud. Keep your fetishes away from me. You're not getting away this time, Eggman. You're too late, Sonic. Behold, Chaos 6. <laughs> Talk about low-budget boss fights. On the contrary, it has everything it needs to defeat you. A guillotine tail, a ferocious maw, and, most importantly, tentacles. T tentacles Yes, Sonic. A pair of dripping, quivering tentacles. Uh, um, I, uh... Whoa -ho -ho -ho! I can't wait to see what terrible things it does to you with its girthy, throbbing tentacles. Ugh, keep your fetish away from me. Will you at least let it vore you? Vore? Small fucker bugging out. He's just a sexy guy. I will never forget the day Riku voice actor said the wise words of Kingdom Hearts franchise. Riku is a sexy guy. True. He's just a sexy guy. And, uh, you know, the gamer girls are really going to like it. That's, uh, <laughs> I think his voice is pretty sexy. He's got a, he's got a deep, dark kind of sensibility to him. Every girl goes through a bad boy phase. Come on. True. Nah, not even a phase, bro. Every girl has a bad boy. Every girl is currently living in a bad boy phase. That's why majority of them... <laughs> Send me the link to the Spider-Man. I was about to say something mean. Send me the link to the Spider-Man shit, man. Send it to me. <laughs> I had to catch myself. Yo, where's the Spider-Man trailer, bro? <laughs> I feel like some people in chat knows what I was about to say, but I had to stop myself. Yes, thank you, Tony. Is this the actual trailer? That shit got out. This shit just came out. This shit just came out. That shit already got 111,000 views. Hold up, hold up, hold up. We got to get ready. I'm going to pause donations because we got to watch this shit together. Pause donations. Let's go. Ever since I got bit by that spider, I've only had one week where my life has felt normal. Yo. That was when you found out. <clears throat> Sony, baby! Sony, baby! When you botched that spell where you wanted everyone to forget the Peter Parker Spider-Man. We started getting some visitors. Every universe. Black suit, Spider Man. Hello. Oh my God! Ah, ah. You're not Peter Parker. He knows. What's your name again? Doctor Otto Octavius. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, seriously. What's your actual name? Y'all making fun of him? There's out there. We need to send them back. So, Scooby do this crap. You know, all this is kind of Yo, is Electro still I Jamie Foxx? I've words myself starting with the word please. Please, Scooby do this crap. You're flying out into the darkness. Yo! <laughs> they have the guy from the Daily Bugle. The guy from the Daily Bugle, get me that Spider Man, get me Peter Parker. Oh, what do you mean? They all die fighting Spider Man. It's there. Nah, if they have Jameson, I'm sorry, kid. Yeah, me too. Don't.
Doctor Strange put him in his place. I fucking love Doctor Strange. He's so cool. He said, bitch, get your ass back here. I'm about to smack your chest. Look, there has to be another way. There isn't. They're a danger to our universe. You're not going to take this away from me. Peter. You're struggling. The voice! Damn everything you want while the world tries to make you choose. Sandman! My fault. I can't save everyone. Bro. Bro. What's happening? They're starting to come through, and I can't stop them. Who's them? December 17th. Right there is when they come through. Tickets on sale November 29th. Right there is when they come through. They're still not showing us shit about the stuff. But look, if they got Jameson, they have the original Dr. Oct. They have Jameson. They have original Green Goblin. That I didn't even see Lizard. They got Jamie Foxx. Bro. This movie gonna break the box office. No freaking way. Sign me the fuck up. A-OK -okay hand. Eyes. A-OK -okay hand. Eyes. A-OK -okay hand. You said no other Spider-Mans? The Spider-Man -okay shit, they're gonna eyes. actually show it. I feel like you saw the part where he was here. I feel like this is when they're gonna pop up. In the movie, 100%. Right here. This is when they're gonna pop up. 100%. He said he can't control it. That they're all like, look. They're starting to come through, and I can't stop them. They're starting to come through, and I can't stop it. All the ripples from the other universes. So at the end, that's what I feel. I feel like it's gonna be towards the, the climactic portion towards the end. Is when everything's gonna happen. You said go back for Lizard. I don't give a fuck about Lizard. We do. We, we don't care about Lizard. We only care about Doc Ock, Jamie Fox, and Green Goblin. We don't care about Lizard. That's like that's like me watching a Batman movie, giving a fuck about the Riddler. I don't care about Riddler. He just riddles. I only care about Joker. The meltdown from the internet, bruh. Insanity. I can't wait. You are not Peter Parker. Yo! That's what got me too. He knows. He's like, nah, you're not my Peter. You're somebody else. You said, imagine if they don't show up though. They have to. At this point, they have to. And then even um Andrew Garfield is being fed up with people constantly asking him if him and Toby and everybody else is going to be in the movie. I feel like they have to be in the movie. They have to. I feel like if they're not in the movie, that's going to piss off everybody. You said copium clap, bro, at this point. You said watch it be three Tom Hollands, I'm fighting you. Imagine if it's Miles. Nah, they wouldn't do that. They wouldn't put in Miles from, from, from Spider-Verse. They wouldn't do that. <clears throat> they wouldn't do that. But, the, but it has to do with ripples, though. It has to do with ripples. So it's like if if Miles was to get in. Oh, my God, bro. This movie, I'm about to I'm gonna make sure the nut build up this movie. I'm a I'm gonna go to this movie with a poncho on because I feel like everybody in this theater. I'm gonna be like this. When I'm watching this film. Because when, when everything go down, all I'm going to hear is... Ah! The whole... And I'm like dodging all the shit just trying to watch. Like, bro, Miles and Tim's. They got to be the yellow butters, though. This, this shit's going to be crazy. And s what the hell is Sneakerella? Sneakerella is... That's the most... Spider Noir and Penny Parker would be wild. When the when the white writers decide to create a fully black movie, the first trailer of Sneakerella. If this 
Where have you been? Oh, you were supposed to be here, working. I lost track of time. This is the real world! Sometimes you just gotta let your dreams go. I just scribble in my notebook. I'm a stock boy. That's it. You are a legit designer. Let me at him. Dude, I love it. <laughs> oh. oh, I want to lick him. I'm Kira. Oh. Hold up. Kira King, AKA Sneaker Royalty. Sneaker Royalty? What in the name of? The King's Charity Gala. Yeah, design some sick kicks to show off your talent. At the most exclusive sneaker event of the year. What is <laughs> that gonna happen? This is your shot. Come on, get up. You've got sneakers to make. Kicks. Ain't not the first no one stepping on my kicks. Kicks. They be like, what are those? Those souls are Ooh. sick. Whoa. Sick. I be like, show you right, Papa right to take a fix. It's you. Did you design these? Yeah. You're the guy. That everybody's been talking about tonight. This is destiny. My soul's got soul. I've been this ghost since I was three years old. Bro, are you kidding me? These are the fucking sneakers. So it looked like Ninja made these, bro. <laughs> fucking Ninja. <laughs> what the fuck? Who the fuck, man? What is this movie? I know this motherfucker did not just say his curfews up. He said my curfews up. I'm not seeing enough arm movement, <clears throat> Mom. I'm not seeing enough movement. Nah, I got no hate towards Ninja though. I love Ninja. But this motherfucker said my curfew is up. You know how dry she got after that shit? No one doodles <laughs> on their shoes since 2009, so WT. Bro, you know that's like the biggest turnoff for a girl? If you were a girl, yo, Stardust Bay, you can't even lie about this shit either. Because I know she's going to say some shit like that's not a turn off. Watch. Stardust Bay, if I was with you and I was like out of the blue. Oh, Stardust Bay, I got to go home, man. My curfew is up. You would look at me on some shit like. I'm over here chilling with this stupid ass motherfucker. Motherfucker, a curfew. What kind of fucking shit is that? Your mom give you a shower too? Mm-hmm. Nasty ass. Like, you be bugging out on me. You can't just blame the suits for making this, by the way. These are real black actors who read the script and said, okay, I'll do it. A okay, hand, eyes. Thinking people would clap at this. Check the ratio. Mm. I would turn into a convertible. Let's go. As a representative of the black community, I am ashamed of this. This wasn't a step forward. <laughs> this was a step back. He said sneakerella. This movie is about the exaggerated swagger of a black teen. Yes, sir. Thank you for the bits and donos, guys. I appreciate it. You said no one doodles on their shoes since 2009. It, it is some old school shit. Trash! What's with this translucent soul? What the fuck? This is so unrealistic, ass. Name one clothes designer that would leave their life's work behind. Opinion spam? Bro, yeah, you guys, you guys want to try to disrespect me, bro? Look at this. Hold up. this bro you want to see a cool ass sneaker design i got you right now bro on the fly 10 seconds bam bop 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 let's make some some skate highs right bop bop but make the soles spiky bop put in a fucking jetpack so you could fucking fly in case you're late to class. Where you put your foot in? 
piping at the bottom so you could put it on your backpack. Air conditioner. Air conditioner. And then put a Nike check mark. Bro. <laughs> dude. <laughs> Yo, look at this shit. Bro, I should have been put in the movie, bro. I should have been put in the movie. I would turn into a convertible. You and this movie got nothing on these classics. These classics? Let me see. Oh my god, the Skechers light ups. Bro, I remember everybody in like high school used to get roasted for these shits. If you had them, it was a wrap. Ed Sheeran, Pokemon Go, coming soon. Raggy? Sir? We've seen this. The universe smiles at you. It looks like pussy. It looks like pussy. But I'm going to click it because I'm curious. She kind of bussing though. Bro! Bro! Do Imagine if that's how Rosalina looks like under. Enough time has passed. Gojo is better than Kakashi. These 2000s babies are getting bold. Mm. Who would win in a fight though? I feel like Gojo is kind of broken compared to Kakashi. Like, don't get me wrong. Kakashi has what? Lightning blade. He could do jutsus. He got the shotting gun. But Gojo, I think, will body the fuck out of Kakashi. You said Goku? Nah, Gojo claps Goku. Once Gojo does this, it's done. Goku gonna be like, it's me! Go he gonna be stuck. <clears throat> wow, what the fuck? He's riding the Ninetale Fox? Nah, that's not his running animation. This is cringe. This is cringe. No. I want to kill myself because I just saw that. Thank you, chat, for coming out to the stream. It, it was, it was a great, it was a great stream. Thank you. No Dr. Stoner. Because of that, no Dr. Stoner. I'm going straight to sleep. Retro and the bloody condom. That was terrible. Why did he have to dance to up? Is the actual music of like those emotes in the game? If it's up and it's up and it's... Uh, that's so cringe. 14 years ago, okay. Okay, 14 years ago. 15,000 people used to live here. Now it's a ghost town. Who's that? Wanna play Shin Megami Tensei 5? Who is this toddler sitting on top of a fucked up car? Fuck Fortnite. Sony revealed that the top 10 most played games on the PS5 in its first year. Fortnite, Call of Duty, Cold War, FIFA, Destiny 2. Damn. Y'all spent y'all year playing sports simulators? Yeah. 
No, Apex, shut up. Give a woman my number and she didn't call me back. Damn. Gave a woman my number and she didn't call me back. Just sharing to tell everyone to do the same because you are not uh, pressuring her to call back. When she does, it means she's interested. Simple as that. I really like this. Here's the thing, though. If she does call you, though, and she's taking a long time to do it, you got to keep into consideration that women sometimes do this because they just want your attention for a little bit of time. Don't let them take up your time. Damn. Oh, thank you for the sub, man. I appreciate it. But don't, don't let them talk you up a whole storm and then just waste your time when they're just there probably sucking somebody else's dick. Just being realistic. Girls do this thing that, that when they're mad at their boyfriends, they will talk to a to a to another dude who's who's a AKA drifter and, and then and then she will gas you up, talk to you for like two a whole two, three days. Then the second she good with her man again, she just ghosts the fuck out of you for like a month. Um, can you rate my waifu out of ten? Damn, she making some good food. The boo the boobas are there. You know what? I'ma have to give her a solid ten, man. I'll have to give you a, a solid 10. Not the Gangnam style. Masashi Kishimoto didn't go through all the sacrifice for this. said this yo they trying to piss off the whole chat they said omari is mid the world ends with you is mid who lives here is mid nah, nah nah not xenoblade 2 afro i made the funny all right buddy i'm gonna have to retweet that <laughs> mid how it's actually if made cereal oh this looks interesting this better not be how to basic or some shit who the fuck is this? If All right, are? good. If it was how to basic, I would have skipped it. I I can't stand that man's content. The type to rise at the crack of dawn and wolf down a hearty breakfast. Chances are you eat a bowl of cereal or a granola bar on the fly. I do. One of the best ways to beat the early morning blahs, the goodness of cereal now comes in as many forms as our fast-paced lifestyles demand. Yes, it does. The making of frosted cornflakes starts in this corn cooker. The corn kernels are corn cooked for over two hours. These delicious juicy corn kernels are then ground up into government approved edible food slurry. Slurry? The kernels are ground up by a giant screw as they're further screwed out of a fulfilling life by being vibrated down a metal chute. Vibrated? The next step of the process is a total mystery, because this is the best camera angle we could get of it. We guess that the corn kernels are smushed by these rollers, but we have no idea. We politely asked the factory to give us a better look, and they told us to fuck off. A roller of human hair adds natural flavor and pushes the kernels further down- HUMAN HAIR?! WAIT WAIT A MINUTE! WHAT THE HELL'S GOING ON?! On the assembly line. The cornflakes arrive ready to be packaged, but the factory needs to look busy. So they shake them down assembly lines and some ovens for a bit. The shaking never ends when it comes to cornflakes. Food scientists purport that this shaking adds to the nutritional value of the cereal. But these scientists were almost definitely paid off by Kellogg's, so it's probably best to ignore them. This drum spins the cornflakes as they are sprayed with cornflake juice. You can also buy cornflake juice at your local grocer. Be sure to ask one of the employees for it. And Thank if they you for say the subs, guys. Carry it, continue to ask while getting louder and more visibly frustrated. Don't let them hide their cornflake juice from you. A large afro pick combs the cornflakes looking for anything valuable. Afro? But it never finds shit. <laughs> now, vitamins are sprayed onto the cornflakes. Most healthy adults require two to three vitamin sprays per day while children usually only require one. 
To be extra cautious, these flakes have 54 vitamin sprays per serving. Astro this salute. cereal Thank would you. be delicious if Peter could resist getting his grubby <clears throat> hands all over them. How has he not been fired yet? Facts! This packager fills the bags with cereal <clears throat> because the original distribution method of having grocery store workers transfer it to the customer by mouth was woefully inefficient. Why? This plant also makes vomit. The ingredients for the vomit are given a slow, consistent mix. Vomit? Meanwhile, elsewhere in the factory, cereal and granola bars are being made. The ancient technique of shoveling cereal has been passed down through these factory workers' bloodlines for generations. Legends say that if the cereal is ever improperly spooned, the batch will be tainted by a ghost. A ghost? These warnings, however, are promptly ignored, because ghosts aren't real, you moron. You fucking bum. Frozen mozzarella sticks push the ingredients along, since they have the right consistency and flavor additives to do the job. At the same time, the mix is compressed to the desired thickness. From what I've been told, your sister thinks I have the perfect level of thickness. Bar separators then simultaneously create bar shapes- Nah! Nah! You're not just gonna get away with that! Hey, another day, another stream. Thanks for being one of my favorite streamers in the past year and making my day feel better whenever they go to shit again. Appreciate you and keep grinding. Much love, Retro. Heart. Heart. My man, Snowing. I appreciate you, baby. Thank you, Snowing Emperor, for the love, for the kind words. Thank you. Uh, I'm glad you're having a great time over here, Mo. I'm glad I'm glad. Nice to use throughout the day. The bars are then cut to the proper length because this You know what bars I like? I like Rice Krispie bars. Them shits be slapping, especially when you litty. Woo! Despite how fat or high you are, there's no way you can eat this whole thing. Cereal bars are one of the most popular foods among people with OCD. This device is installed to make all the bars perfectly even. Should yes. this machine ever malfunction, suicide rates will skyrocket. Chill! The bars travel to a giant caramel steamroller because nothing in America is allowed to be healthy. Then again, America is a country that owns a giant caramel steamroller, which makes it better than everywhere else by default. Did you think we were done? Remember, this is America, so of course an excessively thick coating of chocolate is added. That should look like it's bussin'. Now finished, the bars are ready for packaging and, as you can see, are slightly uneven. Which means that I'd be careful reading the obituaries tomorrow. No! I hope no one you know happens to eat cereal bars to calm their OCD. Damn. Rest in peace to the people who, who just saw that. This is why Bedrock is unbreakable. Oh, I'm scared now. I don't get it. But what the fuck did I just watch? Oh, you is a losing game. <laughs> yo, it, I'm really here like, yo, what is it? I didn't understand it. It's the actual Nokia phone. Bro, nah. nah. At that point. This is the world's first ever Squid Game pop-up restaurant. I didn't know you could incorporate Squid Games into food, but this was super cool. All of the employees were wearing green jumpsuits and Squid Games was playing 24-7 on all the TVs. I was honestly a little disappointed they only had four menu items. But it didn't matter because it still took me two hours to get my food because it was so packed. I ended up getting the Shang Wu burger and it was actually really good. This man says Shang Wu. I'm done. Great crime. I'm going to bust nut. Damn. He, he busted his nut. Rumor PlayStation may announce a big remake in December. Huh? Jack and Daxter or Metal Gear Solid, please. I'm going to keep it a stack with you. I would rather it be Metal Gear Solid than Jack and Daxter. 
Metal Gear Solid, please. Wait, what? I'm a Almost all of the dudes or an anime TikTokers are so nerdy it hurts. Huh? Man, fuck you, retro. Okay. Thank you for the 100 bits, baby. You just asked a spoiler? All right, next. When it, when it gets quiet out of nowhere in public? I just put the dead body in the trunk. I think that would be the best bet. Why do you get so quiet? I be hating that too. Like sometimes when that happened in school, I be like, yo, shut the fuck up, bitch. A smoothie, right? Why they got the Glickmobile parked in front of the School of Business, bro? Who whipping the Glickmobile, fool? The Glickmobile. Kanye West. They cool now, I guess? Hell no. You see how upset they look? I feel like Kanye showed up unannounced and Drake is pissed off. Nah. <laughs> Nah, Kanye showed up unannounced. Drake looks so mad in this picture. And Kanye looked like he told him a bunch of bullshit. You could tell before this picture, Kanye must have been like, Drake, why didn't you call me? This is why I released my Andre 3000 in the deluxe. Drake, you didn't fuck him. So stop insinuating that you fucked him when you didn't. And then they were like, yo, you want to take a picture real quick? And this picture came out. The third dude looks chill. Yeah, he looked like he was happy in the photo, but these two look like, nah, like they did not want to take that picture. YouTube is planning to remove the public dislike count starting today. Yes. Um, dislikes will be, still be visible for the creators. Scarlet Nexus for the RPG of the year. <laughs> Miss Heed is a hypno queen. You said her voice making me act up. Bro, this shit look like some Tumblr ass cartoon. Oh, she's speaking in Spanish? Arroz con habichuela? Why that motherfucker look like Fernando? Right here. It'll probably Metal Gear, cause knowing Naughty Dog right now, they'll kill off Jack by some bum and will have Dax to have a rage revenge hate boner and his journey will be all for nothing by the end. Kappa. Sounds terrible. Villainous is something we should have gotten in the US, the show actually good. Show's good, but the fan base on Twitter is going to ruin it. And then everyone is just going to ship everybody with each other. And then if you ship somebody that's obviously not in the favor of what the fucking community wants on Twitter, they're just going to bitch moan and complain about it. These two characters can be shipped because this character is confirmed to be bisexual in the show. Therefore, this person cannot be sick with this other individual. And then it's just going to be annoying as fuck. So you know what? I'm glad this show didn't show up. She got that smug look. Like, she looks like she know how to suck dick really good. <laughs> it's fucking Fernando. <laughs> Fernando, what are you doing here, man? <laughs> Fernando. <laughs> Fernando right here, bro. December 1st. December 1st, Fernando, bro. It's over. <laughs> No, no me toques, no de estos. Mm, no me toques. Be like, damn, bitch. No están de que mi plan like funcionó. Para la foto te formas. Soy un heroína, Floggy. Yo no robo cosas, a menos que cuente tú. Yeah, her her Spanish voice actress, perfect. She sounds so good in Spanish. Oh, that's the last thing this man saw. Yo, 
MK Leo makes Byleth look like such a cool character, but then to actually play Byleth is like one of the most finicky characters ever. But Leo makes this character look amazing. <laughs> the actual image. Bam! Ah! He was like, nah, sit your ass down. This was such a good image, though. So well drawn. Retweet that shit. Oh, that's cool, too. 2B and Sephiroth as Team Rocket. What the hell? Sephiroth? With Mewtwo? Yo. Yo, you're on to something. Did somebody mention the door to darkness? King Mickey! I know where, where you have you been? It. Huh? Oh, you mean the door to darkness? The door to darkness? I know where it is. Okay. Uh, where? Where's what? The door. The door to what? What? The door to what? What? Oh, I, don't, I don't know a door to what. What, what do you... No, the, the, the door. The door. The door to darkness. Oh! Did somebody mention the door to darkness? Y why are you doing that? Doing what? This. What am I doing? You keep saying you know. I know what. How to get to the door. The door to what? The door to darkness. Oh, did somebody mention the door to <laughs> darkness? This is because of Smash Bros. What did that fat fuck plumber ever do for you, huh? Say, fellas. <laughs> did somebody mention the door? Damn. He said, what did that fat fucking plumber... What? Somebody dancing, my dick ain't hard. That's a 30 in my pants. I got 30 of them bands. I'm gonna make a script of dancing. I'm a fucking nigga. This ain't a milli work. Okay. Yo, is that, is that, um, Flight's laugh when he goes, I, 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 just edited to sound like that song? Oh, come on, dude. Yo, why? Your Discord server got a drip chat when you drop in your drip photos. Is that actually a drip chat? You know what's crazy, chat? I gotta somehow manage to get my login. You know what? I got to deactivate that two-form authentication that I put on my Discord. Because I cannot log into Discord with my phone. I could only use it on the computer. Now, let me see. Let me see what the fuck these people got. Anybody got some drip? Hold on. You said there's a drip section on my thing? Stonks. Waifu Arena. Um, drip chat. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, we actually got a drip chat. <laughs> what the fuck? We actually got a drip chat. Yo, yo, I'm scared. I'm scared to scroll up and see what the fuck somebody gonna post. Yo, what the fuck? People out here actually posting up their drip? What the fuck? Who's that? Stardust Bay? Sheesh! Yo, Stardust Bay, you better stop! She said, don't come for my feet. <laughs> Yo, who this? Sora? Everybody out here dripped out? I'm gonna have to post something now. Trippy? Trippy? You at Six Flags? With the Tom Nook shirt? Yo, Trippy, you had to wear like a tank top because you got your other shirt coming out. From the thing. But he got that. He went to Six Flags. But I, I appreciate the Tom Nook drip. Hold up. That's another one with Stardust Bay in the bathroom? Stardust Bay? What kind of shoes is that? Yo, she really out here dripped out, man. She got the pants with the ripped. Okay. Okay. Yo, chat. Yo, yo, Stardust Bay. Protect protect your DMs right now because somebody about to hit you up in the chat. I feel it. Somebody about to be in the chat on some... Yo, yo are you the real Stardust Bay? <laughs> My name is Joshy Washi. <laughs> My name is Joshy Washi. What's going on, baby girl? Sora Indigo. Bro, everybody's dressed up so dapper. 
They got the belt. I, I haven't worn a belt in so long. Sora with the freaking dunks. Yo, I think Sora winning. Sub Supreme Keyblade with the dunks. Who this? Wrapping paper. I appreciate the pants. He got the Persona pants on. He got the beads. I got to get myself a uh, uh, like a bead bracelet. I got to get myself some tiger eye or some shit. This is clean. With the with the necklace. Pop collar. Yo, my man is vascular. You, Yo, you lift weights. Whoever the fuck this is, he lifts weights. You, you see the veins coming out his arms? My man vascular. He, he does the fucking... Wait a minute. Your arms aren't supposed to be that vascular. It's November, my guy. You better not be failing November, man. I'm gonna find you. Who this? Oh, this is... I thought that was a beard. That's a face mask? Okay. Wait, I'm so confused. Oh, it's the lighting. I was like, wait, this is two different people. Because I'm looking at the lighting. I'm like, wait, excuse me? <laughs> Bro. Bro, and he got the trench coat? Yo, these coats are expensive on God. These big ass coats with the big buttons, them shits be fucking running up a price. But them shits keep you so warm in the wintertime. Drip check. Passed. Yo, who the fuck post that Yoshi picture? <laughs> yo, that's me, yo. yo. Happy 20 months. Yo. Thank you, Paper Mario Boy. Nah, you passed the drip tech. The, the drip check you passed. Yo, at least he got the butters. He got the butters on. Since we looking at this. Bro, y'all dressed... Yo, Southern State University? Southwestern State University. My man with the drip. And he got... Wait, wait a minute. Those better be dress shoes. Because we're about to fight right now. I'm about to zoom in. These better be dress shoes. What did I say? Yo, we're about to enhance... These better be dress shoes, my guy. You better not be wearing a suit with some sneakers. Oh, those are his hands. Are those... I don't think those are shoes, my guy. Are those shoes? <laughs> he said, what? Are those shoes? Those are slippers? Nah, I think those are shoes. It's like, I gotta get a better angle. I gotta get a better look at them. Alright, he passes. He passes. You said they slippers? Nero, why you out here trying to flex with your big ass watch? Motherfucker Doctor Strange. What the hell? He got the motherfucker about a... A daughter, not an alien, a likely what he did. You said that's a Rolex? I don't even know what kind of... He, he got the big-ass watch, though. He got the big-ass watch. My, my man out here, like, Ben 10. Because I got a, I got a little Apple watch on me. <laughs> he said, bro, who the... Nah, let, let him enjoy his drip. He got his hair. He got the face. He got the chain. He got the pink shirt. It takes a lot of confidence for a man to rock pink. Let's be realistic. A lot of dudes don't be rocking pink. So the fact that he rocking pink, hey, his confidence is through the roof. He got a big watch showing off. If anybody comes up to him asking him for, like, what time it is, he got the time. What? Yo, Kirio Drip? Kirio Drip? Is that, is that Jesus? Four star. So is everybody just wearing a suit? Does everybody own a suit in this chat? Everybody got drip. Cammy, you scared me. Everybody here just, wait, why is everybody dressing up lights? Did everybody in this chat just like all decide to just go to like a fucking dance or something? Cause everybody's wearing a suit. Everybody's dressed up nice. What the fuck is... 
This is a real people. Code JS. Wait. Code gay ass. What the hell is this? Drip tier list. Drip tier list. <laughs> what the heck? Code gay ass? Lee Louch of the Rebellion? Okay. You said, bro, Cammy, watch this anime, bro. I've never watched this show. Never, ever. I've never watched it. Never, ever. According to Nintendo's financial results, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe has sold 38 million copies, surpassing Mario Kart Wii's lifetime sales. What? What? I thought I thought 38 million copies was this was together with the Wii sales. So this is just it individually. This is just the Nintendo Switch version sales. So the deluxe version. 38 million surpassing Mario Kart Wii's regular version for 37 million. These motherfuckers ain't making Mario Kart 10 anytime soon. Anytime soon. They're not. This game is still bringing them racks. A 13 pound burger is served with flaming hot Cheetos. Let's see if they do it right, though. Let's see if they do it right. It's too much. It's too messy. It's too messy. Keep in mind Nintendo has their Nintendo Switch bundle that comes with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. That's most of their sales. True. That's actually true. A lot of the Nintendo Switches come bundled with the game already. That's actually true. This shit right here though, this is too much. And then, like, did you see the bottom of the bread? It was very, it was very soggy. <laughs> that burger sending you to the afterlife? Hell yeah. That burger sending you to the afterlife. <laughs> you gonna wake up? You, you gonna wake up somewhere else? You be like, huh? Belly of the Beast Burger. How much is it? That shit gotta be damn past $500. Because that's a lot of meat and a lot of condiments. Ooh, jalapenos, okay. Tater tots. I'm not gonna lie, the, the sandwich in itself looks great, but then at the same time, it's just way too much. And this is something that you would eat if you had like a bunch of homies with you like after a baseball game or some crazy shit. That's a lot of calories. That shit ain't even cooked. You forgot a side, bro. That shit's still fresh. It's still cold. It's 
shit like this why Europeans and the rest of the world clowns on Americans for their diet. What inspires me is when I see people coming in, having a bite of my food, and smiling. My, my goal in life is just to make people's taste buds dance and smile and be happy. Look at the bottom of the bun, how wet it is. It's the bottom of the bun is literally soggy. That's that's disgusting, dude. This shit is just soggy. It's just soggy, dude. It's just a tackle it if I dare. No, thank you. That's just too much food. That's a waste of food. Like, you have to go there with a bunch of friends. What what does the comment say? Meanwhile in the bathroom. <laughs> That's nasty. What the fuck? I said the same thing. That's a whole corner of raw ass beef. I literally said that shit. I said it's not even cooked in that part. It was still pink. The shit was still cold there. Bro? Who the hell? Throwing donos like that. Paper Mario Boy with the Hondo! Shoo! Make it rain in the chat. This is my first time dropping a huge donation. God damn, bro! I want to thank you for all the great memories from the end of my freshman year in high school to me now being a freshman in college. My Keep God. being you and thanks again. Always Fuck will be hey. here. Make that chat rain, bro. You see all the Morganas? God damn, there's a lot of bills just flying in the chat. Fuck! A hundred dollars, my guy. Yo, I fucking appreciate that, man. Thank you so much for showing contribution, coming through, showing love. God damn! Okay, these animated emos look delicious on, on, on my wood. Is it my right? Fuck. Thank you so much. My fucking guy. Funk Master Flex. God damn. That was just that was just too much love right there, man. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's safe to eat like that? No, it's not. That's what she said. I can do anything. <laughs> Bathroom after eating that food coma inducing moment when you adding pics to the drip chat. <laughs> I don't know what happened in that bathroom, but that sounded dangerous. It sounded like you were not supposed to be in there. My man said crack a tower. Yo, but Mario Boy. Paper Mario Boy. Thank you again, man. You say from the, you said freshman year in high school? Were you watching me for that long? How many? Is that like four years? I feel like I haven't even been around for that long. Wait, what? You're my friend now. We're having soft tacos later. Bro, tell me that that's his pet, though. You're my friend now. We're having soft tacos later. This? You said since Danganronpa? This motherfucker just grabbed a rat. He didn't care. When your friend is driving and says, I did everything for her. Buddy? I did everything for her. Yo, 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 yo! <laughs> yo, you wanna, bro? You wanna, bro? <laughs> Chill. For any fellas in the chat, never be in a situation where you're where, where you're about to 
literally zero HP yourself over some girl. Same thing for the girls. Don't be zero HP in yourself for some dude. Don't be doing that shit. Because you worked it. Men, women, y'all worked it. Don't be out here because if somebody decides to break it off for you to, to try to do some crazy shit like that. Fuck out of here. There's more fishes in the sea. Santa? Santa? You okay, son? Oh, oh God, that's Santa. You killed oh. Santa! Oh, fuck, please move. Uh, uh, oh, fuck. You asshole, you killed Santa, you ruined Christmas. Drawing mental illness, hello? Can you please do lactose intolerance? British people next. Please do ginger. What? I'm confused. <laughs> Yo, why y'all keep sending me this type of shit? I swear to God, we watched this already. Somebody sent me this already. We've watched this already. He says, never sure how to confront a male who gets dumped. She was better than you. You are right to be sad. What are we doing here? Huh? Simply ask him what he did wrong because he definitely did something wrong. Okay, buddy. I'm really depressed. I need help. Oh, poor fucking privileged straight white male. Boo-hoo, baby. Everyone you meet is fighting a battle you know nothing about. Be kind. Mental hair. Uh, yo. <coughs> That's true. That's true. That's true. If I see this image one more time. Had a date yesterday. Uh-oh. Couldn't find the cafe and walked around the same intersection for seven minutes. Found it. Went in, introduced myself, and apologized for being late. And she said, it's okay. I saw you walking around, lost, and I just wanted to see how long it would take you. Damn. How people reacting to Travis Scott concert. Uh-oh. Yo, can okay, we look, bro, stop? Look, 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 this when he comes out. Enough with the... Yo, fa... Hold on, bro. I gotta watch this. Travis videos, bro. Like, look, he don't even look normal. This does not look real. What are you real. talking like, looks, about? Bro, something's off, bro. Do you feel the energy coming from this? What energy, bro? Like, this does not feel earthly. This is literally Yo, can we hop evil, on a game bro. or this something? This is evil. You can literally feel it. Trey, what... Bro, can we do something it else? It don't even look like... Bro, tell me this don't look like a sacrifice. <sighs> tell me that don't look like a sacrifice. Yo, it looks like a concert, bro. A concert. Bro, what concert do you know... Bro. I saw that. I think I saw a video, not his video, but I saw somebody doing that on TikTok. They were like, Travis Scott's concert looked like a sacrificial concert because in the beginning it opened up with a fiery bird, a phoenix, and then fire went up when the concert started. Every Travis Scott concert was the same way. And now because obviously casualties happened in this one, now you want to switch up the narrative and say it's a whole sacrificial thing. He, yo, his concert was the same way in Rolling Loud. It was a bunch of fire. He was like, straight up. And, and it was like a bunch of fire flew up when he came out. Oh, he likes fire. You know that this many people faint at and they keep performing. Michael Jackson? <laughs> what about him? But I like Michael. Can you back up, bro? If I was there, I wouldn't have let this happen. Who the hell are you, Batman? Like, why are you breathing so hard, bro? All right, bro, look at Travis, bro. Look at Travis. Watch when he turn around. Watch when he turn around. Look at his back when he turn around. Watch this. Can you Watch calm this. down? Just calm down, Trey. Got him. Yeah. Look, look, bro. Bro, those are wings. What? Bro, those are wings. Bro, he's Trey. a demon, bro. I'm Trey, you. that's his shoulder blade. That's literally his shoulder blade. Look at it. Nah, bro, those are wings, bro. Oh those my are wings, God. bro. He made a deal with the devil. What are you talking about? He made a deal with the devil. He just showed himself. And I caught him. Like, this is crazy, yo. 
This is Travis really crazy. Bye. How Travis long are we going to watch this? Travis, 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 Oh, listen to what they saying, bro. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Why? I gotta rewind that, bro. I gotta rewind that. Listen. Bro, I heard what they were saying. Get that hell bro. is hot. They saying hell is hot, bro. Bro, he reminded me of those people. Like the story I was telling y'all back in the day, how like people in church used to like try to demonize Pokemon, where they'd be like, Monsters in your pocket! Travis Scott, hell is hot! Travis Scott, hell is hot! Oh, come on, buddy. Nigga, they saying Travis Scott, bro. They said, bro, no, no. Why are you smiling? Like, what? Hey, bro, watch this, watch this, bro, watch this. What? See, this is Spotify, right? See this Spotify? Look. Subscribe. Okay. Unsubscribe. <laughs> Yo, Trey. <laughs> He's never gonna recover from this. <laughs> Yo, that that did not affect him at all, bro. Yo, you know what's crazy? He's spitting. Apparently, Travis Scott old ass album Astro World sold 18k copies more after the after the tragedy. He has more streams than ever. He has more advertisement and and he's getting more money than ever after this. You said these ads are going crazy. You said it's every 10 minutes. Give me one second. I got I got to save my homies in the chat. Give me one second. Give me one second. Let me see if I can save my homies. As a matter of fact, let me actually It's about, from what I'm seeing here, it, I think it's about like every 15 minutes. Let me see. Let me extend that shit. All right. All right, you motherfuckers are saved. You said, nah, shorten it? Bro, every three minutes, fuck it. No, 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 I just extended it. I just extended it. Don't worry. I don't want, I don't want my, I don't want, <laughs> he said three minutes. I don't want my plebs dying. Wait. It did nothing. It's over. It literally did nothing. You're done, Travis. You're canceled. All these people died, bro. It's messed up. All of them died. Not all of them, but it's, it's Every messed. single one, bro. Bro, eight, eight. Eight people died, but it's sad, bro. <laughs> this is Travis' fault. It is. This is Travis' fault. For real. It's also the fault of security. Like, no, it's just Travis' you. fault. Yo, that's what I said. I'm like, yo, it's everybody's fault. It's Travis, the security, everybody. And he's like, no, it's just Travis. This is Travis' fault. For real. It's also the fault of security. Like, no, it's just Travis' fault. Yo, 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 bro. It's yo, chill, yo, chill out, bro. It's his fault. Yo, it's his fault. Calm down. <laughs> you over here slobbering and stuff, bro. Ugly nigga. Dang. <laughs> He said ugly. Damn, why y'all to go after him like that? Ugly. So real. What? Tell me this. If the sun is in space, all the way up there in space, and it's shining down on us, you know, like they say, um, from space, then why the fuck can a cloud go over the sun? Just one cloud can go right over the sun. And it's instantly five degrees cooler. If the sun was all the way in space, that would be impossible. Now think about it. Now here's another thing to think about too. They say the wind is what moves the trees, right? But I'm sorry, the way I was taught, the trees are what make the oxygen, right? So how is the wind pushing the trees? I'm sorry, it seems like the trees are moving. Hmm. Think about it. Bitch. <laughs> nah, she bugging, bro. I have my weird ass conspiracies. Like, where the hell's our moon base? Why haven't we been to the moon? Neil Armstrong? That's a sham, bro. That's all a sham. That's all fabricated in Hollywood. But she bugging the fuck out too, though. Like, she bugging out times 10. I would turn into a convertible. You seen this Tarag's skit? Let me see. Thank you for the dollar, man. We got that crackin'. We sellin'. Got them drugs out. We got that crack. Who tryin' to buy some crack? We sellin'. We got them drugs out. We sellin'. We got them drugs out. We sellin'. 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 We sellin'.
He said Batman during the day. Oh God. Pull up, pull up. Drugs, man. We got drugs. We got drugs. What y'all want? Drop by some crack. What y'all want? Pull up. Hey, we got them drugs. Pull up. Who trying to buy some crack, man? Who trying to cop up? Who trying to cop up? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We got them drugs out. Pull up, man. We got them drugs out. Yes, sir. Pull up, y'all. Pull up. Pull up. Hey, we got that loud, man. We got. The grunts. Who the hell is that? Yo, what is that? Who y'all talking about? Oh. That's Batman. That's Batman? That nigga look goofy as hell. You shut up, nigga. You shut up, nigga. What you trying to do, man? Shut up, nigga. Go to the ground, nigga. Go to the ground, nigga. You're scared, bro. You're scared, bro. Go to the ground, nigga. 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 Go to the Bro, how you got a shift to fight crime? Like, this is what I'm saying, bro. Hey, what kind of superhero are you? Keep talking, bro. Keep talking. Damn, dude. Don't talk like this, bro. You're the only superhero to only work night shift, bro. Hey, yo, look at him, yo. Look at him. Oh, my God. You heard his feelings. You soft as hell, bro. Bro, I will take that tight mask off your face, bro. He should take a picture of them, and then at nighttime, when they're in their house, he should just break in and enter and fuck them up. Make that mask off your face, you nigga. nigga. Shut up. I wanna see y'all here when the phone out. Bro, I wanna see y'all here when the sun out. We're here right now, nigga. We're out here right now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Keep talking. Come on. That's what I thought. You saw, bro. That's what I thought, bro. Shut up. 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 You mad, Batman? Are you mad, bro? You mad, nigga? Come in the crib, you mad? bro. Come in the crib. <laughs> nigga said, come in the crib. Come in the bro, crib. we got 50 niggas to pull up, bro. How you gonna stop us, bro? Prep time. Oh, my God. Nigga, shut Prep up. Time. Shut up. Bro, we got Glocks, bro. Prep time. Nigga, we got AKs. Prep time. Nigga, we got grenades. Prep time. Prep time. I'm gonna keep it a stack, bro. This man said prep time. I would have snitched too. Someone snitched for the thousand dollar reward. Hell yeah, I would have snitched. Cause I'ma keep it a buck fifty, especially when you in school. You ain't seeing half. You ain't seeing. I'm even gonna say half. You ain't seeing eighty to ninety percent of these motherfuckers after you graduate. So I don't give a flying fuck about your bitch ass. I'ma snitch you out. Get my grand. Get the new iPhone and start flexing with fucking an emojis, my guy. Let's continue. <laughs> Damn, she said, I'm very proud of you. The actor who played Air Bud, Buddy the Dog, the dog passed away in 1998 at the age of nine. Wow. Now take a look at this. Let's talk about World War One. What? Wait a minute, how did it shift to that? You heard how the creepy the music got? Special friend to help us learn about commas. I've brought a special friend to help us learn about commas. Detective Crump, private investigator. Say hi, detective. Hi, detective. Detective, tell us what's wrong with this sentence. Let's eat grandma. A good man never eats their grandma. <laughs> no, uh, uh, detective, where does the comma go in that sentence? Let's say there's a man who slept with your wife. No. They call him the verb. Why? Because he takes action. You catch wind that the verb is at a bar called the sentence. Your name is Kama. What do you do? You go after the verb in the sentence. What? I lost brain cells. If it's one round, 30 to... Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She wearing them yoga pants a little too tight. She wearing them yoga pants a little too tight. Hold on. How long should a guy last? If it's one round, 30 to 60 minutes. 
Okay. Okay. This is doable. This. It's doable. It's doable. 30 to 60 minutes, it's doable. It's doable with a bunch of foreplay, though. Like, ain't no way you in there straight stroking in sweet, watery guts for 30 whole minutes, nonstop, continuously. Unless there's some foreplay in that shit. Ain't no way you thrusting for 30 whole minutes like a hentai protagonist in some sweet, watery guts and you ain't bussing. Unless this shit's just dry as hell and I'm getting Indian burn on my dick. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. It's like, yo, there's no way. It's doable. However, we have to allocate our resources properly. You have to show me the pie chart. I need to see the time splits. How are we divvying this up? How much of this is foreplay? How much of this is five play? If you get what I'm saying. Facts. I need to, we got to consider all the variables, okay? Because there is a world where this will work. But the measurements have to be precise. No, true. True. And then you know what and, and then you know what she does throughout that whole thing? You 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 know what she does throughout that whole thing? She just lays there. She just lays there, bro. Oh no, he's gonna have a Kingdom Hearts arm. Imagine he tries to run up on somebody with that. I will fight you. Simple and clean is the way that you're making me feel today. To sincerely apologize to the African American community, the black community, the people of color community, Latinos, Latinas, uh, the LGBTQ community. LGBTQ plus community, the sexual assault community, the Jewish community, because I... Girl, how did you manage to offend that many community? Yeah! <laughs> what did you say? Is there, like, context behind that tweet? <laughs> what the fuck? I'm scared. Listen, as a man, you should never, ever put your hands on a woman. Cap, if you put your hands on me, I'm hitting you with the sweet chin music, ASAP Rocky. But, now hear me out. As a society, I think we could all agree that the way Jada be talking about Will... Facts! Oh, no! Like, I'm just <laughs> saying, look, I'm not talking about, like, no UFC shit. Like, I'm not talking about, like, take her up top to the... Nah, I'm not, like... That's OD. But, you know, a quick little one-two, or, you know, even just a, a strong one. Like, it don't even gotta be a fish. Just a little, you know, just a little tap. You know, <laughs> boop, like, I'm just saying. If a quick little boop was to happen, I don't know. I don't think I saw nothing. <laughs> nah, Jada... She she been doing Will dirty for mad long. Like, like I I I started feeling bad for Will Smith at some point. I was like, yo, Jada should not be doing Will like that. I've turned into a convertible. Let's go. Let's go. Kidicarous uprising characters singing simple and clean. Why would you send me that? Knowing damn well I didn't play the game. The only people I care about is Pitt and Palutina. Now you're going to give me a bunch of characters singing simple and clean and I don't know what the fuck's going on. The daily things. All right, let's watch it or let's listen to it. I'm doing something real quick, chat. When you walk away, you don't hear me say I'm sorry, this is kind of cringe, bro. I'm instantly leaving. Why, why would you send me that? <laughs> even the chat, even the chat <laughs> is like, yo, what the fuck? Why would you send me this? You know what? Nah, I got to listen to Palutina at least because she, she kind of fine as hell.
it, it, it's a cute concept, but it's very cringe. It's very cringe. They should have put me in there as fucking Mickey. Hey, oh boy, oh boy! When you walk away, come on, Riku! Riku, get the fuck over here! Riku! I, uh, don't let me. I'm gonna leave you on the other side of that door, just like Aqua. I'm gonna put in Sora next, and Master Yen Sid, and Donald and Goofy too. Why would you do that, King Mickey? Uh -huh. I'll show you just how angry I am. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? Yo, was that a deer flying through the air? Oh my god. I'll show you just how angry I am. <laughs> Yo, that deer got hit so hard. You know what? It's gonna sound this is gonna sound bad. Hot take, 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 hot take. The deer deserved it. What are you doing in the middle of the road, bro? You got a whole forest that you can run around and you decide to get in front of a vehicle in the middle of the street? The deer deserved it! All right, let's 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 continue. Are you just how angry I am? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the way the deer fucking flew, man. That's clean. All right, I need two more eggs. When you walk away, you don't hear me say it to the fundamental change. It's APOC! Changes of the post industrial Mr. Duckworth. Had a long night, huh, Mr. Duckworth? Class is not for sleeping. So, the poets in this post industrialistic time frame always held within a certain Mr. Duckworth. Mr. Duckworth, long night, huh? You failed. <laughs> you failed. Changes of the post industrial Mr. Duckworth. Had a long night. Let him Her sleep. Mr. Duckworth, class is not for sleeping. So the poets in this post-industrialistic time frame always held within a certain Mr. Duckworth. Mr. Duckworth, long night, huh? You failed. What Damn, why you gonna fail Mr. Duckworth? Wait, what? I, I finally pulled up to East Brickton and this happened. We call him, we call him, we call him. Just just vibe out at the spot. Just vibe out. No fighting, let's just vibe. Let's just vibe. Come upstairs. Move. No, not all y'all. Just me, just me, just me. What the fuck? What? Yo! What? Get me out! Get me out! Get me out! Let me out! I'm hiding. I'm hiding. Help me. Help me. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. Let me out. You know what? Get out. Get out. I'm letting this bitch back. Let me out. I'm a show. I will blow this whole shit up. I right, bet. Bet. Y'all don't believe me? Y'all don't believe me? Yo. Oh, Y'all want to get shot? Y'all want to get shot? Move. Move out the front door. I right, bet. Bet. Damn! I said, I said, watch the fuck out. Watch out, pussy. Mo, 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 mo. Nah. Mo, mo, mo. That shit got violent so quick. Get out, though. One clip. Open the door. Get me out. Get me out, mo. All right, back, 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 back. What? Where is he stuck in? You wanna play with me? Watch out! Get me out! Get me out! Let me out now! <laughs> nah, he's stuck in that bathroom. Bro! Get me out! Leave me out! Airline went Mom out the front door! Oh! 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 Yo! That's gonna be you one hour in the Sky <laughs> Williams house. Hi, good humans. I'm Milky. I'm new here. Before we get started, picking a new date for his ex girlfriend is another one. Her name was Milky. Sheesh, what kind of name is Milky? Fuck. God damn. God damn, Milky. Fuck. 
start with the video, I'm so excited to announce that we've partnered with Ohm Maze to offer you a chance to win one of their biggest prizes yet. A beautiful seven bedroom, six bath dream home in Miami, Florida worth $2.6 million. All paid off? Or get $1.8 million in cash. Can you imagine how big that briefcase must be? Big congrats to Alexa from Atlanta, Georgia, who won a $1 million home in Orlando last year. Best of all, every donation benefits the Make-A-Wish Foundation, the foundation that grants game-changing experiences to children with critical illnesses. You said, but it's in Florida? Nah, bro, that looked like a nice house. I don't give a fuck. I, I don't mind living in Florida. And all you have to do to enter is go to omaze.com slash jubilee. What I love about this nonprofit is how it turns imagination into real life dreams because <laughs> dreams are what make childhood so special. So for your chance to win a multi-million dollar dream home in Miami or $1.8 million in cash, go to omaze.com slash jubilee to enter now. In support an amazing cause. I'll take the money over the house. Imagine the bills you got to pay for all that house. True, but it depends. Like, that's why I was asking. Is the house paid off or are they going to literally just come up to me and be like, Oh my God, Manny, Retro, Senpai, yes, welcome. Yes, you are the winner of this home. Just to let you know, though, the house is not paid off. So here's the account for the mortgage you have to pay. It's only 5000 a month. You should be okay. Also, the utilities and the lighting, the gas, the electricity, also the um, the Verizon Fios. You do have Verizon Fios. Um, all together, every month is about roughly about 6000 6500 that you have to pay. But it's okay because you won the house. I'll be like, bitch, give me the money. Take the house back and give me the money. Thanks to Make a Wish America. Enter, donate, and good luck. Now People go to Florida to die? Now. Do you have any red flags in a relationship? Just cheating. Like, oh, that's, cheating. Yeah, that's like, <laughs> Wait a minute, why are they back? Oh, he's getting an ex for, oh, he's getting a girl for her. Oh, the roles have reversed. Bro, you know they two still like each other. After this show, I would grab her ass and pull her in the bathroom and be like, you know you don't want to be with nobody. I should be like, I know. And I would be like, why the fuck you did this show then? Because you wanted to do the show, so you want to get that back. Yeah. Let's go home right now. Okay, let's go. No cheating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Gabri. I'm Dennis. He's my ex-boyfriend. Ex-girlfriend. <laughs> they like each other still. I'm definitely gonna be looking if they are. Nah, she did him dirty. Remember, remember last time. You said sexual harassment? No, it's not. I told you it was consensual. They both liked each other. Oh my god, I hate chat. Sexual is so. Shut up. Shut up. Okay, let's continue. Nah, but like I was saying, um, you said I'm convinced that they're both just paid actors. And her, like main thing right now. <laughs> uh, long hair, maybe curly. That guy is sexy as fuck. That's the guy from um, from the Dune movie. Main thing right now. Huh? <laughs> uh, long hair. From the Dune movie. Yo, this guy. Shush. Hair maybe curly. I don't know. <laughs> Looks good. Attractive. Has to be attractive. <laughs> if anything, she's gonna be asking a lot of questions too. But I think yeah, we'll hold it. Well, we're gonna hold it down. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> <laughs> That's the guy from the cooking show. And then the guy tried the food and he had like the most fucking upset face. I'll never forget this motherfucker. What is that? No, 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 no. Yo, chat. Shave that shit off. Shave. Shave it off, dude. Just cut it off. Cut it off. Bro, that was like that like that was a straight neck beard. Like the shit didn't even go to the side. The shit was just straight under. 
That's white young retro. Nah, cut that shit off. Yo, he almost looked like Ugly God. <laughs> he looked like Ugly God. I trip on that bitch like water. Hey, I splash on that bitch with the water. Hey, I feel like I'm 21 savage. Oh, I pull up and fuck on your daughter. Whatever happened to Ugly God? My man just fell off. He swiped right on like every guy that was there though. Oh, nah, he hot. If you swipe left on him, you just sexually intimidated. My man got a nice ass beard. You could tell that, that if he let that shit grow in in more time, he gonna have a nice full beard, nice long hair, nice skin complexion, good height. He a good looking dude. He's hot. He's hot. <laughs> How's it going? Good, how are you? Wait a minute. Can we shake hands? What's your name? David. Dennis. I'm Gabri. Dennis. Gabby. Gabri. Gabri. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's an R in there. I remember that. <laughs> yeah. Good, Good, how are you? <laughs> I'm Kaylin. I'm Sunny. Sunny? Yeah, how nice else? to meet you guys. First impressions on her. She was really pretty. Or she what? is. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. <laughs> this man crazy. He said she was really pretty. Damn, you already took a L. He said was, past tense. He said now you ugly. Thank you. You're cool too. When you saw me uh, to the right, I was like, oh, I like this guy. <laughs> I mean, obviously she's very pretty. Thank and you. I like the Crocs. Thank you. <laughs> good. Yeah. Same mind right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you're on Tinder, you have to swipe left. Oh, absolutely. You're very beautiful. Thank oh, you. of course. What kind of question is that? You know how many dudes on Tinder, like, just swipe right, like, without even looking at the profile picture? We're just looking for love if we on Tinder. Girls be actually looking, mm, is he hugging a dog? What is his height? Um, what is his income? Guys on Twitter, guys on Tinder, we be like, I just want to find somebody, bro. I just want love. Like, oh, would you swipe right on her? No shit, I'm gonna swipe right on her. I'm probably gonna super. I'm a, I'm probably gonna swipe up. What is that? The super like on 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 Tinder? The super like? I'm gonna swipe up, my guy. Yeah. <laughs> also love the piercings. Oh, thank you so yeah. much. My Go mom does it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, same. I grew out the hair very recently, and I she's like, like no, I you like can't. It. Oh, it's thank super you. Nice. Okay. What do you guys do. I moved to San Diego for school, so I've been out there for like the last almost four years. Um, I'm a communications major, and then I'm a double minor in sociology, and then... Double minor? Nah, yo, d wrap it up. Get the fuck out of this show. Yo. She said she was a major and a double minor. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Get the fuck out. Get out. Nah, double minor. I didn't like that. Almost four years. So. Um, I'm a communications major, and then I'm a double minor in sociology, and then counseling and social change. Okay, my minor was in sociology. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm actually in the process of getting my master's to be a oh uh, family counselor or wow. or therapy, yeah, for couples, for <laughs> yeah, for family. What are you like currently looking for? Uh, a relationship would be nice. Definitely someone who I can be like a best friend with and be a homie with and just do fun things. To be honest, meet somebody that's cool and then let them take the lead. I'm looking for someone that can bring me peace. I've been in a What kind of, what kind of answer was that? Let somebody else take the lead? No, bro, you take the lead. He wants a mom. That's what he wants. He wants some mommy milkers. And a lot of, uh, relationships that are chaotic yes going with the flow kind of thing i'm not trying to look too far into the future until i feel things out i've been single for i think almost two years now two years yeah i'm yeah, just trying to focus on work in school what are you doing right now transfer schools and then i'm working in executive protection i study music business um that is i'm a student right now i study medicine you want to be like a doctor surgeon like exactly yeah doctor. radiologist radiologist wow yeah. that's either that or like working like clinics around the world i really enjoy it like going to new experiences, meeting new people. Red flags in a relationship. Red flags, oof. Yeah, I can't do toxicity. Uh, not communication, which, which is not a problem with me and her. <laughs> Commitment issues, that would be a huge red flag. If she's always out, but I don't, you know. I'm Trust issues. 
100% trust issues is a red flag. Like, if you're the type of person that's constantly thinking that I'm texting a girl, if you if you think that my DMs is constantly full of girls slinging their pussy at me when I'm really just talking to probably Tony and Fernando's ass or fucking VG Mike about Pokemon cards. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not really, like, insecure. Just cheating. But, oh, but, cheating. Yeah, that's like, <laughs> but I work through anything. Well, like, damn, no sure. cheating. <laughs> 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 Dennis and Gabri, good to meet you guys. Nice meeting. Another red flag. If she don't like anime waifus, red flag. If I'm if, if I got Sir Leox in my freaking Twitter feed and he's reposting some great quality waifus and, and, and she gets mad at my Twitter feed, red flag. I'd be like, wait a minute. You don't appreciate the Palutina and the Rhea green haired waifu duo? You jealous? Red flag, get him out. Get him out. Yeah. Cheers. Nice, nice to meet you, bro. You. Yeah. Thank you. How am I doing? Bro, why is that? Dude, I don't know. <laughs> Top three. I drip in your bitch like water. I splash on that bitch with the water. I feel like I'm 21 Savage. I pull up and fuck on your daughter. This guy looks so socially awkward every fucking time. What is up with this guy? Every time the camera's looking at him, he's like... Like, what is wrong with you, bro? Stop! You're, you're getting me nervous. You said maybe that's why they broke up. Damn. Dennis will now chat with his top three to see who is Gabri's best match. I see you again. <laughs> see you again. Thank you for picking me. How are you? You said I'm letting people talk to my ex. But here's the thing. If you actually loved your ex and you didn't want her to go through with this, you should have just told her before the show. Yo, baby. Let's not do this show. Why not? Because I still got feelings for you. I don't want to see what you know with no other guy. I want to be with you forever. Oh my God, babe. I was thinking the same thing. Bro, there's a bathroom right now in Outback Steakhouse. We fucking in Outback Steakhouse. Yo, just take your girl, bro. Take her back. Okay, okay. What's up, man? Nice to see you back. Yeah. In a relationship, what do you think is the main thing that you need? For me, is trust. Trust and yeah. communication. My Facts, trust. Because when a relationship got no trust, it's straight donka. Donka. That's relationship. You know when you like somebody messes up the trust? I didn't mess it up. Yeah. Okay. Like, I, I'm a trustworthy person. Like if I'm in a relationship, I want you to know like 100, 100. Exactly. Communication is really, really huge. I really like someone who can be open. She gonna pick he gonna pick him. He gonna pick him, I feel it. And you know, express both the good times and the bad times they're having so we can kind of uplift each other together. That's super important. Are there like any questions you have like for me and like our relationship or like her? Or yeah, I mean, there's the obvious question. Is there any reason why you guys didn't end up working out or maybe if you are working out? I don't uh, know. no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is more of like a conversation of whether you guys are still like a like a real thing or if you guys are just <laughs> really good. friends, you know? You guys kind of like agree to this, but that's the only thing I would really have, you know? I honestly think it was like, it was me. Definitely me oh, yeah. for the most part. I like. It was my first relationship, so I didn't know what I was really looking mm -hmm. for. And the main thing for me was like the balance of time. Mm -hmm. I feel like. Because you're in school, huh? Yeah. Okay. But when did you guys break up? Like, was it yeah. recent? We broke up one time, like probably a year ago. And okay. recently we broke up, recently. like two months ago. But then you guys. Two months ago? That's just fresh as. That's just mad fresh. Two months ago? Nah. Nah. Nah, dude. You know how fresh that is? You know, damn well after this show, she gonna be texting him. I miss you. I miss you too. Come on, dude. Hell no. What if he picks Sunny to make her happy? But also get into her head so she can fuck him um, on the low? I don't know. Like, still cool? Yeah. All right, that's good. That means you guys are both not toxic. Nah. <laughs> that's perfect. <laughs> It's tough, man. I mean, sometimes we take on more than we can, we bite off more than we can chew sometimes, but it's cool that you had the awareness to say that. Yeah. So, yeah. Imagine this shit gets mad dark, mad quick in the show. Like, right after, like, he picks the person that wins, the guy's just like, all right, 
he talks to the girl and then he looks back at the boyfriend. He's like, she's mine now. Delete his phone off your, I said, delete his phone off your number. <laughs> delete his number off your phone. She's going to be like, what? Delete his number off your phone. If I see you coming. What if they fit this? Just get a four way going. <laughs> stro teru teru. Yo, he gets mad toxic out of nowhere. The guy that wins, he going to be like. Oye, nosotros vamos a hablar inglés. He gonna be like, what the fuck did he say? Did he just speak in italics? Nosotros vamos a hablar inglés. Ella es mi novia. Y yo le voy a partir la madre en el cuarto. En, en, en la cuarto, mira. Ella es mía. Pero oye, oye. What the fuck? You said, I think an hour plus ago, Spanish equals italics. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. But he gotta get straight up with her. He be like, yo, son, if I see you in her DMs at all after this, is done, bro. You had your chance. I'm going to be beating that shit up. If I see you in the DMs, I know where you live, bro. I'm going to go to your school. You're going you gonna to be in the middle of your lecture. I'm going to slap the fuck out you, bro. You got to. You got to do it. <laughs> yo, thank you, OK Poggin, for the prime, sir, baby. Thank you for the prime. Thank you for the prime. You said, you said retro speaking from experience. It's not even that. It's like, th think how awkward of a situation this is going to be is if, like, you were just with the ex. The ex handed you over his ex, and then he still texted her while y'all trying to do something. Imagine a Chad just <clears throat> sat down and actually said he didn't come here for her, but for him. Yo, that'd be nuts. The craziest twist. The guy is going to be like, all right, I'm going to pick you to be with my ex. And then, and then she's going to be like, and then he's going to be like, I'm not here for her. I'm here for you. Yo, the guy gonna be like, what? He gonna get right in front of him. Straight up cleavage, right in front of him. He gonna be like, give me a kiss. And the guy's gonna be like, oh. I came for your cheeks. Hey, yo, whoa, 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 whoa. You said the video is gonna be so much richer. Hey, man. I think, yeah, I think so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Who would you have picked out of those guys that you would hit the DJ sit down with? Sunny, yeah, good energy. He came in confident too. Like I feel like he would be comfortable leading a conversation. I'm so used to leading conversations. I kind of like it when somebody is willing to also do that so I can take a break for a second, <laughs> yeah. I knew it, I told you she was gonna pick him. Hello. Hi. Hi. Thank you. Um, yes, of course. Hi. <laughs> nice to finally meet you. Nice to meet you again yes. without my ex-boyfriend. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, good job, Dennis. Like, I didn't... Oh, nah, she over him. She said, good to finally meet you, thank God, without my ex-boyfriend. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Cue the sadness and sorrow, bro. She over over him. Cue the sadness and sorrow, bro. Just like that, bro. Motherfucker probably still standing in the set. He probably like right there behind the camera. He then the whole darkness talking about some. He in the darkness. Oh, I got I got to turn off the lights. Motherfucker. You saw that video of that guy on Twitter, the one that was like <laughs> <coughs> Straight up. Straight up sadness and sorrow. I didn't think you I, I would have picked you as well. So I'm happy. He's he got a good did. head on his shoulders. There I guess we go. so. I guess so. I should give him more credit. Yeah. Can I get your Insta? Yes, you okay. can. Awesome. Type, type it in. So are you going back to San Diego after this? Yeah, it's gonna yeah. be a lot of traffic. Five's dirty. It yeah. Is. But I'm going up this Labor Day. Oh wow. Yeah. I mean, I mean <laughs> I'm there. You have my Instagram. I. Yeah, we'll make something happen. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good, yeah. <laughs> Nah, she into him. 
She into him. She's into him. Now nah, it's not even awkward. You could just tell by the chemistry. She keeps looking at him and she doing this little shit right here. She did the she did the little dancey dance. That's the I'm into him dancey dance, bro. Look at the look at the mannerisms. Something happened. Okay. Yeah. Non-stop eye contact. Come on, come on, guys. You you gotta pay attention to the signs. You you gotta look at the signs, chat. Look at this. I mean, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> laughing, eye contact. <laughs> I'm there. You have That's my Instagram. I, yeah, we'll make something happen. Non-stop eye contact. My man. Okay, yeah. sounds good. She's like, sounds good. Looks away out of pure nervousness. She's like, oh my God, this guy got me wet. Yeah. Looked at him again, looking away, man, nervous. <laughs> then she did her little dancey dance. Okay, that was wholesome. You can tell she blocked and deleted all contact with her ex before they even got on the set. Her ex ain't reacted like this at all with the girl he got with, sad boys. No, of course. And then you hear what they said at the end. It, it was like, oh, you both picked a girl that, that, that you guys wanted to get with. You know he ain't calling that girl, bro. What the fuck? 16 thoughts try to get six men and this happened cringe warning what the fuck is this how would you guys describe your dating lives now <laughs> i'm not watching this is mad long he says 16 thoughts try to get with six men well look who decided to come out of their dungeon today shut the fuck up shut the fuck up god damn it I come out of my room for three seconds to take a piss, and you're just standing right there. What are you even doing? You're just standing there, posted, cocked and loaded to say dumb shit. So apparently you have enough time to stand outside my room, posted with coffee, but you can't please my mother. Get a job. Oh, I'm out. He went crazy. His phone number and FaceTimed him. Hey, I've been expecting you. Dick, Dick, Dave, I'm assuming. From Grinder. Pumpkin Eater, 69. Secrecy, I like it. Okay. Well, let's, let's just get into it. Okay, I'm a little shy, but I'm thinking it's like. Bro, what? I'm very scared. Naruto X Fortnite official trailer. This is the trailer. Ew, Sakura's model looks ugly. <clears throat> they gave her the head that Aqua had in the Kingdom Hearts trailer before they edited it. Now, if you know Naruto got in, you know for a fact they gonna put in like <sighs> JoJo. JoJo's is gonna come to Fortnite. You said Goku, JoJo's. <clears throat> Where's Eren? I don't know, man. Stewie is the oh my god reaction gif. Hey Brian, check it out. This might be my biggest candy score ever. Probably thanks to my killer costume. What are you dressed as? I'm the oh my god reaction gif. And people get that? <laughs> yeah, everyone's dressed as gifs. Ain't that right, Pop? Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Got me up, Mom. Dude, everyone's out here doing No Nut November. I'm doing Mo Nut November, dude. Got me up, Mom. The doctor said if you do that again this year, it'll start affecting your memory. 
Uh, yeah, and he also said that Martin's not my biological father, so... Martin's your stepfather. You do remember that, right? Have we had this conversation before? Three times. Today. He forgot, yo, his memory is gone! Shelby, it's only November 5th. It's November. Yo, that's scary. He lost all his memory. Dude, everyone's out here doing... Hey, yo, what is that on your mouth? What? What? Bro, it's mayonnaise. I'm eating a sandwich. Like, what? Nah, nah, bro. You sus for that. You got the white sauce on your mouth, bro. I like, just... what the fuck? You mad sus for that. Bro, you always doing this shit. Like, it's a sandwich. Like, what, you want me to eat it dry with nothing on it? Like, what? Yes, if you have to. Like, you know who invented mayonnaise? No, why would I know a that? A man. You know who invented ketchup? Okay. A man. You know who invented honey mustard? A man. Okay. How you look slurping down man sauce? Well, why do you know so much shit about condiments? And what am I supposed to do? Only use sauce by women? Like, what? Nah, because then you'll be a simping bitch. Oh, my God. So then what do you use? Horseradish. Wh what? Don't nobody know who made that shit bro get the fuck out of my house bro i'm so sick of this shit bro why get so you could slurp down some more man sauce in private get out get out damn let him enjoy his man sauce when you die in a stupid way <clears throat> ah here we go griffy gonna say some dumb shit sleep oh shit <laughs> Damn, how the hell you died via croc? Where the fuck is this nigga at? For the rapture, right? Yeah. Can go back down there? No, I'm thinking couple Are you years, dead man. ass? What? Like, for real, God? Seriously, like, I had to die like that? Like, my neck strung. How did that even happen? I don't know. Stop making blasphemous ass videos. Who the fuck died like that? First of all, don't raise your voice at God. Fuck you! Whoa! 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 Whoa. Oh, hey. hey, Jesus! You hear it, guys? <laughs> you ain't gonna get up in here with that attitude. <laughs> on me, you know. I don't give a fuck. Nigga. He said, on me. Uh, all y'all do is pray and watch good times in there. He said, on y me. Y'all can't even fuck no bitches. That shit weak. What? Weak? Weak? Get on his ass. Weak like your life, nigga? Talk to him. Making you was a waste of my fucking time. They say God make no mistakes. Shit. You was the biggest mistake I ever created. Nigga. Oh, but my me, God. I, I, oh, okay. Coming from the same nigga that made Hitler, King Batch, and white people. What is He said King Batch? Why he went at him like that? The Vine guy? Yo. What you talking okay, about, my nigga. boy? What if you made a damn thing? Nigga, I made anime. Talk to him. Food. Talk to him. Pedicures, bath bombs, bitch. God got soaps. Nigga. We. Timberlands, food boo. Let that go. Nigga, fuck no. Stop fucking playing with God, nigga. You a bitch. I'm a bitch, nigga. Prove me a bitch, nigga. I beat your ass and I beat your son uh, ass, nigga. Uh, I put that nigga back on the cross, nigga. Run the ones, nigga. What's up, nigga? I beat both of y'all niggas uh, up right now. Niggas wanna fight now. <laughs> ah, that's why you going to hell, nigga. Okay, nigga. Ratio plus L plus Satan better. God made Virgin fetish. Oh! Mic drop. He said, yo. He said ratio plus. Ass, nigga, that's why people think you white down there. the fuck out of here. He's gone, my nigga. Damn, you made him cry. A virgin by choice. My nigga got me fucked up. If he think I don't get bitches like on me, like, like Jesus, remember at that party, Selena was on a nigga, right? On you, she Anna was. Leah, fuck out of here, nigga. Fuck him. Why you made him feel bad, bro? I'm upset that he made him feel bad. He didn't deserve that kind of kind of disrespect. Nintendo's president finally discusses Greetings to everyone out there and welcome back to around the clock in a recent Oh, uh, not this guy. He did the shit again. I thought that was just for one video Greetings to everyone out there. What is that? Greetings to everyone out there and welcome back to Around the Clock. 
In a recent interview with TheVerge.com, Nintendo of America's president, Doug Bowser... It's like, it almost makes me want to break out into dance. Greetings to everyone out there. It's your boy. Like, it's like... Dun, 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 dun. I don't know, man. The interesting response when asked about one of the Switch's biggest problems over the years, Joy-Con Drift. Here's what he had to say. The years-long battle against Joy-Con Drift. As we've gone through the first five and a half years of the Nintendo Switch, we've deserved gameplay, we've deserved as people have returned units that they have worn, and we've been making continuous improvements overall to the Joy-Con, including the analog stick. This latest version, Nintendo Switch OLED, has the same updated analog stick that's now available in the original Nintendo Switch and Nintendo Switch Lite. So, as you can see here from Doug Bowser's response, Nintendo has actually been improving the Joy-Con's analog stick behind the scenes. He says here that the new Nintendo Switch has the updated Joy-Cons with this brand new analog stick, and he also says here that this same updated analog stick is in the Joy-Cons of the original Nintendo Switch. Of course, he's not talking about the OG white box Nintendo Switch. He's speaking about the red box Nintendo Switch that you can find in your stores right now, and the same analog stick is also in the Nintendo Switch Lite. Cap. Cap. I, I want to see this shit actually be tested. Jerry rig everything. Where are you? Jerry rig everything. You got to open up one of these shits because I got to see if this claim is true. Buy a new one, open that bitch up, and if, if I don't see no new components, he lied. So hey, this is good news. Nintendo also said something similar to this before the Switch OLED was released, and they also said during that time that the durability test for these Joy-Cons has also improved over the years as well. Now, so far, I haven't heard any reports that there are any problems with the Joy-Cons in the Switch OLED, and that is a good sign. I would also assume that any more Joy-Cons that are put out on the market moving forward will also have this improved analog stick in them as well. So, hey, according to Doug Bowser, Nintendo has been working on a solution to Joy-Con drift. Now, it is still unclear what Nintendo is going to do about all of these lawsuits they have against them about Joy-Con drift. That's a totally different conversation, so only time will tell with that. But as it stands right now, Nintendo of America's president claims that they have been making improvements to this problem. All right, everyone, that's going to do it for this video. What are your thoughts on everything that was discussed here? Please let me know down in the comment section. Also, make sure to check out my affiliate links down in the description box below to BestBuy.com. There are some big sales going on right now with Nintendo Switch first party games. The Game & Watch, Zelda, and Mario Edition is in stock along with the Metroid Dread Amiibo 2 pack. And there is a big sale going on right now with the Nintendo themed memory cards for the Nintendo Switch. This sale is for the 64GB memory card all the way up to the 512 and if you make a purchase through any of those links, I will receive a small commission which goes directly to supporting this channel so consider doing so if you're interested. All Greetings to everyone out there. Wait, he got a Best Buy link? I gotta find out how in Best Buy I can get some love. Speaking of the OLED, Nintendo isn't really advertising them. They still doing the bundle with the normal Switch. The OLED really got no purpose existing. Yeah, um, it, it really doesn't. The OLED, um, <clears throat> the OLED Switch was really just for people who didn't have a Switch in general. <sighs> so the the fact that some people actually bought another Switch really, really was just a waste of money. But I mean, a. I'm not going to tell people what to do with their money. If you want to buy another Switch, go ahead. But I'm waiting for that 4K Switch, though. That that next-gen shit. Um, I think it's pretty obvious that they removed Toby and Andrew from this shot. Why else are Lizard and Electro completely not aiming for Tom Holland? True. Oh, you right. You 100% right. Because he over here looking like he about to attack something here. And he down here slashing at something down here. And, and Sandman is after him. Yo. Oh, my God. This movie's going. This movie, I'm telling you. I'm going with a poncho because there's going to be a bunch of liquid being secreted in that film. I'm going to look like this. I'm going to look like, yo, that movie going to be crazy. You say, if you watch it closely, Lizard gets punched out of nowhere, LOL. Really? Nah. 
With our trailer. Spider-Man trailer got to be like number one trending. Where's it at? Where's the Spider-Man trailer? Bitch, where did I go? You passed it? That's Kodak Black, bruh. Oh, there you go. I see it. He does get hit. Oh, that's it, bro. That's the that's the confirmation. Toby is up here fighting Electro. Toby, Andrew, we don't know, bro. Everybody going fucking crazy just putting all the pieces together. My God, it's pizza time, literally. Motherfuckers performing Cardi concerts in Roblox now. Yo, no way. Hey! <laughs> Yo, put me in that shit. There's a Playboy Cardi. There's a Playboy Cardi concert in Roblox. Yo, put me in that shit. Put me in that shit, dude. That sounds. Yo, that's crazy. This is why Goat Boy Wardy. Goat Boy Wardy is the best rapper of all time. Slat. Goat Boy Wardy. Got hit with the we can still be friends text. F's in the chat. Damn. Any fellas. Any fellas. If you're in a relationship with a girl and she hits you with that, we can still be friends. Cut it. Cut it. Cut that cord and do you. We can still be friends, no? Reggie? Friends? No. Cut it. Cut it. Ugh. Cut it. Ugh. Return was the biggest snub at the Game Awards. Death Loop was the biggest surprise. It's great, but I didn't expect it to be the most nominated game of the year. Yeah, I feel like that was bullshit. Um, that that they put that fucking game that got delayed out of its fucking ass a million times. Six nominees. Deathloop shouldn't have been in there. Nah, hold on. I I I got a I got a quote. Look at the quote retweets. Deathloop. Deathlop. Deathloop. Death. I don't know what, like four times? How many times did it get delayed? Like four, three times? Returnal. Um, deleting your browser history is such a beta move, bro. <laughs> Tech tone. You just gonna delete. You just gonna delete the shit, man. Uh, why people play rap music from two thousand six and then look at you and smile. Really? I can say. 
First one, obvious as fuck, good girl. Mm, that should, well, that'll fuck up a- Has anyone told you? What? Good girl? Yo, she's not giving- Yo, chat, she's not giving us no damn keys. Never in my life have I ever called a girl good girl and something positive has come out of it. They put me on a list if I say some shit like that. Good girl. I'm on a list. That sounds sus as fuck. Things a guy can say. First one, obvious as fuck, good girl. Mm, that should, well, that'll fuck up a- Has anyone told you, like, you are such a good girl? A good girl? Yeah, you are a good girl. Yeah, I'm not about- Oh, okay. Damn, bro, why would you give- Why would you give him that false information? Say. Why would you give him that false information? Stop being a little bitch, you're right there. You should probably watch your fucking mouth, Jay. I know I'm a praying mantis, but I guarantee you I'll turn into a praying mantis if you say that to me again. I stand by it. Put hands all on you. You do know why they call us praying mantises, right? It's because we're asking God for forgiveness before we commit sin. Yo. <laughs> Look at this. She got it under Mifflin. Ooh, yeah, that thing is fat. If it's real, kudos. Cause... Wait, what? what's that noise? <clears throat> oh, yeah, that? That's um. That's my ass. It, it it claps when I get excited. What? That's um uh that's my ass. It claps when it when I'm excited. Hmm. All right. Wait. Look at this real quick. Bro, that shit really clap when you get excited. <laughs> Bro, come on. This ain't no parlor trick. Okay, but wait. Hold on. What if I showed you this? <laughs> nah, bro, chill. I'm just excited for the new Spider-Man to come out. Be cool. Mm, I don't know. Let me check real quick. Bro. Uh, I guess you good. Could you stop, though, for real? Because you don't know what it's like having to worry about your ass clapping every time your basketball team win or your crush says hi to you. Damn. It's miserable. That sucks. My fault, bro. I, it had just caught me off guard, and I, I thought it was funny. I guess I didn't think about the other stuff. But were we good? We good. Mom, what? dinner's ready downstairs. Okay. Mom! What's that noise? Your mom do be looking kind of bad, though. Out. Get out my house. Ask for it. What? Yo, I got a question. Okay, what is your question? So, I know you're vegan, right? Yes. Okay, so I know you're vegan. Everyone knows you're vegan, but does your body necessarily mean that you have meat inside of you? Because if you think about it, there's meat in your body. You think about it. Mm, think I thought about it, and no, there's no meat in my body. I eat vegetables. I eat fruits and vegetables. There's no meat in my body. Okay, okay. And then, so you're technically saying your body is all made of vegetables? Yes. And then how are you supposed to walk? That makes no sense. I can walk just fine. Okay, okay. So, I got another question. So, would you rather be famous or poor? Famous. Why? That's just who I am. I'm proud of who I am. Okay, can I tell you a joke now? Can I tell you a joke? Okay. Do you know who Joe is? No. <laughs> Joe mama fucking pussy boy. Mm, you're done. Suck these balls, boy. You look No. <laughs> oh, man. He fucking Bro, ask He destroyed that kid, man. You saw the look on his face when he said Joe mama? <laughs> Yo! My man destroyed his whole day. He said, Joe Mama. He got so upset. Oh, dude. An average man with an average life. I work from nine to five. Hey, hell, I pay the price. All I want is to be left alone in my average room. Okay, buddy, back up.
Yo, ladies, y'all gotta start stepping up y'all game, cause, cause these dudes out here, <laughs> yo, ladies, y'all gotta start stepping up y'all game. These dudes out here looking fucking good, dude. God damn. He cute as fuck. He cute as fuck. Bro, it's crazy, man. Like, like I can't believe this is the timeline we living in. 2021, man. We got these dudes out here running the game. They looking mad cute. Trans when I see him. Nah. Should I tell him I'm trans when I see him? Nah, take off that filter. Take off that fucking filter. Because that's a whole face filter. Today. Oh! Should I tell him I'm trans when I see him today? Oh my god, that escalated so... That escalated at such a bad turn. Oh my gosh, I'm out. Damn. And you're gonna go, listen, I know you're not hiring, but I'm the... Oh, nah. Yo, Doja Cat, she killed this. She killed this. Doja Cat's so fucking fine, dude. And you're gonna go down I and love you're gonna Doja go, Cat. listen, I know you're not hiring, but I'm the best motherfucker available to you. You know why? Because I'm a fucking... Hey, he kind of pulled that off. That beauty filter was set at 100. I was born in 2007. Sounds so fake, bro. Nobody was born that late. What? How ads try to guilt trip you. You could save a starving child with just this one step. But sure, skip this app. Welcome to WatchMojo.com. And today we're counting down. <laughs> Facts! Facts, dude. Facts. I be like, man, fuck that shit. You could save a starving child with just this one step. But sure, skip this app. Welcome to WatchMojo.com. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 sexiest women in anime. Facts. Top 10 sexiest women you in anime. Oh, hell no, motherfucker. Come here. No. Why he started running like that? <laughs> Why he started running like that? He was like, I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, hell no, motherfucker. Come here. Damn. Started chasing his ass. Hey, Anita. Hey. I just wanted to say you are one of the kindest people. I think Anita is one of the cutest streamers. Like, I've watched her stream. I haven't watched her stream as of recent. But I think she's so fucking kind and genuine. Like, I cannot hate her, man. I think she's so funny as well. Like, bro, she's just an awesome person overall. Listen. And I strive to better myself because The shit she says sometimes be making mind, me die, dude. What are some steps I can take to be kinder and sweeter to people every day? Stop being a cunt, forehead. Bake cookies and wank on them. Give them the icing. Wow, so sticky. Feed the children. <laughs> Don't do any of that. Okay. Um, Bruh. For real, guys. Do it. Bro. No, Tula. Don't say that. Say, um, I would say active listening. Bro. You said what's her name? So, um, people in the chat has the, the link to her streams. That video was fake. Her man didn't beat her. The video was fake? You say, I'm sorry, but this is not okay. And then it says, it seems like the situation was made up. Her injuries came from a fight she got into beforehand. I'm not your bitch, stop checking me. Uh, you come let's uh, like stop, bay, open sesame. I got into an altercation way before which had been settled, which had nothing to do with being trans. You calling why you come? Let me the only... Damn. 
damn, you you can't put shit like that out in the internet because then they're gonna start doing mad research and try to come after whatever man you, you you're with, you know. You gotta be careful with, with shit like that. My mom and no, not him again. A guy in a car pulled over, and screamed out. He said, "Hey, nice ass." I said, "Fuck you." That's my mom. Have some respect. The guy said, "I'm talking to you." I didn't know what to say. I looked at my mom. She looked back at me and said, I taught you better than that. Say thank you. So I, I told the man, thank you. He drove off. We continued to walk down the street and went out to lunch. It was an awkward lunch. I paid the bill. <laughs> he said, you got a sweet ass. Wait. It's one round, 30 to 60 minutes. To the girl being interviewed in this video, if you're watching this, DM me, send me a message. I hear you're looking for someone who can last 30 to 60 seconds, and I've been looking for someone who is satisfied. Minutes. Oh, she said 30 minutes. Yes, minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. He was proud of that. He was like 30 to 60 last. seconds. Uh... Huh? Thanks. What's this for? Why why does Spamton why does Spamton have a torch? Did he carry the torch to him? Cause Spamton is the new guy everybody is going crazy for. Because he's the new meme. Nobody cares about Sands anymore. Sands, you'll always be in my heart. You'll always be in my heart, Sands. FBI agent, do it, bro. My dog just ran away. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, I'm here if you need anything. I still have a boyfriend. And I still have my dog. Yo, do it. Post it. Even the FBI agent said do it. Bro, just post that. Post that crap, bro. And he got a Slim Jim. Just press the button. Press the button. He said, when your friend is driving and they swerve and say, LOL, my bad. <laughs> Chocolate, come on now. Now, how do you put the, the, the cocoa flakes on top of it like that? How do you do that? That's ass crack dust. Oh! Oh! Nasty. She said, ass crack dust? Shows that you need to see. As you know, Japan is some of the weirdest game shows around. I mean, take a look at this one where the guy literally stands up and gets hit in the nuts by pots and pans. I mean, ouch. Or take a look at this one. I mean, bouncing around on a toy to inflate something? They must have practiced long and hard because they sure are good at it. And then there's this weird one where the girl literally strokes the guy off while he sings karaoke. Man, that is one lucky guy, I tell you what. So, which one of these is your favorite? Like and follow for more Japan tips. This girl stroking a dude off while he's singing? Nah, bro. Nah, bro. She better do that shit right. I'm be like, I'm be like, do you ever feel like a plastic bag? Faster! <laughs> oh, God, man. It should have been me, not him. It's not fair. It's not fair. Ground zero. So this is where the first guy got AIDS. Peter, this is the what? site of the 9-11 terrorist attacks. Oh, so Saddam Hussein did this? No. The Iraqi army? No. Some guys from Iraq? No. That one lady who visited Iraq that one time? No, Peter, Iraq had nothing to do with this. It was a bunch of Saudi Arabians, Lebanese, and Egyptians financed by a Saudi Arabian guy living in Afghanistan and sheltered by Pakistanis. So you're saying we need to invade Iran? <sighs> That's literally what happened. And he donated three dollars. Hey, Ranbu, sadly I got COVID, but the good thing is I have no taste, so I can finally watch your stream. Oh, yikes! That's a good burn. That's a good burn. Uh, bro, do Zendaya even got a last name? She got mine. You think Zendaya talking to a motherfucker named Cornelius from Wyoming? LMAO. Damn, why had it had to be the dude with the Bugs Bunny profile picture? 
He said corn when he got ratioed the Travis Scott face rub. Yo, no joke. This image is going to be memed of all like till the end of time. You know how in the in, in the internet there's memes that are, that are just like historical, like they will never die. It's this is one of them. This is literally the meme. Like at any situation, you could be like, bro, I just found out. <laughs> She slept with another guy. You could just literally put this for anything. Bam. Bam. My mom forgot to put the ZD in the bake ZD. And then you just, you know, you know. That's a, that's an eternal meme. Images that make you feel pain. Talk about, am I pretty? Not one bit. The watermelon freezes back. How they segue to a commercial? They segued into an ad. Images that make you feel pain. What if I got cancer? Who will stay with me until I die? Ca Insider, a Florida restaurant chain says boosting pay and offering better benefits helped it end its labor shortage. Damn, really? Did you date her? Bruh, she's like my crush. I, I meant to, yeah, you're like my crush. I haven't told you that. So, yeah. Would you date him? Um, we're like really good friends, so no. Yeah, he's like my brother. Wow. Damn. Ruin my whole day. Ruin my whole day, you bitch. Cops when they realize their hair is black. Young fly on the track. Niggers, niggers. Yo! Young fly on the track. But damn, you're good looking, bro. You don't have to be gay to appreciate a man's beauty. Nah, bro, I'd fuck you. Okay, never mind. Whoa. I genuinely hate how many RPGs get compared to Persona 5 because it makes it hard to tell which game I might actually want to check out based on them being like Persona 5. What the heck does Scarlet Nexus have to do with Persona 5? Just social elements? Similar plots? The colors red? No. Scarlet Nexus copied Persona 5 because it's based in Shibuya. Um, the characters have um, refrigerator bodies. Um, they try to wear masks like Joker. Only Joker can wear masks in video games. And only the Phantom Thieves. Um, they try to go into this alternate universe, a.k.a. the bootlegged metaverse, and try to fight monsters. The game is just a... It's just Persona ripped off. Yo, me down my. Can anyone tell me why Food TikTok is not number one? But let you shove your meat down my buns. It's gonna get wicked, nigga. <laughs> he said that confidently. Hey. This, this is a police car, though. Uh, yeah. What kind of dumbass purchase of a car is that? Why would you drive I'm this? I'm a police officer. Hold on, bitch. You 12? No, I'm 31. Oh, that's a fat ass answer. Uh, I don't fuck with 12. Goodbye. Oh, uh uh, not after I didn't use my good scrunchie. You get your ass back here. we going on our date. Bitch, no, we ain't. And Thanks, you under investigation. What? Y yeah, you want it for questioning on a couple murders or some What is this? These, what is this? I've seen you before in my life. Probably because you're not. Oh, this Nick Avocado situation, I heard about it. You know what it is? I feel like Nick Avocado is baiting. He's baiting so hard and everybody is falling for the bait. This is a, like, because look, you can tell by Nick Avocado what type of person he is and the character that he's portraying. He's literally baiting the fuck out of this situation and getting so much free clicks, likes, and views for it. And people just keep falling for it. Never seen you before in my life. Probably because you're not an actual YouTuber. See, the difference between you and Corey is the fact that you sold out your health for your wealth. Corey didn't have to sell out his health for his wealth because he's just being himself and people like him. And that's why he has 11 million followers and you don't. So, I'm gonna go watch the Spooky Scary Sunday and you can- Hey, is she a part of the squad? 
Spooky Scary Sunday, my girl. Sp spooky Scary Sundays, bruh. I love that shit. And um, what do you normally do? Oh, cry in front of a camera while you stuff your face with McDonald's? She right? got him. Right? Right? She got him. I liked her hair, too. Her hair looked nice. Never seen you before in my life. She says, Spooky Scary Sundays. That's if Corey even uploads in time, bruh. It be Wednesday, and then we get the Spooky Scary Sunday, and, and, and I'll be like... At least we got it. At least we got it. I'll be like, Corey, where are the spooky, scary Sundays at, man? He be forgetting. Oh, my God play as Pinocchio in a dark fairy tale world that is clearly inspired by Dark Souls and Bloodborne. It looks insane. You make storytelling choices That's by Pinocchio? telling lies, which change the <clears throat> ending. And since you're a puppet, you can change and enhance your body. That's, wait, that's what the game is? I'm Pinocchio. Is that's why the game is called P? Bloodborne when? You supposed Sony head. I am a Sony head. As a big fan, I... Who made this? Undertale Pinball? There exists a real Undertale Pinball machine, and it's awesome. As a big fan, I could tell a lot of love was put into this. It features all your favorite characters, locations like Snowden and the MTT Hotel, and you can even visit the Temp Shop. If you want to learn more about how this was built, I highly recommend googling Undertale Pinball. The way this was built was crazy, and it was only made by one person. But the real question is, is it actually fun to play? Well, this is what I thought after playing. Dude, this is awesome! <laughs> okay, buddy. It looks good, though. You got some nice melons. Who are you talking to? Oh, thank you, bro. I just Who the bought these. Who are you talking to? I was just talking about these. Uh, what, what, uh, okay. No, we're good. I, he I said some out of pocket shit, but I didn't know it was. Oh, no. I, I was talking about these. Okay. You want You want one no, of them? I'm good. I'm good. Bro, you don't even got big melons. Like, you'll be here getting upset. Bro, where your melons at, bro? Because I don't see them. I don't see them. Because I don't see them. Man says he a Sony fan, but he hasn't played all the exclusives. Fake fan, probably an Xbox fan in disguise, not like this. Xbox fan in disguise? <laughs> you found out. You motherfucker the whole time. I loved Gears and Halo since day one. <laughs> I'm about to show you my Game Pass membership. Imagine. The retro who washes his hands. The Xbox fan. The Xbox retro washes his hands. Are you good? Thank you. Oh, okay. Damn, those are some beautiful melons. Easy one of the Wait, what? What? Nah, that's Cap. That's Cap. That's Cap. Paid actor. Paid actor. Paid actor, bro. Paid actor. I don't give a fuck. Paid actor. Paid actor. Are you good? Thank you. Oh, okay. Damn, those are some beautiful melons. Easy one of the Wait, what? What? <laughs> it's your turn! <laughs> Look at it, dude! <laughs> Yo, want Sprite Cranberry? This is gonna be very hard to do. You turned the Hulk into the Sprite Cranberry Man. Hello, so I got a really cool tweet last week saying that Maria Takeuchi went on a radio show and spun one of my songs, um, which means that the Queen of City Pop <clears throat> listens to my music. Wow. <laughs>
beautiful. Whether you've been playing Legend of Zelda series for 35 years or just a few, there's plenty of fun features and details to discover in game and watch Legend of Zelda. No. Look, <clears throat> I would love to get this, but it's so overpriced. It's so overpriced in my opinion. And the only game I want to play out of all of these is this one. I, I, I hate the adventure of Link so much. And the Legend of Zelda, I would play this one, but this game, I hate it. And, and I feel like it's just overpriced, you know? $50, I'll just get a collector's item. Uh, you said I would just get it as a collector's item? I mean, I wouldn't open it. It's like if I cop it, I would try to like keep it sealed so I could resell it in like 10 years for like quadruple the price. Nice. Good job. Edible not hitting. I've always wanted to fuck him. Yo! He was gone. He said he wants to fuck the Quaker Oats guy. Yo. <laughs> PlayStation Plus 12-month subscription is on sale on Black Friday for 40 bucks. I feel like I've seen it cheaper in other places, like for 30 I might buy it. I usually always get the new PlayStation Plus stuff on Black Friday. When you take off your glasses for a haircut, you're trusting that man with your life facts. Yo. When I go to the barber and I'll be like this, yo, I really be there like, I can't see, please, God. Please don't tell me he fucking my shit up. And all you see is like pieces of your hair fall down and you're like, <laughs> you're just there like in your head crying. You're like, yo, if he fucks my shit up. And then like the biggest fear is when you're putting your glasses back on, right? Like what, like, when, like when you're there, your hands are shaking, you're like. Praying to God like your hairline straight. Yo, I will never forget. Like, I, I think I told you guys a story where that one guy, there was this one new barber. He fucked up my hairline when I was younger. Like, my hairline was supposed to be straight. My shit was like, my shit looked like an incline. Straight up fucking happy wheels on my forehead looking ass shit. I was pissed. Fucked up my whole hairline, dude. Like, when I went home, I was so angry. I was just like, bro, Why? You said, how hard did you swing? Bro, I didn't even swing because I was just so mad. It's like, when I saw it, I was just like, I didn't even tip him. I was just like, I was like, how much is the cut? He was like, quince. Here's your 15, man. I just went fucking home. My dad saw me and he gave me one of these looks like, <laughs> he was like, at least your hair is cut. And I'm just looking at my hairline like, yo, he fucked my shit up. You said, bro, I had to pay 18. Nah, when you go to Dominican barbers, it's usually between like 15 to 18 bucks. But there's this barber that I like that every time he cuts my hair, I always give him, he charges me 15, but I always give him a $5 tip. So every time I see him, he cuts my hair right. I'd be like, yo, leave my hair on the top a little bit, like leave it and then give me a skin fade on the side and just tape my shit up, make it look clean. And then... I tell him, like, yo, do my beard a little bit, too. Like, line it up, make it look nice. And he'd be like, yo, 15. I'd be like, 20. Just keep the whole 20. Take your tip. You said my African barber? Nah, no cap. There would be some black barbers out there that be charging OD. I remember, like, I passed the Jamaican joint. They were trying to be, like, $30 a haircut. And I was like, raggy? Dominicans out here cutting it out for 15. What you mean, 30? Like, what you trying to... Like, like, what are you doing? Are, are, are you making, like, are you making a cake, too? Like, $30 for a haircut? Nah. I was like, goodbye, sir. You ain't cutting my hair. $30, bro. I could just go to my buddy. $15. Um, we have seen this. Um, head of Xbox, Phil Spencer, has all but confirmed that Elder Scrolls, I, I can't read italics, will be an Xbox console exclusive. There was a barber. I didn't really recognize. I wanted to cut my hair down real low, so I let him know that I told him to fold down my ear when cutting close to it. Motherfucker bumped the razor and started bleeding. <laughs> Damn, he cut your ear. Damn. Today, the PlayStation 4 turns eight years old. Damn, I'm old as fuck, dude. Which six games make up this year's Game of the Year ballot? Definitely 
hold on sony has reduced its playstation 5 production outlook for this fiscal year from 16 million to 15 million units due to the chips shortage damn that means that the prices for the playstations is going to skyrocket jump force is getting removed from digital stores that's unfortunate i think i heard about this yeah jump force is gone rest in peace rest in peace online ranked match online servers will go down in 2022 but all single player functions will be playable locally Imagine being a Jump Force player who's up for some online matches, bro. No one. <laughs> Damn. Why would you do, Why would you say that in the comments? I got so scared. I thought this was a hentai image. I don't know why I got so scared. He killed that. He killed that shit. He killed it. Tracked in the real world. I can put it on the ground like this, and I can even step on them like this. So I can sit down ugh, like this, and we're getting uh, pretty good results here. I can even rock this thing back and forth like this. I can even rock back and forth on this Whoa, thing. Whoa, that's like crazy. This. I can tilt like this. This thing around here. I really don't know what else I want to try with this one. Oh, that's cool. How did this escalate so fast? I don't need a next gen console. I don't need a next gen console. I don't need penis. What? I don't. I didn't jerk off to my grand. I'm going to sleep. Did we submerge? Wait, what? Couple racks, a couple Grammys on them. Let us show you. First, we prepared an acrylic tank. This is. Wait, what the hell is this? How do we do it? How did we submerge a gaming PC? Let us show you. First, we prepared an acrylic tank. This is a 20. This is the most annoying looking PC. An underwater PC. Why would you? Ha why would you want to make this? Yeah, I'll take the same kind you use for fish. We then put in water cooling pass throughs. Then we drilled a tube that the liquid could flow through. We installed the tube and got the tank ready for a pump. Next is our secret weapon, an aquatic tank chiller. Attach the tank chiller and it's on to prepping the graphics card. We have to use a special thermal pad called Indium to put the processor and the GPU under liquid. When this is over, don't forget to check out the alien PC that you can win in our link tree. Now we can- That you could win? I don't want to win that. That's the most annoying looking PC. Where am I going to put this? If I won this, where am I putting it? This ain't fitting in here. That's the dumbest looking computer. Our link tree. Now we can install the motherboard and the components. Time to flip the tank up and plug in the cables. 
and we're using a special liquid to submerge this PC, and it's not mineral oil. We really can't tell you what it is quite yet. Let's turn on the PC. Why are you telling us a secret liquid? What's the liquid? Why is it such a secret? That's so sus. What is the liquid? Go ahead and let it get to a nice low temperature for some testing. Now the tank chiller is sitting at 61 degrees Fahrenheit. After a short bench test, the processor is at 69 degrees Celsius. But after some testing, we figured out we'd need a second aquarium chiller. We'll explain why. To show you, we'll run a Unigen benchmark test. Notice at the start, the aquarium chiller is at 58 degrees. As the test kicks in, you can see that the graphics clock is running at around 1860 megahertz. This means that the colder temps are letting it boost past the 1575 megahertz base clock speed. But alas, the tank liquid temps have spiked from 58 to 66 degrees. This is because of the BTUs that the graphics card and other components are putting off. You can see this in the thermal currents here. So in order to keep the temps at bay and keep gaming, we're going to put in the second chiller. So we install a... That's so fucking dumb! Look at how dumb this setup looks. Yo, check out my rig, bruh. I got an underwater PC with some secret nut liquid and two thermal chillers just so I could play some fucking crab game. This is what you got all this for, to play crab game. Chiller. So we install a second pump, connect some hoses, and once it's on, we have double the cooling power. And after running for several hours, the temps have not went any higher. It's still running at past max boost clock and is perfect for all day long gaming sessions at max FPS. Overkill. Overkill and stupid. It's overkill and it's stupid. Like, you don't need that. Oh, I can flex. I got an underwater PC, bro. It looks like shit. My RGB PC still looks better than yours and it's like right there. They should have just put fish in that shit, too. Steve from Blue's Clues made his first ever TikTok, and millennials are very, very excited. <gasps> Steve? No, where's the TikTok? Where's the TikTok? Is this it? Hi out there, it's me, Steve. I don't. Follow, like, follow, follow. No, how to use TikTok at all. I kind of don't even know what it is. If you could tell me just like in the comments or something, thank you. <laughs> That's it? He's asking us for help on how to learn how to use TikTok? I don't care, bro. I'm following him. Just seeing him, just seeing him alive just, just makes my day. I just, I just want to make sure Steve is okay. I'm literally following him just to make sure he's okay. You said, where's Blue? Blue's back at the house. Marvel Zombies, what's that? Marvel Zombies, an animated original series from Marvel Studios coming to Disney+. Plus. Is it like a kid show or, or like Secret Invasion? Nick Fury's new look? Okay. <coughs> nah, this guy's too fucking loud. This guy is literally loud equals funny, but it's too loud, so... A politician has made an anti-immigrant AOT opening. What? Hello? It don't exist, my guy. It doesn't exist. You sent me this five minutes ago, and I don't see it. That ain't no fucking kid show. It's peak Marvel. Hopefully, they don't fuck it up. Activision CEO has been making death threats towards employees. Told an employee he would have her killed... He kept an exec from being fired after sexual harassment claim. He didn't tell his board of alleged rapes and other misconduct. Oh my goodness. This shit is still going that crazy? He knew for years? Yo, Activision going down. Ubisoft and Activision? No way. It said Blizzard now going to need to reveal at least four characters to be gay in Overwatch after that. Yo. Yo. <laughs> yo, yo, you know what? 
You know what? That's actually factual. You notice that whenever they go through some crazy controversial situation, they just out the blue, out the blue, like, would just be like, hey, you know Bastion? Yeah, the robot Bastion? Yeah. He's non-binary. Yeah. Like, like, out the blue and everyone's just like, huh? Wait, wait, what the fuck is going? <laughs> they, they do that shit all the time, bro. Like, whenever they get into some controversial shit, they just be like, you know what? We're just gonna do this, and then, and then everybody's gonna be happy. Hey, man. That's the that's the way that's the way people want to get their shit. Sony always wins, baby. PlayStation is the only place to get a play, uh, play five. Oh, to, it's the only place to play out of the five, five out of the six game of the year, blah, blah, blah. I mean, true. But, I mean, that game, um, Deathloop is not game of the year, though. Twitch is now available for Nintendo Switch. I heard this shit runs like ass water. Um, Genshin Impact is the first game of all time to make the most revenue in its first year. Damn. In billions. 3.5 billion. Billion. Yo. Animal Crossing is up there? New Horizons made 2 billion? That's crazy. That's disgusting. <laughs> Who the fuck made this? Who the fuck made this? Who made this? <laughs> what the fuck? Where the hell did I go? Is this my feed? Wait a minute. Where's the shit? Oh, no. Okay. I just have to X this out. Damn it. I went all the way back. I got to go all the way down. What the... Collecting my bounty! Bounty? What are you talking about, cracker? Fuck. Oh, we watch this. We gotta go all the way down. Seen that? Yup, seen that? Seen that? Okay, we're like around here. We seen that, we seen that, we seen that. Seen that, seen that. Say, oh my god, that does? Brazil, Bolivia, Paraguay. Shit, I wish I was in his position. I'm going to keep it a stack with you, though. I don't think I could satisfy all three of them. I mean, that's, that's, that's a lot of work. But, I mean, I, I don't mind rebooting and trying again. Okay, we've seen this. What? Okay, we were here. After today's major update, Xbox will no longer be adding more games to its backward compatibility compatibility program due to licensing, legal, or technical constraints. The missing titles. Who cares, man? Like, what are the missing titles? Who cares, bro? This is the coolest thing I've seen for PS5. Let's dance, asshole. Maybe endure. Enjoy it. Jesus. Damn, all that shit like hit perfectly. That was cool. Ridley Scott says superhero movies are freaking boring as shit. Who the hell is Ridley Scott? Somebody in the chat about to roast me. I'm sorry, man. I don't know who the fuck Ridley Scott is. Who's Ridley Scott? I'm just to shake my head retro. A nobody. Bay Z. People who hate superhero movies just want to be special. Guy who directed um, Alien, Gladiator, etc., etc. Travis Scott's dad. Um, the man who made Alien. 
So he made the Alien movies. He said he, bro, he the type of person to say some shit like that. Older Cartoon Network was uh, 90s, early 2000s. Yup, Cartoon Network now. True. Do you think this DC home is worth 3.4 million? That's such a beautiful kitchen. Holy shit. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. Where's this? Where troubles smell like lemon drops away upon the chimney tops that's where Oh that's beautiful Oh that room up there looks awesome Wait but you said 3.4 million that looks like my auntie's house but where is this located at Is this a house in New York It depends on where the location is because that shit is not worth 3.4 million if it's in it's in dc that's a really nice home paul rudd named sexiest man alive squid game creator says season two will happen bro we've already been over this we've already been over this like 10 times why, why the fuck y'all keep asking the creator is season two coming out it's already been confirmed stop asking him Plus, please let Squid Game die a little bit because I'm, I'm kind of tired of hearing the hey, oh, hey, oh, and the fucking little kids talk about red light, green light. Devil May Cry. More like Devil May Die. Okay. To hell. Stairway to hell. I'm gone. I'm out of here. What the fuck? His fucking screams. I saw that guy when I'm Yo, his screams. This guy, <sighs> not this again. Oh, my God.
Oh my god. Come on. Flags and people. There are red flags which indicate that someone is problematic and toxic and you shouldn't be near them. Yes. The yellow flag just means they're insufferable. And yes, before we get into this, I am probably a yellow flag myself. So if you're above the age of 12 and you say, let's go boys to your game chat, whatever you're projecting, it just doesn't exist. <laughs> what do you mean? What? Yo, what? Just Saying let's go boys to the game chat, 12 plus only? Bro, I say that shit all the time. I'll be like, yeah, let's go boys. <laughs> Why is that bad? How's that a yellow flag? I say that shit in game chat. Let's go, boys. Whatever you're projecting, it just doesn't exist. People who use the phrase ludo narrative dissonance, please shut the fuck what up. What the hell does that even People mean? actually care about the new iPhone. It's the same exact iPhone. White millennials who openly disparage Eminem. Gen Z is never going to think you're cool, and we all know you like him deep down. Facts. Just like your problematic artists. People whose primary console is the Xbox One. I will not elaborate on this. I like this guy already. I don't know. There's just something about him. In and out stands. Defend their fries. People who feel the need to tell you that the WWE is fake. No shit, Sherlock. I hate when people do that. You know that's fake, right? Yo, shut the fuck up, man. Buddy, the WWE is more real than all of your lived experiences. Like, let me enjoy my WWE. It's thrown out the window because of incidents like this. Fuck you! I don't remember that in my game. Not this again. How did this end up here? Wait, what? Damn, I wish she was chasing me. Merry Christmas from me, Mario. Oh, you got a PS5? We can't have that. Let me enjoy my PS5, Mario. Don't worry, Carol. Not this old Family Guy clip. This is so old. Almost there. Peter, why are we stopped? Uh, yeah, I'll have three cheeseburgers. Peter, for God's sake, she's having a baby. Oh, that's right. And a kid's meal. And, uh, I, I guess I'll have fries. If, if I have fries, is anybody else going to have any? Because, you know, I, I, I don't want to be the only one eating them. I'll feel like a fatty. I agree. Uh, Wait, Shop Atlas? There's an Atlas shop? I can buy Persona stuff and be the ultimate fan! Then you guys will never make fun of me again. Now, this website looks sketchy as hell. The shop atlas thing is not even perfectly aligned and it's not verified. I don't trust it. Okay, she looks cute. Oh, damn. <laughs> and me, you know, I'm 56 years old. Oh, damn. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Because it was a sorry. thought. No, no, seriously, it was Dude, a thought. It was I'm a not, thought, and I blurted it out. I'm I did fine. not mean it that I'm not, way. I'm fine. Okay, but just understand, I didn't mean it the way it came Let's, out. We'll take a poll on how you meant it with I'm, people here later after the show's over, but... I can sit up here and honestly say, buddy, that yeah, that was from yeah, a place yeah. of love. Got it. Like, damn. Oh, that was from, like, damn. You didn't... If we could play it back right now... Play it back? These are two different dams. Play it back in slow motion. There yeah. wasn't no... I damn. said, I said... There was no, like... Wow, that's, I that's said, amazing. damn. No, you said the word, damn. Okay, buddy. It's Kevin Hart. It's Kevin Hart, though. It's like, damn, he's so up the ass. It's like, it's Kevin Hart. Okay, buddy. You want me to tell you how you said it? I know how I said it, Doc. Do you want me to say it back to you how I think you said it? Go ahead. Damn. Not, not true. Fam. Not true. Fam. I said. Kevin. I said. Damn it. Each time you said it, now it's gotten quieter. 
and quieter. I could barely hear you that last time when you. S and me. D did he get upset that he said damn at his age? He don't even look that old. He looked like he's in like his like early 40s. Bro, imagine dying and the last thing you hear is a bass <laughs> boosted Travis Scott music. Straight up. I shouldn't be laughing. I'm sorry, dude. Oh my God, dude. Come on. Are you flirting with my sister? Yes, I am. Do you want to die? Yes, I do. Wait, what? See ya. Oh my God. Sonic, take me sweet dad. <laughs> His fucking mouth. Stupid. Uh, Check out this NFT I bought. Oh, Ooh, what disgusting. the? How much was that? A thousand dollars. A thousand dollars? Bro, I just screenshotted it. <laughs> okay, that doesn't mean anything. Dude, Dude, yes, it does. I have the. Yo, you notice that? Yo, when you do that to people who buy NFTs, they get so angry. Yo, on Twitter, they'd be like, yo, look at this frog I bought. It, it, it costed me like three Ethereum. And you screenshot it, and then you'd be like, I have it too. Yo, they get so pissed. They'd be like, bro, I'm about to call the police on you if you don't stop. I have the image now. Yes, no, no, you, you have to own the rights to the image. Oh I have the rights to screenshot it. <laughs> no, 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 no. You, you don't get it, do you? And you don't get any woman. Oh Damn. my gosh. Guys, yeah, what? check out this NFT I bought. Oh. Damn, bro. He's saying you don't get no woman. Version Shadow Amiss uh, Snowstorms trailer. What's this? Genshin? My hose is yours. Okay. With this newfound strength, I will defend those who fight alongside me. Protecting my soldiers doesn't just mean having a robust defense in place. It means going on the attack. The key to seizing victory in battle lies in remembering the meaning of battle and employing the right tactics to generate momentum. Weapon at the ready. You never know what's around the corner. Press the advantage! And Oni! The Tenryo Commission recently issued an arrest warrant. Arataki, so we've been trying to apprehend him recently. If people see Oni cause trouble again, that'll defeat the whole purpose of the sacrifice you made! Come on, men. We won't get away this time. Just give yourself up, Arataki. He's a, a sumo. Long time ago, I picked up this rare paper charm. It's very precious to me. When it gets torn, this place goes up in smoke. New area. Ah, that idiot Oni. What did you say, little one? Go on. Say it to my face. Oh, he's like the big hammer. You had your fun. Now it's good fun. Shut up, would ya? The transcendent and miraculous are not the only things to which human beings aspire. They pursue the everyday, the ordinary, to a far greater extent than I would have ever imagined. This mountain we stand on is a cradle of life's profoundest mysteries, a vast and terrifying hotbed of possibilities. People are put off by the cold and don't realize that there is much to explore beneath the icy exterior. Are you here to build a snowman too? Let's combine our forces and build ourselves a huge snowman! It'll be a ton of fun! What's on your mind? You seem a little distracted. Some of my alchemy notes are missing. We do not yet. Hey, the alchemy notes. I remember I found that area in the snowy place and I just took everything. I took all that motherfucker's alchemy notes. I think he's pissed. I know the identity of our thief. Please take care. Dragon spine has become more dangerous than it used to be. Huh? Huh? Oh no. Avalanche! Albedo, what the devil do you think you were doing? Huh? 
Bro, it's the sword boy! Okay. What is that ability? Wow, you can make snowmen? Are you kidding me? Said, does Genshin have PvP? No. I know you fiending for it to have PvP because you guys want to be like, oh, let me go against you. Let me use my five hundred thousand dollar team I built. Straight up. Yo, I'm finding everything that I saw already. Hold up. Okay, I didn't see this. Four's a five. What? This shit got a 10? Nah. This shit got a 10? Wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. You gave Persona 5 a 9.7, but a driving simulator with no story and depth, a 10? <laughs> I'm about to I'm about to find where this company headquarters at. Wow, dude. Fix the fucking door. It's been years. Dr. Stoner. Dr. Boner is more like it. Give me one second. Is it Friday night? It's not Friday night. Yo, what is my battery percentage on my phone? 5%. Thank you. We got three episodes. We could just finish it already. Yo, once we finish that, I'm never watching another anime in my life on stream. Because then now you guys will never be able to spam no other animes. Because that's it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Kitty you chan This is my uh, first time. I can't believe it. <gasps> yeah. That's big Janopolis. <laughs> Yo ripped off his whole dick. Oh, that's that's kind of nightmare fuel right there. If I've ever seen it. Ugh. How strange. There's no L3 and R3 here. Yup. That was me. Fortnite pulls Travis Scott emote following concert tragedy. Good job. Good job. Um, what's it called? Good job, Fortnite.
Good job. You guys you guys done a big service. Hunt 30 hunt. Hunt 30 hunt. You said hunt 30 hunt. Okay, let me see. But what about water? What about Dip it? Dip cocoa powder into water and it will come out completely dry. Dip oh. it again and it might absorb some of the water, but with just a little tap, the water will start to go away because cocoa powder is hydrophobic. Hydro what? Cancel. You know it works in milk. Yo, facts. Actually, that, that cocoa water is canceled. Actually. And with that, we're going to finally watch the last episodes of dr um i said dr stoner dr boner excuse me dr boner honey x honey honey x honey nah bro we watching dr stone then after that we done we are done but before before we do any of that though before we do any of that um we gotta open up some packs though let's open up some packs and then we're gonna watch anime let's open up some packs h x h Honey Pop X Honey Pop You said Professor Sober. You said, um, give me a second. Give me a second. You said that was fast. No, I got my cards. That's it. I got my cards. Um, bro, whatever happened to that Catherine playlist? Do I still have like, where's my Catherine music? What happened to my persona music? Remember I used to have like persona and Catherine music. Where the fuck did that shit go? Um, where's my, where's my Catherine music, my library, my albums, where the fuck is it, oh, here it is, bruh, yeah, yeah, Catherine stole from Persona, 100% factual, End to end. Remix, remix, remix. Y'all, y'all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. All right, we're going to start off with this. Okay. The music's gonna be low. 
Well, not that low. All right, let's go. Let's open up some packs. Let's see what magic we're going to run into. Hopefully, we get some, some grade A pulls. Guess that energy. You said time to lurk. Time to lurk. Nothing, motherfucker. This man said fairy for VIP. This man said fairy for VIP. All right. Guess that energy. One, two, three, four. Turn it to the front. I'm going to say psychic. Bam. Fighting. Fighting energy. Let's go. Dumbass. Ball guy. Dart tricks. Spinarak. Shanks. Coughing, horsey, grookey. I got another dub wall. Oh man, this is a repeat card. That's so upsetting. Repeat. I already got this one. And how fine ass. All right, I got a repeat of the sheep. Sheep, repeat. I already got this one. Yeah. Sheep, double V. We have this card already. <coughs> oh my god. Next card. Bam. Guess that energy. You said water. I'm going to say psychic again because whenever I guess psychic, good things happen. One, two, three, four. Psychic energy. Water. Water, bam. Tropius. Rusted shield. Rotom. Q font. EV. Buizel. Um, Yanma. Trap pinch. Tram pinch. Dreadnought. Next pack, Charizard pack. Let's go. Guess that energy. I'm once again going to say Psychic. I'm blowing through these packs. One, two, three, four. I'm going to say Psychic again. Steel. Infinity, you bum. All right. Cramorant is always the second one. Rotom. Rusted Sword, Sussy Coughing, Trampinch again, Rowlet, Choodle, more Pico. Next is going to be Decidueye. Nice. And a Luxray. I think I actually needed this card. I think I gave my sister the other Luxray. I actually needed this so I could put it in the binder. Okay. And let me just sleeve up the Decidueye real quick because I think I needed this. Maybe. I think I had him, but I just have to make sure which one I have. All right, next pack. Bam. All right, next. I'm going to say water. So let me just put this down. One, two, three, four. Fire. Fire for fire. Eldegoss, big ass head, dart tricks, sus trainers, sus coughing, gossip floor, rowlet, q font, boo font, spinnerack, Volcanion, Manaphy. Next pack. Now, give me some songs. Now, hold up. I, I, I need some bangers in here, bro. I need some bangers. Give me some bangers. Give me some bangers. Yo.
All right, I'm gonna say psychic. One, two, three, four. Psychic water. Oh my god, bro. What's this guy's name in the chat? You cheating. Bird Jesus, you cheating, bro. Tropius. Gym Trainer. Luxio. More Pico. Buizel. Nicket. Cacnea, Q font. Oh my god. Oh my god. These are all dud packs. These are all dud packs. We got two packs left. Alright, guess this energy. We gotta at least get like one more hitter, you know? One, two, three, four. Layer cake. Yeah, right there. Let that shit play. Let that shit roll out. Psychic. Dark. We got Luxio. Thwacky. Ball guy. Horsey. This is such a banger, dude. This is such a banger. Horsey, Rowlet, Morpico, Biko, Spinarak, Snom on a bench. Hey, Shiny Galarian Stunfisk. I like how he looks. He looks so happy. And another Luxray. Nice. This guy here. Pack. Oh. All right. Guess that energy. One, two, three, four. I'm going to say Psychic again. Psychic. Leaf. There hasn't been a single Psychic. Sussy Gym Trainer. Stwacky. Float Cell. Yanma. Trap Pinch. Shinx. Rowlet. Ave. Spinarak. And Manaphy. The one good card that we got was Stunfisk. And, uh the fucking wool pokemon let me do one last pack one last pack last pack magic we're going we're going to pick bakugo one last pack One, two, three, four. <laughs> I'm going to say Psychic again. Another Dark? What's with all these Dark types? Rusted Sword, Ball Guy, Thwacky, Snom, Trampinch, Nicket, Buizel, Shinx, Hollow Rusted Sword. Ah. One more. One more. We're going to put it on this bitch. We got to get something. Uno mas. Until we get something, we got to get something. If I get a shiny or or a, a V Max or a regular V, I'll be fine. One, two, three, four. Give me a shiny Pokemon or V Max and then I'll stop. All right. I'm going to say 
Psychic again. Grass. Luxio. Thwacky. Ball Guy. Eevee. More Pico Bico. Buizel. Cacnea. <laughs> Aw, Shanks. I don't have this one. I don't have the Cinderace V. I'll take it. I don't have this one. I was actually looking for this one. You know what? I'll take it. I will take it. You said VMAX Cinderace? Nah, it's just, it's just a Cinderace V. Not the VMAX. It's just the V. I'll take it, though. Oh, my God. I got so much cards I got to clean up now. Hold on. Yo, honestly speaking, me me re-listening to the Persona soundtrack, I can't wait till Persona 6, bro. Because Persona 5 soundtrack is just bangers just non-stop fucking bangers man menu music was bangers palace music was bangers um fucking sad music was bangers everything was a banger you said persona six in ten years don't say that don't jinx it don't jinx it we're about to fight now don't jinx it I just got to pick up these cards. What you know about rolling down in the deep? Ruda, Ruda! Ruda! 